fucking liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. Holy shit, dude. Fuck it. I'm saying it. Saying it. What's going on, everybody? I'm the South Piker. This is the Hustle Live Podcast coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles. It brings me great pleasure to tell you that it's sunny today here in Los Angeles, California. I'm live on the live, folks. And I hope all the boys, I hope all the girls, and I hope all the MPs are having a fucking fantastic one on this holy day. A wonderful day, a fantastic day. Friday, January 6th. That's right. The day that lives in infamy. Liberals 9 11. That's right. It's January 6th, baby. And we're going to have a banger of an episode today. It's Friday, January 6th, 2023, 2 13 p.m. And I'm late, of course, as you guys are aware of. Very late, as a matter of fact. And I apologize. 61 degrees and sunny here in California. But there's a good reason why I'm late. That reason is because I have a wonderful, esteemed guest here. That's right. Do they need the weather? That's right. I mean, they don't really need it, but I, I like... doing the whole disc jockey thing. I always do that. It's like a, degrees out here. It's like a nod. It's a nod to like old school uh, radio. You can come in a little bit closer now. I just wanted to, just wanted to hide you when I was doing the intro. You got to see the, the, how the sausage is made. But here is why I'm late, ladies and gentlemen. I'm late because Ethan Klein is in the motherfucking building. Also, a skinny legend. Said it would never happen. Skinny legend Ethan Klein is in the also motherfucking building. Dude, your hands look big. You're, look, look, oh, look. Don't put it next to mine. Let's do it. Here, here high I'm five. Not doing that, get stopped, bro. I didn't come here for that. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm holding a can that is like the you same wrap size. Wrap your fingers around mine like a cute fucking. Yeah. Date. Well, I, it's just like I'm holding a can like you are. It's like the same size can. Here, hold it up again. No, I'm not doing that. I did not here for that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to have pictures and memes of this shit. <laughs> well, I, I you know. Enough. Okay. Well, listen, listen. Oh, By here, the way, your, it your is January six, and I'm happy to announce that. We'll be raiding that ass or, or, or yeah, raiding on, that's what they said, the raid on Capitol. Oh my God, raiding dude. I am so, what did I do? What have I done? You were so we'll good on the podcast. You were so good on the motherfucking podcast, brother. Oh. I'm like oh, legitimately you. worried that you're not, gonna, you're going to be bad today. I, I feel, okay. But on the stream, because you think I gave you all my good shit. I no bad as in like you're gonna be a bad boy, which is oh, what you're I'm known. You in trouble. What yes. Rules, well, so the rules are different. What can't I do? Um, you can't say the c word on. Can I make bomb threats? No, you can't do any of the things that got you fucking canceled in any of the other places. Okay, you okay. can't do that. There's not something you can do. Please don't do okay, any so of that. No bomb threats. No c word. Anything else? Uh, I can't use this. The c word is not c u n t. 
No, the yeah, salt. you can say cunt. You just can't say the other oh, one. The, the saltine, saltine the beverage, yeah. That's so weird. Um, turn his mic on. Get it, get a little bit closer. I'm going to try to, like, up your gain a little bit. People are going to be incredibly annoying on um, this. I mean, it's right up in there. Oh, yeah, get it all up in that. All My up lips in that. are touching it. I mean, I can't get any closer. Here, Hello, I'll, this is a sound check. You think I'm coming out in beautiful Los Angeles, yeah, no, 73 degrees out here. Your gain is so high now. Like, Sunday, there's no, Friday after. You're literally louder than me, I think, now. Like, there's no shot. I think this is perfect, though. All Traffic right. is light here today on the 101 freeway coming in here uh, downtown. For me, specifically, like, uh, you're, you, you nailed it, though. Like, I do that because it's like a nod to the old uh, radio hosts, like broadcasters yeah. of... Of the olden days. They don't really exist anymore, but... I mean, they still exist. They have actually pretty massive fucking platforms, too. Like, Alex so. Jones is like a radio thing that's huge, you know what I mean? Oh, did you um, about this Kai Sina? I, 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 I did. We'll talk about it in a little bit. God damn, you are just... I read it this morning, and you're, I was like, You're oh. just cutting into the... You're, you're like, spoiler alert. I'm a guest. What do you want? I mean, yeah. I'm here. You, you know, uh, at least I'm not threatening anyone with a bomb. Okay, that's good. Just be happy yeah, about that. that. You, are, you are performing well so far in comparison to your, your normal habits, so we'll, we'll keep you up with that. By the um, way... Cooper Troopers that are watching this, I can't do anything with their Amazon Prime, right? But you can give it to Hassan, so it's true. Do that. Keep it in the family, you know what I mean? Yeah. If, it, if you could give it to me, I'd say, you know, fuck yeah, Hassan, fuck give Hassan, it to me. Give it to me. But I can't do anything with it, so <laughs> well, give yeah. it to him. You There's know many I mean? benefits. They can avoid the ads at the top of the hour. They can avoid the middle of the hour ad break. That's a secret one, but we'll get to that in a little bit, obviously. God, I'm so jealous that you this, have Amazon Prime, though. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, right? right? Um, my personal news about what's going on in my life is for the parasocialists out there. Um, so, uh, you know, I usually just give them like an update on what's going on in my life. You know, what have I done last night since I ended the broadcast, you know, and there really isn't much. I just, uh, I just ate some. Some chicken. Are you serious right now? I played Valo with uh, with a bunch of your faves. Uh, you we really lost have a some. lot of time to kill on this shit. What do you mean? You're, I mean, what? you're just like, I ate chicken last night. Well, I was going to tell them that I played Valorant and I ate chicken and I won some games. I lost some games. Like you know what I mean? This is like a, you know, a conversation with your mom that like you're, you owe her once a week. Yeah. I mean, I do it every day. Uh, yeah. Listen, you do I have don't, a lot of time to kill. I don't come to your show <laughs> and shit on Sorry, how you do right. your thing. I'm, giving you all I'm getting, I'm, right. I'm showing you what's you're happening. Right. You're one, right. you're right. one of the you're other right. parts about this. I've never also, seen it this early in the stream. So. Yeah, this is this is literally the intro to the stream before we blast off and let the Normans know and welcome well, them into our home. Well, chicken, like, and I assume you're going to be eating chicken today as well. Right? Yeah, I eat chicken every day. Uh, but also, there's another so tradition. The update is kind of mood. There's another tradition. There's another tradition on the show on the this broadcast that I also have to do. This is a once a week experience as we celebrate well, Foss, you know motherfucking Friday. Here, Friday. Right? Well, we, That's right. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, You've never Sunday, seen this well, before? It's Friday then. It's fucking it's Friday, Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday Boys, again. girls, and me. That's right. Oh, it's the fucking weekend, Ethan. I know that, like, you know, we usually work. I mean, I work seven days a week, but there's a lot of people out there who pretty much watch me from work as they fake working really fucking hard. Yeah. And then, this is, a, this is a celebration. This is a moment of celebration, a moment of elation. It's motherfucking Friday. That's right. Oh, he, he killed it. Mufasa killed it. Yeah, I can't watch copyrighted stuff for this. Wait, wait, hold on. I can't hear you. Say it again. I can't watch stuff like this on YouTube because it has like copyrighted music. Yeah, which well. is another thing I'm jealous about. Which L, I know. Big I L, know. big L for YouTube. Big L for YouTube. Anyway, uh, everybody, we have, uh, we have, uh. Uh, hold on. We have a, a wonderful, very special guest on the broadcast today. And uh, he is going to be critiquing everything I do on my live stream. This is like, this is why he's sorry. here. To, to just like shit on me. Anyway. I, I can't um, help it. I'm sorry. We, we played, we played 
Valorant last night. Uh, I played adequately. I wasn't like incredible or anything. Uh, we got absolutely comfortered. There was one draw and one win, which was great. It was hard earned. It was hard fought, but I uh, I overcame it. I'm still watching the show that I told you guys about, Sujak Kafa, Hot Skull, the Turkish show on Netflix, which is pretty good. Uh, it hasn't gotten like boring or anything. And that's it. I woke up this morning. It's a beautiful day. It was very cold earlier. It was like 47 degrees. I went outside. I worked out outside with my trainers once again. And then after that, uh, you know, took a shower and we did this. We did this podcast. That's what Anything we're doing. Else? No, that's it. What about you, Ethan? How was your... How I was woke it? up. I had some yogurt. It was nice. I looked out the window. It was a nice day. I said hi to my dog. He went out and he took a pissed on the lawn. Hell yeah. He actually shit in the far corner, which is unusual for him. That's what's interesting about that. Okay. It then, seems like your day was kind of boring. I was as interesting as yours. Yeah. <laughs> Until you came over here and, and we did a banger episode. Wait, I'm not of done. End. Oh, and go then on. I took out the trash because it was a little full, not too full, right? It was only medium full, but I thought, let's get ahead of this. That's that's great. I'm proud of you. Okay. All jokes aside, okay. All jokes aside, you how much weight have you lost? Have you been tracking? Um between twenty and thirty. Not to I be know that's a big range. Not to be your mom or anything, but like, are you eating? Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're Thank very you. you're very skinny. Oh, stop. I'm not even kidding. When you walked in, <laughs> when you walked in, I was like, who is this man? Where I, is the I'm rest still, of Ethan Klein? I'm still obese. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, whatever. Obesity is a slur, Ethan. Obese is a slur. <laughs> have uh, you seen that? Can tweet? I slur myself? Yeah. I mean, I guess is you obese, have the card. What, what? So if somebody says obesity is a slur, what's the word that we should? No, no, no. It's, it's, just, it's just fucking stupid. It's like Twitter discourse shit from uh, from yesterday that I was memeing on. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what I ate yesterday. Tell me what I you ate say, yesterday. I eat the same thing every morning. I have a cup of Greek yogurt, one hard-boiled egg, and a apple, which is actually a pretty nice filling. That's it? I mean, yeah. What it's the night, fuck? That's, I mean, you know, it fills me up. It's pretty good. And I try to hold out for dinner. Then I can have like a, a, a kind of a bigger meal at dinner. Last night, Ela's mom cooked some um, uh, What'd you get? Get Israeli What'd you get? Chicken, sweet potatoes, potatoes. Ooh, love that. That's healthy. Salad. It was That's good. good. And I crushed that, and that was it. Then I called it a day. I love that. Okay, no frozen pizza for you. You've been killing it. Have you been Bro. working out? Dude, I haven't had a frozen frozen pizza in like years. Okay, stop. This is a stereotype. You literally, we literally had it like a couple hate. months ago. That was the last time. Uh, we had it a couple months ago. Dude, by the way. You are such a degenerate for drinking this, but I love it. It's, it's so, so good. good. It's crack. Because I drink Coke Zero, and that's kind of like a classy people thing. Like, ooh, it's like nobody judge you. But Mountain Dew Zero is very good. And actually, does it have caffeine in it? One thing it does. That really helps it has a lot of caffeine in it, yeah. I love that. One thing that really does help with my diet is, is um like, Diet drinks because you get it's satisfying. You fill up. You drink liquid, which is good, and it's sweet, so you feel like you're eating something in a way. I'm a I'm a big advocate for carbonated beverages like this. I'm such a huge fan. You know, wait, someone's it here in Australia. Maccas is getting rid of Coke Zero. Why would no more Coke Zero because it's the inferior wait, it's product. Maccas is McDonald's. McDonald's. Fuck, dude, Australia's fucking up literally upside down if you're getting rid of coke zero that drink is the best thing that's happened this decade i'm telling you it's insane what they've done with coke zero the best beverage but actually um well you know there's a lot of debate about if diet drinks are bad for you and you know i don't know if you know this but we had this doctor this talk doctor he's a real doctor really smart, uh -huh. uh, research he does health research yeah and he says there is no evidence that artificial sweeteners are bad or have any negative health effects. That's crazy. I, I don't even know if that's real or not, but like my, my opinion on the matter has always been like, honestly, if it kills me, I'd fucking die. It was you worth know? it. 
if if I die, I die type shit. You know but what I mean? Said, but that, I found that so interesting. And, and it makes sense in a way because I feel like there's a lot of misinfo about diet drinks. Like people say, oh, it makes you hungrier. That's not true. People say that it rapes, spikes your insulin or something. That's not true at all. So there's actually a, and, and it's, there's a lot of misinfo about it. Probably because people are super into like appeal to nature, right? The, the natural thing is just to drink sugar. But this, this shit is way better than, than sh- a sugary drink is fucking nice way to an early grave, you know? So I'm yeah. all about Dr. Ids. It's literally, I mean, I, I, the way I see it is like, I don't know if it gives me brain cancer down the line or whatever, uh, but also as I discovered an OnlyFans girl that on several occasions has posted in front of leftovers and always on Ethan. <laughs> I want to there's, see that. There's a lot of... I mean, we can't... I don't think we can You can see just that. show me, though, right? Yeah. I want to know. Um. Anyway, regardless, uh, it's time for that our blast-off awesome. tweet. Yeah. It's time for our blast-off tweet. It's happening. Issue Issue Productions is in the building, and we have so much to talk about. GOP and Disarray, Logan Paul Crypto Drama Update, Aiden Ross, Nelk Boys Tate, uh, talk about Andrew Tate, and I got access to new Valo Map, so we're trying it later. Get in now. Here it is. We I got a I'll- bunch of fucking memes for that blast-off as well. Uh, I think I'll download Valorant tonight. Oh, don't do it. It's fucking crack, Ethan. Don't do it. You think I... Did you play CSGO? Uh, No, I was a huge, dedicated uh, CSGO player, like, a lot. And I was pretty good at it. It, Okay, then you're going to love Valorant, and it's crack. Um, Yes, we'll talk about Kai Sinat as well. Yes, yes. We're going to be talking about Kai Sinat as well. uh, Here, blast off. Blast off. Here it is. People don't understand, okay? Like... Logan Paul, Nelk Boys, and and like GOP and Disarray does not belong in the same sentence as like Kai Sinat, uh, because like Kai is a relatively new content creator. This is for this is literally for like the broadest audience. Okay, like we're we're bringing in people that are uh, the Macy's. Thank you for the Pro playlist. Rose? No, those are roses uh, for DSA Rose. It's Mike from PA Central. You sure, they're not prolapses. No, they're not. Um, Maybe they'll become prolapses. Can we get hearts in the chat? They're prolapses now. I mean, it's a it's Rose. Mike's it's Mike's uh, rose emoji. Anyway, it's, it literally looks like Howie's prolapse, like really a lot. Yeah, uh, the Kai thing is much more serious too. Exactly, it's like a super serious thing that I'm like, you know, this is like more joking uh, way of covering a, a tweet. I'm not gonna be like, you know, trigger warning: rape happened and. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to it in a little bit. Just shut the fuck up, okay? We're going to get to it. Here, just retweet it, oh, like I can, it. I can hang out for a while. Oh, you do? You have time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's I put, go. I put aside, I, dude, I told you. I put aside a, a whole fucking day for you, bro, just to show you well, how you much did, I care. You did give a lot to... You did give a lot of time to Bradley Martin, and hmm. I've I've been to his compound. It's, like, very fucking far. So, like, the fact that, you know, you traveled over there yeah, and you got cameras put on your face and stuff. Uh, like, I, after that, I was like, you, I got you, be- you better cameras. Oh. Yeah. You Bro, better I'm fucking. Him I gave him, like, two and a half hours. I, I'm giving you the whole fucking day. Bro. Hell, well, of course. I mean, I think I deserve more than. than and then like, never I, I, we love again. We love Bradley. We love Bradley. But, like, you know, Bradley. I feel like I deserve more than. You no, know. you do, and you're going to get it. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. I love you. Um. By the way, I'm looking at the subscribers. Can we hit seventy thousand? No, gonna... don't, don't, don't. Uh, no, no, we don't do we don't do subscriber runs. I'm I already have to too Fooper many. Troopers. It doesn't matter. I already have too many subs. Uh, like people are gonna I'll fucking stop. cancel me. Um, it's Fooper Troopers Amazon Prime. I mean, it's if free. they you don't if have to they spend, you don't have to spend money. If they want to, if they want to, they can subscribe to. Can avoid I say the... this? Don't pay for it. Yeah, sure. You can say that. Golden you know, Lamborghini, thank it, you for the it, ten gifted. The Jin, thank you for the ten gifted as well. Yeah, don't um, pay for it if you've got it free. Yeah, that's great. If you have a free Amazon Prime connected to your Twitch account, you can use it here if you would like. Uh okay. Uh, if you would like, seventy k. This guy's rich. Wait, I mean, dude, you can see it. You just have to write exclamation mark on my fucking chat. My sub count is public. Oh shit! It just. Oh wait, Please. sub points. That's no, nice. that's sub points. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, Least annoying vegan. Thank you for the ten gifted as well. Exclamation mark sub count, not just exclamation mark. I can see it. I have a live view of it. Yeah, sixty nine thousand nine hundred twenty eight. Is seventy a big milestone for you? That's a lot. I, mean, I don't. I don't really. 
at this stage, I'm so fortunate that like I don't really pay attention to the sub count in any capacity whatsoever. Well, um, I was. I think you're. You got to be one of the top, right? Yeah. On Twitch? I, I've been for the past like two, almost three years. I've been in the top five, pretty much. That's crazy. Yo, you're three away. Yeah, we did it. We reached it. Okay, stop gifting. Stop gifting. Stop gifting subs. Okay. Uh, that's so cool, you guys. Thanks for supporting Hassan. I mean, not that like I, but like seventy thousand. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. I think it's so fucking cool. I I will always say this. I have so much respect for what you built that you actually made lefty politics popular. Not just popular, but like you're the one of the top streamers on Twitch. And yeah. I think I see that. And it gives me hope, right? The landscape is dominated by conservative politics. Oh, yeah. And and when I when I saw what you're doing, I go, this is fucking this is yeah, people. I, I, I don't want to sound like a like a a, a a douche, but it's important actually. To I think it's important and valuable that to 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 make being a lefty on the internet cool. I right? think uh, well, you see it that way. A lot of people see that and go, "Why the fuck it ain't me?" Or "Fuck this guy." Let's find a way to like tear him down. Which is why I usually like don't talk about my accomplishments in that re regard, unless yeah, it's like that. unless it's like a public one. Which is, oh, uh, this? this was, uh, no, we're, this stream is, this community is one of the top 10 gaming live streaming creators in 2022 <coughs> internationally. We are in at the number five slot. You you got, were, what the fuck? XQC? What do you, what? XQC is, has such a large audience and, and constantly oh, streams. the amount, the amount. So this has, is basically like hours watched. I yeah. get it, I get it, I get it. So he has 224 million hours watched. Galls has 161 million. I buy e buy has 108 million. Aaron Play has 100 million, and then I'm there with 81.4 million. They're international content creators, so like they're oh. they're like. Uh, uh, so you're the second Amer. Well, excuse me. I'm not I'm the number yet. one uh, U.S. Uh, streamer. Whoa, dude, yeah. that's fucking awesome. Because X is technically Canadian, which is you know good for me. I even guess. worse, he's French Canadian. <laughs> True. Yeah, but he doesn't even speak. He doesn't speak French nor English, though. He just speaks uh, Pepegan, his own his own language. He, he, so it's he, like he in a speaks, league of his own. He speaks in stroke victim. Okay, okay. Well, let's let. Okay, we're we're starting off. We're starting off uh, hard here. All right, let's. He. Oh my God! This motherfucker is gonna get me banned, bro. I swear to God. Um, what I can't say is I can't make fun of stroke victims. Yes, you can't. That is definitely what? something you can't there, do. What since when is stroke victims well, you can't. a protected group? It is. It, it is literally is. Uh, and like what you can't make fun of disability stuff like that. You just can't. That stroke is not. It's like it, technically it would be. It's not cancel culture. It's like Twitch TOS guys. Okay, that's it. You oh, can't do that. Yeah. It's a term service violation. Okay, so about stroke specifically, yes, you know that? please. Are let's you let's cautious? move on from this, okay. please. Let's move on from this. We, I'm being cautious to all stroke victims out there. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm here. This one goes out. Those guy, all stroke victims. I'm going to speak loudly and clearly. We appreciate you, and I'm glad that you still have the motor functions to watch this show. Okay. We're very proud of you. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you think about this tweet? I mean, this is one I of his absolute all-time greats. It's so funny. absolute fucking banger. Well, the funniest thing is that he's like a known diet coke addict. Yeah, I know. Me too. Which is, he's just like me for real. I think it's one of the funniest tweets ever. I mean, like, yeah, I've I never seen a thin it's, person drinking diet coke, which awesome. like you know, such a great line. himself. Okay. And then the Coca Cola company is not happy with me. That's okay. I'll still keep drinking that garbage. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, I, I love, I love that. He's fucking. awesome. No, he's funny as shit. Yeah. Uh, Ethan, <laughs> there's a lot going on on the planet, okay? Uh, I was shooting a podcast, so I'm uh, actually oblivious. Maybe people in the chat can update me. Um, what is the latest on the McCarthy saga? The House was supposed to reconvene at 12 a.m. Eastern earlier this morning. Uh, we are at round 14, okay? That's crazy. The House will adjourn at 10 p.m., and Kevin says he has the votes. Got it. Thank you, Thamasius. Let's take a look. House. Let's start off with that a little bit because, uh, you know, that's not live anymore. Can I ask so, you something? What? I've been kind of following the whole uh, house debacle. 
other than it being embarrassing, like, is there, like, I just, I guess I don't understand the significance. Like, obviously it's embarrassing and they're wasting time, but is there something or dire consequence beyond that that I don't get? Well, not necessarily because as I always say, uh, you know, the Republican policy is like pretty much aligned across the board. Like there is fundamentally no genuine difference in my opinion between like Kevin McCarthy or any other fucking speaker of the house that they would potentially uh, put in Kevin McCarthy's place. The only like main reason why like Matt Gates and everyone else is like pushing for this, the, the, you know, the gang of five or the 20 holdouts, the never kevers as I like to call them, they're doing it for personal clout. And also some of them are tea party guys that love obstructing. And I think that's, they're just obstructing too much. Uh, they're, they're so used to obstructing the process that like they're obstructing their own process. Um, but the one major component of this conversation, I guess, that would be unique is that uh, the Never Kevers have made demands that like they want a speaker who will not uh, raise the debt ceiling, which is like symbolic at this point. You know what I mean? Right. Because like America defaulting on his debt would be insane. It would ruin. It would destroy the global economy, and uh, that like chaotic thing is is like unheard of. Pretty much, it's like sometimes utilized as a weapon by Tea Party guys that are like, we want to cut government spending. That's why we're doing this, like to flex their muscle, but. They basically are, they're basically claiming that this is, uh, you know, something that they want to, uh, this is something that they want to achieve is like, they're holding out. I guess out. It, it just kind of underlies that the party is not unified, I guess. They and just, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Which okay, is hilarious Which is because like they have unusual, a slim, right? no, 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 no. They have a, they, the house of representatives is always at an issue with the tea party guys, mm -hmm. uh, originally crafted and constructed almost entirely by the Koch brothers this coalition of like hyper right wing anti government libertarians are pretty much like the the real life version of have you ever seen Parks and Recreation? Mm -hmm. uh, Ron Perlman. Mm -hmm. They are basically Ron Perlman, like a guy who's like I want to end the government from within the government, mm -hmm. and or Ron not Ron Perlman, sorry Ron Swanson, the boss. Yeah, yeah, not Ron yeah. Perlman. Yeah, Ron Swanson is. Uh, the, the guy that, yeah, sorry. I, I don't know why Ron Perlman is on my mind right now. It, it, they're basically Ron Swanson, libertarian guy who wants to destroy the government from within. So they behave like that. But of course that has like real life consequences. So it's silly and dumb because it would like ruin everything. Uh, one clip I want to show, oh, fuck. I wonder if I can find it. There was a guy, I saw it on the majority report earlier today. Uh, there was a guy who basically was talking about his own constituents. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, he, he, I'll give you a perfect representation of like this, this kind of politics and how fucking stupid it is. Okay. And, and why it's incredibly idiotic. All right, here it is. So they want to, they want to make sure they cut the spending. Okay. They want to cut spending. They want to cut spending. They want to cut spending. That's like their overall goal. Which, why do they want to cut spending? Uh, nobody knows. Nobody really understands. But here, this is the clip I wanted to show you. Okay, here. He's just not expressing what he thinks he's expressing here when he talks about what uh, his constituents want. Two years, we have lost our way on spending. Printing too much money at our central bank and spending here in Congress like drunken sailors. This bad policy, Palooza, has gone into overdrive in the past two years with some $5 trillion of new spending demanded by President Biden and now delivered by the House minority. You just skip over Trump? Whose own budget Did chair Obama? famously said what, there's what, effectively what? no limit He's to what America... He's talking about Joe Biden and, and Donald Trump's... Uh... Yeah, no, nobody, nobody, nobody cares about Donald Trump spending. That was valid. That was valid. That was one of the good times. One of the of course, only this good is times. madness, and it's not anchored in any economic tenet. And there's not a single one of us here that isn't demanding a return to fiscal discipline. And who can deliver fiscal discipline? So this guy is a Kevin McCarthy supporter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what I mean, and this is this actually like 
is funny because like he's literally saying we need to cut spending, we need to do fiscal discipline, and Kevin McCarthy will do it, which is kind of what like the Tea Party Republicans who aren't Kevin McCarthy supporters, the never kevers, are also saying Kevin McCarthy is not going to do fiscal discipline. Okay. They're saying, you know, they're not gonna do that. Uh Kevin McCarthy is is a pussy and he won't actually fucking default on the American debt or whatever. Kevin McCarthy. On the point of spending, let me show you a list of everyone who's written me in the second congressional district who's asked me to cut spending. Wait, I'm holding what? up a blank piece of paper. He's saying he, none of his constituents want to cut spending. And that's proof that it's a problem because people aren't aware of it. Just let, let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> no one has asked me to cut spending in writing. Okay. And there are not many people who get a lot of mail in this house to cut spending okay. and to set spending priorities. Seems you've really identified a problem there. In contrast, we get hundreds of letters asking us to increase spending. But we're at a critical point in this nation's fiscal health. He's and like, there's one. He's like, he I'm literally here to do the opposite of what my representative. He want. said, yeah, he literally is saying <laughs> we need to make sure Kevin McCarthy, speaker of the house to do what my constituents don't want. I'm here to do the opposite of what my constituents ask me. Like, it's so cool. This what is literally... stupid fuck. He went there with the blank piece of paper. This is literally like... This is the Democratic Party, dude. This is straight up such a Democrat take. Wait, which this is like, a Democrat? No. He's Wait, a Republican. A He's take? behaving like how Democrats behave, where they tell you, Oh, you want free health care? Guess what, sweaty? What else do you want? A fucking unicorn? Like that is literally always like the the uh, the the patronizing, annoying, paternalistic attitude that like neoliberal Democrats regularly fucking behave like, uh, as though they know better than their fucking constituents uh, about what their needs are. I mean, we, we're and in, he's doing it from the Republican side. We're in a representative democracy right like that's what it nope. is and so their job is to go represent their constituents right i mean theoretically yeah it's supposed to be that's the way it's supposed and, to be and he literally just said like that's like a that's like an electricity uh someone who works for the city i just went out and cut the power line i got no request to cut the power line but i did it because i, I needed it, to and i said I need to prove to these folks how much they need electricity. I cut the power line, and now they realize how important it is. Yeah. One person to help see us through it, Kevin McCarthy. Stupid idiot. It, I love that. That's like, it demonstrates perfectly how similar this fucking dickhead and the rest of the Republican, like, never kevers are, okay, with respect to, like, their uh, perspective on, like, how legislation should be conducted, how, how the, the legislative body should operate. It also is a perfect representation of how, like, he's just openly stating, like, we know better than our constituents. Right. That's it. And, like, Kevin McCarthy will do the hard thing. And that's why it should be admirable. I, and I bet you, without knowing anything about him, I bet you this guy is, like, fucking super, or not super, but, like, probably wealthy, like, very comfortable financially. Oh, I mean, Extremely I'm sure. settled. And he's like, we got, we need to stop the spending, folks. Yeah. Because ultimately, they want to starve. They want to starve the government. And they How want much he to... Worth? Look up this guy's network. I don't know who the fuck this dude is even, by the way. Because it's like some... I don't know who fucking... What's his name? We don't even know his fucking Hold name. Hold on. I'll pull it. I'll pull it There's right now. There's too many goddamn people in the House of Representatives. Yeah. They're, yeah ain't that the truth? I'm sort of like fudging around it. Is it French Hill? French Hill, what an idiot name. His name is French Hill. Oh, my I'm Lord. I'm about to die on this French Hill. Let's see. Let's see. French Hill. He's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. AR2 released the that following works. statement on the passing of Pope Benedict. I'm deeply saddened by the Pope. There's rumors. <laughs> he, he, he did what I strive to do in Arkansas. Diddle kids. I tried And allowed diddling of children to continue. I want to do with the budget what Pope Benedict did with them pedophiles. Okay. I want to move them around <laughs> and make them disappear. Okay, what is it? He uh, is What's a, his net Of worth? course, always, always. These 
This guy Arkansas went to UCLA. motherfuckers. Yeah, they always That's every so Congress weird. person literally is the bicoastal elitist <laughs> shithead. Okay, he's actually educated. He though. went That's to fucking surprising. Vanderbilt, dude. He went to fucking Vanderbilt, and then he went to UCLA. Anderson Graduate School of Management. Okay, That's I would assume he's like an uneducated yoki fuck. But no, they he's never are hi- hyper educated. No, they're like rich dickheads that go to like all these liberal institutions and then come back and go. I put a snake skin boot on, which means I'm actually I'm one, one with the fucking people. Yeah, can I say yoki or is that? Derogatory? I don't know. I, but probably not. Um, but yeah, what's his net worth? I want to know. I, it doesn't really show Just anything. Just type net worth. It probably probably some. Fucking income gorilla or whatever. I don't know why it like doesn't show any of his like background, but he was an aide to a Republican senator. He's John. probably rich as fuck though. Tower. Oh wait, hold up. He was on the executive secretary of President George W. Bush's Economic Policy Council. Oh, famously a good one. Um, he was oh, he's a chair. broke boy. He's a broke boy. So Google says eight million. Wait, broke boy, dude. Fucking brokey. Fucking that, dude, that brokey. Is a, such a specific number. What? Seven million a fucking brokey. Dude, why is it so specific? Broke boy. He goes, unlike my colleagues, I am middle lower class. And yeah. I know something about spending and tightening the budget. Yeah. Uh what is this? French Hill. What is this? R- Rosendale trolls his Republican colleagues by saying Kevin Hearn. This is from yet. Yeah. What's Kevin Hearn? Oh, they did it again. It's another one that they're so that's like the fun thing. Lobo started it. Lauren Bober started this by being like, Lobo. I nominate Kevin. And then she pauses and goes, Hearn. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, look. They're, so, they're, they're fucking I saw children, Matt Gaines bro. Be like, Donald Trump. Yeah. Kevin. They're doing shtick. Yeah, they're because like it's all about fucking clout, dude. Kevin. Look at him looking around. He's like, hey, 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 hey. it's funny, right? Hearn. Nice. Killed him dead. They are so funny. They're so funny. That was awesome. Yeah, he killed it. That was great. <laughs> are you mad? Ha <laughs> I got him. They won't let me say the N-word no more, so this is the only type mm-hmm. of humor I have going. <laughs> Cancel culture. Who is Kevin Hearn? Is that somebody? Some fucking guy. He's just, just like some random. another another fucking uh, representative. Even I not- represent Kevin. What was the kid's name from uh, Home Alone? Uh, Kevin. His name was I Kevin. Know. I don't remember. It's famous. Please. What's his name? It was just Chat Kevin. will get, give it to you. McAllister? Was it? I represent Kevin McAllister. Yep. There yeah. it is. Thank you, chat. Uh, They're fast. Yeah, That's they just awesome. picked him because his name is Kevin. That's it. So they can do this like little troll, which is I so represent, fucking uh, stupid. Kevin. Spacey. Um, oh, Kevin By the Bacon. way, so a deal is underway potentially, and it seems like McCarthy has agreed to give the Freedom Caucus the keys of the car on pushing for national debt <coughs> default, which is spicy. Let's see what happens. Let's hear what Jake Tapper has to say about up. all this. It's 13th vote, ballot number 13, and they, again, did not elect a Speaker of the House. No one got enough votes. Hey, why did they uh, right now, default? they are all voting on a motion to adjourn that is uh, it's the, the motion right now being voted on. Let's, let's get right to CNN's Manu Raju. Uh, I hope Manu, they we've been doing the math, find something. and it seems Wait, like the task will be much easier. Oh, they just want to blow it up. Like, literally. It's just they want to, like, I guess, you know, fuck shit up. I like how he's like, everybody knows debt is bad. But defaulting on debt is awesome. Like, no. That's it's also bad. like, it's also one of those things where it's like, everybody understands that if you, if you destroy the American economy, like, it's over. You've accelerated to the point where like, you have, there is no like repairing this at the global level. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a fucking wrap. Easier for Kevin McCarthy to become the speaker if these two House Republicans, uh, Buck and Hunt, who are absent okay, right now for oh, personal reasons, if they return... Hey Tell guys, us what's going this on. Is my yeah, this fucking is exactly why the house. Pause this shit. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Someone made a big mistake leaving me in here. So, guys, I'm going to be streaming later the CoffeeZilla. Oh, you're streaming? I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'll react okay. to that. So, I, I don't think it's even come out yet. This guy, bro. You done? Oh, this is zapping? Yeah. Is this zapping you? Yeah. Did you get zapped? Yeah. Yeah, bro. There is a, there's an issue in this in this room with like. 
I'm glad that someone else experienced it though, because like people don't believe me, and it gets really fucking crazy sometimes. I think there's like an electrical leak or something. Um, what is it? You didn't give me much time though. I was hoping to have a little more time. Um, what? What you can to take over? Yeah, smart. Would it be awesome if you came back and you were like banned? No, it would not be. <laughs> that would be like awesome. the least awesome thing that's ever happened. That's- it's so like a, funny that I could just say something and then you get in so much trouble. Yes, it's fucking awful. Uh, and and Twitch has like it wouldn't no, affect me at all. Yeah, and Twitch has literally no recourse for this sort of thing too. It's really someone fucked just up. shows up. And yeah, shows up. House is voting to adjourn right now to give time for those members to return. I'm told Ken Buck in particular has a flight arriving back into Washington around 9 p.m. And so they plan to come back at 10 p.m. That would give Kevin McCarthy two additional votes. Now, that doesn't mean that he will get there. There needs to be, he, there's already a furious effort underway right now to get the other remaining holdouts, the few, two most viewed as gettable. Matt Rosendale of Montana and Elijah Crane. He's an incoming uh, Republican member as well. Both of them that uh, are, Ghouls, under, uh, are being lobbied by the old. membership they're by the top old. leaders. Yeah, they're all fucking ghouls. These guys, it's so fucked up. Like, y'all are gonna die soon and you're telling me what to do with the country. Yeah. Like, it's not even gonna affect your dead ass. Like, you have five years to live and you're trying to fucking tell me what to do with the country? Just fucking die and let us <laughs> take it from here. Yeah. Uh, this is a good point, by the way. In 2011, the U.S. credit rating was lowered from uh, AAA to AA+, plus, AA+, plus, by multiple agencies just because it seemed like it might default on the debt. I'm curious to see how they will respond when the GOP House is promising to default, which is crazy because, once again, if the American economy, if the American debt is uh, is forced to default, then the entire global economy falls apart. Like, everything is run off the dollar. It would be fucking insane. You know what, though? I can see the head. Like, I saw a headline yesterday. They're like, uh, Wall Street is down on good, on hot job market report. Because they're afraid of inflation. So they had this great job market report. Yeah. And the stock market tanked because of that. So who knows? Defaulting on the loan could slow down inflation. No, no. That, Huge dub for the Wall Street. Uh, no, that's oh, yeah, definitely, baby, that's definitely one of those things where like it's no longer. That would be that would be beyond. That would be like a meltdown. It's it's like <laughs> it's like nuclear meltdown. I like how they're like. To break- it's the. The Democrats haven't done nothing good for us. It's the Republicans' turn. And then they get in and get the cars, and they literally just fucking drive off a cliff. Yeah, because the ironically, the minute that they get in, here's one way to like also make the debt worse, by cutting taxes. And that's, ding, 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 that's the first thing that these motherfuckers do. that do? I don't know. I just pressed it. You don't know what it does? Uh, it's recording somewhere. I guess there's audio recording now for oh, no reason. Oh. oh, I turned it off. Never mind. Um, so basically, uh, basically that's what they do. That's what Donald Trump did. Um, allegedly one of the big provisions Kevin used today was to get votes to promise to cut the defense budget by 75 billion. That's a vibe. I mean, that's literally nothing. It's but like shaving ju- with a butter knife. But they, they'd be like, we can't give no more money to Ukraine. Yeah. I mean, they... I, I love that. I just don't believe in that. And I also feel like it's uh, it's like one of those like endless conversations about defund the police where you're not actually engaging or committed to like any sort of serious defunding. And it's just like taking a little bit off the tippy top that uh, they would have gotten uh, as an additional amount of discretionary spending. You know what I mean? Which is usually how this works. That's what's probably going to happen. Uh, anyway, let's continue. Big ranks, and there, I'm told that the concerns that they have raised are political. Crane, in particular, is concerned that if he backs McCarthy, this could hurt him in a potential primary bid in the next cycle. Also, uh, I'm told about Rosendale. Uh, Mr. Mr. McCarthy, Mr. McCarthy, do you think you have the votes to be elected speaker tonight? Yes. You do? Yes. So you, and you'll be able to flip Rosendale and Crane? I'll have the votes. Well, what, are you, what are their concerns? <coughs> <laughs> so there you have it. He said, yes, he's got the votes uh, to become elected speaker. If you're still with me here, Jake. Yep. Uh, he says, I mean, he said he's had the votes for a while, but it, I, and every time he says he has the vote, 
It just doesn't work. In other words, forcing the vote works. Le Manfeau, you guys are so fucking stupid if you legitimately can compare what the Republican Party is doing when their goals are literally identified and aligned with the rest of the Republican Party to the Democratic Party where, like, the supposed goals that you believe the Progressive Caucus is supposed to be espousing are aligned with the rest of the Democratic Party. You are a fucking <laughs> idiot, okay? You're, you're just, you are a stupid person. Okay, you are a stupid, stupid person if you legitimately think that this is anything but like a false promise that's not going to work and they're going to find a different way to add additional 70 billion cut in military spending, 85 billion added onto the discretionary spending uh, for the military. $800 billion is going to the fucking military every goddamn year. You're not stupid for cutting the military spending. You're stupid for misunderstanding something that is fundamentally not going to happen. And it doesn't matter. I probably now have a 12-month subscriber who's now going to be a lifelong hater waiting for the opportunity to be like, see, they actually did cut it. Not realizing that a month down the line, they're going to re-add that in a different way. Okay, there are numerous ways to fucking add additional uh, uh, expenditures into the military budget. You are delusional if you think that that is actually going to happen. Literally, look at the war in Ukraine. We took, there was a massive hole in the tuna of $52 billion once the Afghan withdrawal happened. $52 billion a year was going into Afghanistan. Now, the $52 billion that like is already paid for through our military industrial complex has to go somewhere else. Where is it going to go? Ukraine. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. The U.S. military spending only goes up. You're delusional if you think that that's anything but a false promise yeah. or just like a false assurance. Those Republicans don't even want to fucking cut military spending. Right. You absolute fucking dingus. You fucking piece of shit. He's not a piece Fuck of shit. He's just you. like too no, no, stupid no. and too Fuck horny. you, bro. No, he's too stupid. Leave. And he is too horny to literally fucking have back. a gotcha moment. Okay, that's it. That's literally what he's doing. Nice try. Idiot. Meanwhile, the top of the hour is upon us, and the real gotcha is the three-minute ad break. Unless you use that prime. That's right. Unless you use your Twitch primes, or by subscribing for $5 or for free, uh, Twitch Prime is free, uh, or by getting gifted the sub if you're lucky. Here is the three-minute ad break now. So there's just like... Megaphonics, thank you for the five. Travis Cat, thank you for the five. Parallapse, thank you for the five gifted... So allowing just the the subs are left or can watch us right now what no 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 everyone can technically watch us it just like depends uh it, usually most people just have like ad block yeah so they don't even oh, see I it thought twitch they like twitch is they super aggressive the they they literally They're shut really down slip. pretty much most ad blocks because whenever i open your stream and i have ad block um they okay. fucking serve my ass like a super long ad. Like, to yeah. get it. It's actually yeah. super, like, they're too aggressive, in my opinion. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll go to your stream and I need to I refresh hate, or something. I hate, and they hit yeah. you with, like, a three-minute ad. So that is a pre-roll. I don't want that. I literally am like, stop serving pre-rolls. That's outside of my control. But this three-minute ad break that I do at the top of the hour is, like, completely within my control. I mean, it's a contractual That's obligation. You know I mean? But, like, at least I'm, you know, launching it. I'm telling you it's happening. The thing that I don't like is how they something happens and you have to come back within like a minute. Like they know that you've been served an ad recently. Like yeah. give me a fucking little bit of grace. Twitch. Yeah. Uh, also uh, young spicy meatball. Thank you for the five X man. Richie. Thank you for the five Trismatics. Thank you for the five and Tamana. Thank you for the five miss pasta bod. Thank you for the five. Thank you for the gift. Gift. Yeah. In the words um, of Ninja. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Fahey eight nine four for the five. Get the subs as well. Okay. When is, when is the vote on the, uh, it's going to be at 10 p.m. tonight, so it's going to oh, be wow. 7 p.m. Uh, our time later. He has the votes. So tonight he has the votes so to be elected speaker. That is new. The other day, they just adjourn till. Some days they just, like, want to blow through it. Other days they successfully, I guess this day, they successfully struck a deal. So they were like, fuck it. We're going to, okay. you know, we're going to adjourn till 10 and then so vote far. for it. Tiny... Type horror show that you have the five good did. Here's he has not been continue. saying that so far. In fact, By for way, some time, uh, Kevin update. McCarthy has been saying that what? it's Jen unclear Shaw when uh, he Salt would... Lake City got sentenced to six point five years in prison for, for what reason? For wire fraud and um, money what? laundering. That's crazy. Is that the Wendy's lady, the one that's no, all on, on all the, the Wendy's ads? No, oh. no, that that's. Uh, I don't watch anything like that, so I have no her. idea. Jen Shaw, six point five years. Bye. Yeah, she was they, rich. She was stealing money from elderly people. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Awesome, and she was flaunting like extraordinarily wealthy on the show, like designer, everything, fat house, like living large. 
And in one of the episodes, the fucking police come to arrest her ass during an episode. And they shot it? They yeah, kept it's all... Well, as she gets a phone call right before they arrive, they're like, oh, something came up. I got to go. So somebody tipped her off, and she dodged the fucking police raid. That's kind of fire. That's it fire content in general. Insane. Salt Lake City, Housewives of Salt Lake City is so good. That's that's cool. And okay, she's going to jail for six and a half. Let's years. finish this and then we'll get to uh, stuff like that. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, let, like let me just because this, this is the main like serious news ahead, story yeah, of the let, day. Let, I just want to I just want to blow through this, this real quick. Yes. Yes. That's what he yes. said uh, last night. That's what he said this morning. But now you have Kevin McCarthy saying that tonight he will have the votes to be elected okay. Speaker of the okay. House, and that would I mean just, that he had to flip some members says. somehow, some way. Okay. Those uh, remaining holdouts, so as we're talking about Elijah Crane, as well as his incoming freshman, Matt Rosendale of Montana, both of them had expressed concerns about the politics of supporting Kevin McCarthy. Crane, concerned about the potential primary impacts he could have in the next election cycle. Rosendale is eyeing a potential Senate run in Montana. He wants to stay to the right of any potential uh, opponent there. One of the Montana potential opponent there, Ryan Zinke, also an incoming member, is supporting McCarthy. So there you get some of the sense of the politics there. There, but McCarthy doesn't seem too concerned. I just asked him about Rosendale and Crane. As you heard, he, he didn't really. I mean, he never seemed particularly concerned, even when he clearly should have been concerned. So I don't, I don't fully understand why uh, this is any different. But I guess like they know something uh, that we don't know because it seems like they're now in unison, collectively stating that like Kevin McCarthy definitely has struck a deal. Um, that's what's happening. No Ethan, no more. Yeah, dude, he's gone. Like, what do you mean? He just left to pee, you fucking freak. Holy shit. Calm down, okay? They quite say how he's planning to, to get those members, but there's a possible, there are lots of different scenarios in which he can get there. Some may vote present to lower the voting threshold, and then getting these two members back who support McCarthy are essential. But right there, Kevin McCarthy. I covered the Andrew Callahan M NPR interview already. He believes that after all these failed ballots, one after the other, this historic speaker's race, more than 100 years here, that he will finally get the votes to be elected speaker. After we've seen, it's been 100 years since we have multiple ballots in an election, Kevin McCarthy feels he's there tonight. That's right, Manu Raju. It is, a, it is huge news and a very lucky Friday the 13th uh, for Kevin McCarthy as of right now. Not just luck, obviously, a lot of wheeling and dealing and negotiating. Right now, Kevin McCarthy is within grasp of the House speakership. He has 214 votes. Uh, he only needs to flip two rebels uh, of the remaining six. Two right, rebels. I love that. Here are some of the concessions and promises McCarthy has made over the course of the negotiations. Here's a bullet point. Here's a list. Any member can call for a motion to vacate the speaker's chair, which, you know, I think it's fun and I like it. McCarthy's leadership pack won't play in open primaries in safe districts. Okay. They're like, you know, basically making sure that they, um, they're making sure that they basically fucking protect their positions. Hold votes on key conservative bills, including balanced budget amendment, congressional term limits and border security. Okay. The congressional term limits being held is so funny because like, it's not going to pass. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they're, like, at least getting an assurance that they'll put it to the fucking, uh, you know, they'll put it to the test. A debt ceiling hike must be paired with spending cuts, which is not necessarily a uh, debt ceiling hike in and of itself or, or uh, uh, actually forcing a default. Um, but, you know, symbolic assurances, which kind of makes sense because, like, they were never going to. <laughs> oh, my God. Scum art. He's very quick with it. The fastest in the fucking game. Yeah. Is that how you guys see us? I mean, he he made My you a skinny. He made you a skinny legend. You gotta go. Oh, yeah. Also, get closer to the microphone. Um. So, oh, you're muted. Uh, I muted oh, that you. That could be why. Yeah, that was the reason I muted you. Um. Oops. My bad. But yeah, this is this is how they see us. Yes. Okay. Basically, that. By the way, a repeat of that will not happen today. Okay. The angles that you're posting on your Instagram. Oh, Bobby Lee posted that. Fucking trying to humiliate me. But I'm not even right. kidding. Like, first of all, one, you're a skinny legend. Two, you uh, have no bad angles on this broadcast. I I made assurances like ahead of Let time. Me see. Yeah, I mean, no, it's a good angle. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have only good no angles. Bo- just top no down, bo- top down angle on the on the podcast too. I noticed that. That was yeah, good. Yeah, we have only good angles. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I get fucked over so many times with yeah. that. Yeah, if you want to see, if you want to see the angles, if you want to see the skinny legend thrive, you know the the episode will be out on Monday. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, some of the assurances, uh, move 12 appropriations bills individually, more freedom caucus representation on committees, including house rules committee, which is pretty funny. They're like, you know, they just want, they just want more representation cap discretionary spending at fiscal 2022 levels, which would amount to lower levels for defense and domestic programs. Hilarious. They're like, come on, come on. Let's just cap it. Let's just, you know, let's not add additional, uh, let's not add additional funds to the, you know, trillion dollar budget. Okay. Allow 72 hours to review bills before they come to the floor. Give members ability to offer more amendments on the House floor. Create an investigative committee to probe the weaponization of the federal government, which is the FBI probe. Uh, this is going to be um, the the FBI uh, Hunter Biden dick committee. Like, why did the FBI not release Hunter Biden's penis photos to every single person so that every single uh, American saw Hunter Biden's girth, length, shaft, ball hairs, all of that? Restore the Holman rule, which can be used to reduce the salary of government officials. I am fully on board with that one. And uh, this, seems like, uh, this seems like the end. This seems like the end of a, of a chapter here um, where the, the forcing the vote has, uh, in the eyes of some silly billies, uh, been a profound success as though all of the goals that they are posting, all of the goals that they wanted are not directly aligned with the goals of the Republican Party as a whole and if you cannot comprehend why that is, if you cannot comprehend why that is literally dramatically different than like, uh, you know, trying to get Medicare for all passed, I don't know what to tell you, okay? With the only exception of like the military budget being cut, that is like something that is truly against we uh, just the, the bipartisan the co- uh, consensus in Not Washington Hill. I mean, Washington Hill, Washington, D.C. However... Having yeah, said right, that, uh, it's, an honor to join you, Wolf, it's still not viewers, going to be, look, uh, it's still not going to dramatically reduce military people. spending. Clearly, we found a way to uh, provide a broader consensus for our governing coalition as a result of this process. Ideally, it would have been done ahead of January 3rd, uh, but the upside for you know the American population and frankly the world is you see a little bit of how this is done. It's, it's uh, a little bit more collaborative than I think a lot of people realize. And so we really do have a, a consensus on it how we so can move light. forward. Hopefully that means we can move at a faster pace uh, than we would have shit. otherwise been able to do. Uh, and these last six and then, people, and then, maybe there's a way for them to not Ohio actually man. vote for Kevin this McCarthy, is is. but to provide Wolf, a, a logic Wolf, for why they've been reluctant to support him. No, you notice we'll there's like white time, people, and, uh, they're so white they, they turn red. It's like, it's like an older white guy thing, I think. It's an older white guy trend. I'm red. clearly been firmly, very firmly... Congressman and Kevin McCarthy's when you corner see him next during this really entire so fight. Do you space. share his confidence right now that he will be elected what Speaker of the House tonight? Did you the tweet? Oh, yeah, I well, responded I, you know, to He hasn't earned the job until he's earned all the votes. I was trying to juice your stream. Uh, and, you know, that's, and, uh, that's yet to be determined. Oh, hell yeah. I think we're all optimistic that picture. that's going to happen here <laughs> at 10 o'clock when we call the Oh, what the again. fuck? Uh, I but, said that to Elo last night. God damn it, dude. I, I just, uh, I go in my... Uh, I don't even know if I can look at this on the stream, dude. What why? the fuck? I guess I can. I, I like, whenever I'm on Twitter, I just go through my camera roll and post whatever. And that I said to Elo last night on the treadmill. So I thought, you know what? Let's get that exclusive content out there to juice the stream. Hell yeah. Show Respect. it, bro. I don't know if I can. Show it. I guess there's no... There's no TOS in it. That's what my bottom angles look like. It's hot. Hila liked it. Well, I mean, I think she's a bit biased. <laughs> you know, being the mother of your children. Well, hey. Like, we know, we know she likes it. Yeah. <laughs> please tell something. Ethan Please tell Ethan he got me hard. There you hey. go. Tom Hecker was Thank hard. You, Tom Hecker. Tell him to cover him up, slut. That's what they want. They want you to cover it up, slut. Or slut by the way, that photo is now going to be used by like every yeah uh, alpha male. It's like it's like photos that you post this of yourself as a joke. Every they literally Party always Congress use it against you. Every personal, time. yeah. And this, that emotions only, have run this is going to show up this week How in a Republican, manosphere. 
oh, yeah. close about me. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. Um, you seem to be bored. I kind of want to, I love, no. I love looking at like a little bit of Fox we're news just to see what the fuck oh, sorry, they're I saying. I seem bored. I was just, <laughs> sorry, Jim Jordan. I was just reposting uh, Jim Jordan shit. Yeah. He doesn't want the job. He yeah. wants to head up the committee, uh, judiciary committee, but all the people who are left, the six have all voted for him. So in a way he could be a negotiator, a kingmaker come Sunday on your show. That's right. Jim Jordan is going to be with us exclusively and we'll talk with them about how all of this has come together, what it was like in that room, how they got these final votes if they get to them tonight. And also, you mentioned him going to chair the Judiciary Committee. Republicans have promised all kinds of things, investigations of Hunter Biden and other people. Um, so they've got a lot to live up to. Is that going to be a net plus or minus for Republicans if they spend their time on that when there's going to be criticism from Democrats that it's Benghazi 2.0, we need to handle inflation. Where can we work together? And fair and balanced. You have Ro Khanna as well. We do. And we're going to talk about the border um, and why now the president has decided the to border. go there. So our Democrat or Republican, our panel, will talk about it all. Okay. Shannon, thank you. See you then. The December jobs report suggests the labor market may be. Okay, they're they're moving on from that. All right, uh, kind of whack, kind of weak. They're like they took the they took the W and they're moving on. Let's see. There are still six never Kevin's. Let's see <laughs> how never they are. Well, I can't to Congressman Davidson's never. point, yeah, never though, like, um, I think never Kevin is better than never Kevin, though. Is. Honestly, is a way to save face. They can still not vote for him but they can uh, get out of the way. Congressman Davidson used the word collaborative, that what we have seen this last week is collaborative. <laughs> I would use another word. It's been ugly. This is not the way Kevin she McCarthy wanted to get here. And I think the real question is going forward, Shocking. is this what we're going <gasps> to see yeah. over and over. I thought about that when McCarthy came to the mics and made that comment about, well, it took this long, but now we know how to govern. And, <laughs> you know, I, I, that's certainly a, a good we way. All it's just like the obstructionist party is doing more obstruction. And, uh, you know, uh, one of the one of the goals was to, like, be able to have the tools to do successfully uh, more obstruction. And basically. Basically, they gave him that. OK, uh, I'll I'll come back to this later, obviously, when there's more details on it. But uh, since Ethan is here, one of, uh, you know, since Ethan is here, we're going to have a little bit of more. We're going to have more lighter coverage on the broadcast rather than like, uh, you know, the congressional intrigue. And uh, one of the things I want to talk about, uh, obviously, we're not going to do the CoffeeZilla one because you want to do it yourself. Is it out? I think so. Let me just see. Let me. A little teaser. I think the video, yeah, ending. Uh, nope, oh no, no, that's no. from two. So I don't. It didn't drop. Is it out? Yet. No, it hasn't it dropped it. yet. Someone in the he chat said, said it's it going to come out today, uh, or yeah. maybe if he just dropped it. You know, sometimes it takes a minute to show up. Yeah, it's not showing up on mine. I'm right. going to post to the Ethan Klein channel. Maybe I'll just do a reaction to it and post it if yeah. you want to watch that. Okay. Ethan Klein channel. That's keep all it, promote that. Keep I have it, Ethan Klein channel. Okay, hell yeah. Uh, he said, "Keep it light, like Ethan's." Uh, Body Ethan's weight. body weight. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's people true. started calling me Ethan. I like that. You are. You are. You are a skinny legend, dude. It's not even a joke. Thanks, bro. Um, I still have a long way to go, though, because I, I, I'm at like two. And like, theoretically, my healthy body weight is like 180. No, no, you got you got it's a ways to go, but like you're, you, I mean, yeah. he's a huge but dub, yeah, dude. Problem, you got to take those progress. dubs where you no, get them. I do. I do. Thank you. Yeah. Take those fucking dubs where you it's get nice. them. Um. Okay, we're going to do uh, Lo uh before we do Logan Paul then. Uh have you have you covered? Have you are you familiar with the Idaho murders? Um no. What is that? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, we'll do we'll do some more. We'll I'm do some sure. I want the Idaho murder. I love that okay, shit. Okay, before we do that What's uh, the Logan Paul stuff? Uh, the the Logan Paul Coffeezilla update is that Coffeezilla said he's going to do a, oh, okay. you know, so, yeah, a response video yeah. Yeah. to Logan Paul's shitty response, which uh, we were going to watch. The other one is like uh, Aiden Ross, Nelk Boys crossover with Andrew Tate. That I'd love to watch. Yeah, we'll we'll watch that. We'll watch parts of that. Um, do you want to watch Matt Gaetz uh, talking about why Trump is wrong to support McCarthy? I... Uh, okay. Honestly, okay. No. 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 All right. We'll do. Honestly, I don't. No. All right. We'll do some. We'll do a little Anthony, bit of. 
Uh, fuck it. I'm skipping this one, too. All right. Details in Idaho. With those uh, murders in Idaho. The new details about the man accused of killing four students at the University of Idaho. Suspect Brian Koberger appeared in an Idaho courtroom oh, for the I very first time yesterday. This. And in newly unsealed court documents, police say they identified him, getting into the details, also getting into how they linked him to the crime scene. Also, a chilling affidavit alleges that one of the surviving roommates saw a masked man she did not know walk past her bedroom door the morning of the murders. Omar Villafranca has more now from Moscow, Idaho, but a warning here in a quadruple murder story. Some of these details are disturbing. Murder suspect Brian Koberger smiled at his public defender as he faced a judge in Idaho for the first time Thursday. Count two alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. The maximum penalty for that offense, if you plead guilty or are found guilty, is up to death and or imprisonment up for life. Death. Do you understand? I mean, yes. yeah, it's fucking Idaho. He's they don't fuck around. Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Shapin to death in the early morning hours of November 13th. According to a newly unsealed 18-page affidavit, Investigators discovered DNA on a knife sheath similar to this one found on the How bed next him? to Madison Mogan. Him? Yeah, they linked that the DNA. Bodies? He just left him there and he walked out. Oh, oh you don't know the details he just then. Left them on the campus so basically, failed. this is like, as far as we know, uh, from what we understand, like this is a criminology PhD at. Uh, He's a PhD. Yeah, he has a criminology what? PhD. He's conducted uh, Reddit surveys on like. The, the psychological profile of, like, criminals. He's asked criminals, like, why you did the crime? You know, did you think yeah. about the victims? That sort of stuff. And and he is... Yeah, he he uh, circled the night of the murder. He circled <coughs> with his car, turned his phone off, circled the, uh, circled the house, like, the block of the house four times, literally went into the house at, like, around 4 a.m. Not, exactly, uh, not exactly sure on when he... I, yeah, he's a PhD student. What the fuck? What Wait, do you guys want? Did he, I not he, say that? He, he, you did. He's studying criminology just to do these dumbass crimes, like like to get caught like this. You know what I mean? Like, well, he said he'd be a little more. Yeah, Dexter. I mean, he was not. He was not as uh, as as Dexter like as he would think he is. I mean, he turned off his phone. He did some basic stuff. Just leaving bodies like, on the. But campus. like he used, but he used a knife. So like you know, he he left his DNA on on scene, and there were people who were awake at the time. So he walks into done this. That better. He walks into this house. Uh, he stabs four people at, to death, and two of them are like, you know, in a room. Stop saying he did it. Allegedly, okay, allegedly, you're right. Um, stabs four people to death. Even though his, so what do you mean? All, he, Stop saying he did it, motherfucker. His DNA is on the scene, dog. What the fuck? Wait, he killed them all at the same time. Uh, yeah, that is like actually the unique component here because like he got caught basically uh -huh. by one of the roommates who uh, didn't understand what was going on and thought like maybe one of her roommates was like, playing with her dog or something, opens the door, opens the door again, and he uh, uh, hears him saying like, oh, I'll help you. I can help you. And then opens the door again, sees him like randomly with bushy eyebrows and shit, wearing a black mask. Uh, uh And, and she closes the door, locks it. He's like worried, but it's like they're drunk. It's a fucking party house. They, you know, plenty of random so weird sus bro. people walk in and out of houses like that. So she yeah. probably might have not thought more about it. We don't know. Uh, so did he know them? Like, what the fuck is going on here? We don't know, uh, but it also, doesn't like, seem like he, he this does. man has gone through his whole life PhD, and then he's just walking into a random house and stabbing everyone. Yeah, it's just so bizarre and disturbing. Um. So, oh, yeah, there's another detail. He was likely stalking or seeing one of the victims at night. His phone pinged around the house 12 oh, times shit. since June. Either way, he was consistently scoping out the place. Um, and, and uh, you know, he, he went in. Uh, he stabbed four people to death. He was caught by one of, the, one of the other survivors. He just basically walked out. And he literally drove away, you know, linked up with his dad. They did a cross-country tour to Pennsylvania. He got caught in Pennsylvania eventually. DNA to Koberger by matching it to his father's the DNA found in the trash outside the family home. Yeah, his, uh, matching it to the father's DNA outside of the trash in the family home. This is important. This is a, one of the new details. Knife sheath, similar to this one, found on the bed next to Madison Mogan. 
They linked he that left the DNA sheath to Coburn that's by matching to it to his father's people. DNA found I mean, in the trap. Like, yeah, and like then, and then brutal. they linked the knife sheath DNA to his dad. So he basically took his dad's knife and killed them. Is what what you know the uh, speculation? No, wait, is. that's so. Uh, they they found the sheath. They swapped it for DNA. So what? His dad has a record or something? I mean, if he's uh, twenty two and me. Oh, his dad did a 22 and me. Not his dad, but like e e even if an immediate family member uh, has like, or no, 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 not 23 and me. They, they looked at his trash, right? They got his DNA from the trash. And uh, yeah, they took, they took his dad, uh, dad's said, DNA. This, guy, but, this DNA is the parent of whoever. But I, I thought it was originally from the ancestry tree, like one of the... Tw so he did, <coughs> he did do it pretty slick. Like, I mean, the DNA... <coughs> The DNA forensic they can do now is, like, insane. It's so hard to get away with murder these days. Like, I mean, what they did against the Gold State Killer, re like, a few years ago, they, un they fucking... Yeah, they that did that. Was. Yeah, they did it through Ancestry. Yeah, they linked the sheath to DNA, and then the trash showed DNA of the father <laughs> or, uh, or of whoever owned the knife sheath. Yeah. Ten years ago, they would have never caught him. Yeah. Or maybe 15. I don't know how recently. They just said the trash collected. The DNA proved that the DNA in the knife was 99.99999% uh, the son dude, of the DNA I'm in the so trash. Glad. I personally, people think it's like dystopian. I love it, bro. Let's I, I think about like think the ethical, awesome. the, the implications on like uh, how easily like, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I worry. I worry about that because it's like not 100%. And you can, a, a lot of people Pretty assume close. that it's like 100%. It I, I, I fear Genetics? that. Genetics? When has anyone ever been... Um, Miscried over like a, ge a genetic egg. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Well, a lot of people have actually uh, been declared innocent as a consequence of that. You're right, yeah. but yeah, that, exactly. I don't know. It's just there's something that I that are, there's something that I worry about with respect to like uh, you know being able to basically uh, like scour the DNA. Uh, footprint or like the DNA genealogy of like every single immediate family member like that. What, well, I don't what's so so I get it's like a little dystopian but what is it you're afraid of happening exactly with that information I think that I, I worry that like uh, the more we use it the more it's going to be used in like normal circumstances and not like murder you know what I mean it starts off with murder profiles and that's fine but then and everybody like kind of gets used to it and then it turns into it turns into a problem when like uh you know companies are using it or or uh you know insurance companies are basically using it to like you know drive up your rates and shit like that like there will be commercial they, use for this that i fear here i'll give you a great yeah, example. Give me an example cameras and cctv footage is like uh you know made it definitely easier to catch criminals in the act one of the latest things that happened with face tracking technology and cameras everywhere was that there was a law firm that was suing Madison Square Garden. Have you, have you heard of the story? A law firm is suing Madison Square Garden. I forget what, what the details are exactly. But one of the fucking parents of a school trip that is going to Madison Square Garden, one of the parents that is a part of that law firm that's not even involved in the case directly was caught on face trackers entering Madison Square Garden and they literally stopped her from entering Madison Square Garden. They're like, you know, there's a there's an ongoing uh, active lawsuit and you are a part of this law firm. You can't fucking come in here with your with your child. I, I have reservations about the face tracking just because it's not super it's not always accurate, right? Like that that one definitely has um that one definitely is not reliable enough to convict people. And I've heard of that shit going sideways and wrong people getting convicted yeah. on face tracking. But DNA is, is as close to 100% as you can No, I mean, the face tracker is 100% as well. I'm just saying no, that not. like... It's not. No, 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 no. The utility of it... Do you understand? The utility doesn't stay. My point wasn't about like 100%. <laughs> My point was the utility of a certain thing can come across as like smart and good originally and then i can uh totally see it being used for commercial reasons by like incredibly powerful corporations in the way that i just described to you yeah so i i fear that like dna sampling like this is going to be used as like a it, it used to like have access to just like the widespread pretty much like information 
that is, uh, you know, written in your fucking genes is going to be accessible to like every corporation that wants to pay for it eventually. And that is something that I uh, am fearful of. I guess it's inevitable. Anyway. Regardless, eh? Yeah. So DNA leads to higher insurance rates uh, for cancer predisposition could lead to lower yeah, credit scores for people. You know what I mean? Like that's like that's Gattaca. Yeah. Gattaca. If, if insurance companies are crunching the numbers, analyzing your DNA, that's pretty fucked up. But get it. Wasn't I'm Gattaca not, yeah. about like designer babies and shit? Yes, but. I love that movie. But that way. it also is like about. It, well, we're already doing that with gene editing. But it also was like, you're predetermined to, that that one has a coding. That one's actually sweet. You'll like that one. It also was about like what capitalism does and and, uh, what happens when you, you know, mix capitalism with, uh, uh, you know, genetic predetermination. Like uh, the assumption that like uh, a society run on like the concept of genetic superiority and like having access to to the best kind of gene editing would make you a person who, uh, you know, was, was, uh, if you didn't have access to that kind of gene editing, you would be deemed, uh, a, a undesirable person. That is happening by the way. Yeah. It's, that's there, what I mean. The bleeding edge of like IVF technology is they're already f- kind of figured out how to determine like height, eye color, yeah. hair, texture, intelligence. So designer baby thing is is coming. Yeah. So that's my point. That's what I'm fearful of. Anyway, let's continue. Ash outside I guess it's good and bad. Home. It's inevitable. Yeah. And the catching the murderers thing is mm-hmm. dope, but it's going to happen. So. The knife sheath left at the crime scene, which is where they derived the DNA, to me is like a nail in the coffin. Casey Jordan, a criminologist with no connection to the case, believes the evidence against Koberger is overwhelming, citing stunning new details in the affidavit from an interview with the surviving roommate. She told investigators she woke up around 4 a.m. and thought she heard Kaylee Gonzalez say, there's someone here. Later, the roommate said she heard what sounded like crying in Zana Kernodal's room. Then a male voice say something to the effect of, It's okay, I'm going to help you. When she opened her bedroom door, she told investigators she saw a man she did not recognize wearing black clothes and a mask. She described him as 5'10 or taller, male, not very muscular, but athletically built with bushy eyebrows. She said she stood frozen as the man walked by her to the back door. She then went in her room and locked the door. The affidavit did not explain why police were not called to the scene until noon, about eight hours later. I really do believe that the evidence... Because, like, they... So, a lot of people... This is why people were, like, speculating crazy shit. But, I mean, it makes sense to me to a certain degree. Like, if you're living in, like, a shared living space with a bunch of other college uh, people and you hear someone crying, you just assume, like, oh, there's a fight going on or whatever, right? And you're you're drunk as fuck regardless, right? You're, like drunk as fuck you you pass the fuck out and then you wake up in the morning and you think oh my god someone is like unconscious one of my roommates is unconscious that's what they thought originally oh one of my roommates is unconscious that's why they called 911 um evidence is so strong already oh. as for the investigation is complete he's going to have an uphill climb to try to be found not guilty it's worth noting that investigators laid out several th- threads tying Koberger to the crime scene. Now, police say his cell phone pinged in the area of the crimes at least a dozen times before the attacks. Police also say that a white Hyundai was seen speeding away after the attack. He drives a white Hyundai. From there, police say that they were able to track that car's toll tag from Washington State all the way to Pennsylvania. There in Pennsylvania, they got a DNA sample from his parents' trash bin. That DNA sample linked back to the knife sheath found here in Idaho. A lot of police work was going on. He will remain here in the Laytock County Jail. He'll be in court next week oh, where he'll so enter a plea. Dude. Tony? A yeah. fucking freak. Wow. I mean, it took some time for police to get that evidence, but there's a lot in this indictment. Uh, Omar, thank you very much. In our next hour, 48 Hours correspondent Peter Van Good Sant will join us nice with a closer look at the suspect. Nice job, and boys. also he'll be... I mean, that, that, we'll, we'll, we'll give that one to the FBI for sure. Because uh, from what I understand, 
the Moscow new details. Uh, cops were just basically like twiddling their fucking thumbs for the most part. This this is a lot of like uh, you know post hoc uh, uh, dubs giving to the given to the law enforcement community across the board in an effort, in my opinion, to propagandize and make it seem like they were doing a lot of good uh, work <coughs> when it literally was not the police that was doing this. It was the FBI that was doing uh, a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, I'll take that dub too. No, I, I mean I'll take it. It it was also across lines too. It was across like uh uh you know state lines as well but like they literally fucking said cops at the time were basically just going you know uh yeah we don't know what's going on they that's what they said so she passed out for eight hours i'm assuming she probably went to sleep or something that's what i think too but we don't know we don't know the actual details but her well, no, no, no. There was a. There were other roommates in the house too. They like. Oh, I think wow. they didn't even see him at all. They were just I'm like sleeping. I'm surprised you can stab four people to death. Without that is actually hearing. that is legitimately uh, confusing to me as well. That like, would be loud because he he went into two rooms with two people, implying that he killed at least two people in two separate rooms in front of another person. Right, and if you're being stabbed to death, you're not. You can, you're going to be vocal, right? You're not like immediately dead. Yeah. And there had to have been so much blood too. Like oh, it's yeah. just crazy. Fuck that guy. But then again, yes, you are right, fragile frail golem. Ted Bundy did do that with a rock in a house with multiple people. He did it in a sorority house. Yeah, but Ted Bundy's the best that ever did it. Come on. Yeah, you know I, I mean Bundy. not uh, yeah, you know. He did have a lot of experience. Um, um there is another component here. Uh, which is, the you know, friend of the show, Moist Critical Charlie's video, who covered uh, the other part of this, which is like the more toxic side oh, of this. Shit. True oh. crime enthusiasts. They were accusing the roommate. That's so stupid. What? Not the roommate, uh, a, a a teacher as well. There was like a TikTok psychic. There's a bunch of different. They're uh, just blasting people. They were, but, but that's what happens all the time. The we did it Reddit. Remember the Boston bombing. Like uh, the right. Boston Marathon bomber, they right. Reddit made it seem like the Reddit yeah, thought that they that had found right. the actual bomber when it was like some random fucking guy. This has been a, a, a tale as old as time itself. People get incredibly fascinated, especially when there's not a lot of official uh, information out there. And they want to take matters into their own hands and they <laughs> inevitably end up ruining people's fucking lives in this like witch hunt, basically. And TikTok is. TikTok is is particularly uh, awful with it because like true crime, fascinating stuff, right? The human condition, uh, how can a human being do such an awful thing? We watch some true crime stuff here as well. Usually, you know, cases that have ended, right? Um, and and mostly from the mostly from the perspective of like uh, you know interviewers, uh, interrogators, and how like suspects behave in interrogations and things like that. Now. Having said that, there's also a, a scene that takes it one step further where they are true crime enthusiasts and they behave like the thing that is unfolding in front of them is actually is unfolding uh, as like a movie when it's not. These are real victims. These are real human so beings. You, well, here, I'll let Charlie explain it while I go. Real for quick. online attention on TikTok is a poison more potent than cyanide, but it doesn't kill you instantly. It's a long, drawn-out, painful, and embarrassing Feel death. Back. And today I want to talk about someone who's got a very severe terminal case of toxic clout goblin. It's a TikTok psychic named Ashley. You might have even heard of her by now because she's made a, a name for herself in the national headlines. She is a self-proclaimed TikTok clairvoyant who uses her psychic abilities to solve murders. And she recently took on the case of the University of Idaho killer who killed four students. The real killer was arrested, however, before Brian Koberger, the actual killer being accused here, the main suspect, was taken into custody, Ashley made a long series of videos accusing someone else named Rebecca Schofield of being the killer. It was based on nothing other than wrong. tarot what card I, readings. I'm going to sit and here silently and watch Critical's video. You guys want to watch Critical. You know where to find him. Dude, I hate psychics, man. They're all such fucking cons, though. That's insane. There's there's a clairvoyant who's just randomly accusing people. I want to see what she looks like. This is her. 
Bro, she should got she got to go to jail for that or something. That's got to be a crime, right? I haven't been sued, so that's why is there so many faces on the screen? I've got him, and her, and Charlie. That's why some demand letters you take serious. Man, it's, it's looking a lot really like Christmas over there. Wrong. But the ones, oh my God, of discovering things about her, that about her. See the physical evidence she had for those claims. Guys, guys, let's see, is CoffeeZilla up yet? Yeah, you can't leave me in here. Oh, no, what are you doing? I, I showed uh, the prolapse. Sorry, bro. No, you didn't. Please don't. I just showed the fucking no, he's not prolapse in all its all glory. Right, let's, let's go back. Let's prolapse go back. to prolapse, bro. This, not, please, he's joking, right? No, I'm kidding. Okay. I made a bomb threat against. Uh, oh no, he did not. He did not. He's he's been good. Guilty. Are you She's bored just of this? Is that why entirely yeah, yeah. made up story well, it's just, it's of fucking long, it's just nothing? Your ADHD okay, is you know, worse than mine. She's you that's literally threat? not that. Yeah, that's not You're that long. Watch the whole video though for. Yeah, minutes. usually I do. But yeah. he's already doing the commentary. You know. Okay, I mean? but I I like learning from. It's like no different than watching a news broadcaster. You're just, in you're my watching it with. I guess I'm not used to. Yeah, this is what. I, yes, this like, is what I do. Go back. What? Did you? Did he skip stuff? Wait, y'all really want to watch this? They do, bro. <laughs> Ethan, uh, I I don't want to I don't want to force you to stay here. By the way, if you're if <laughs> am you're I, bored, am I ruining? No, life? no, you're not. But like you know, we we have. But a, I'm sit, well, like, let's talk about something. I'm gonna sit here quiet silently and watch Critical talk for 15 minutes. We're not gonna talk. We're not gonna be silent. I don't. I I never you know shut the fuck up. As a matter right, of fact, but it's usually. Yeah. But but, but this can is we talk? Let's do. do it. Let's do our. Let's offer our own commentary. Like let's react to. Like, well, yeah, that's what I'm. I I want to get like uh, pieces of details from uh, Moist Critical's like uh, video and then offer my perspective on it. That is my goal. So are you commenting? another reason? Are, are another you? reason why I like going to Moist for stuff like this is because I consider him to be like the Norman Jesus. So he usually is like he's going to arrive at like exactly the center opinion on. Everything, I don't even mean like Philip DeFranco style. I mean like literally just like most normal people. Like what is their assessment of a situation? So usually I like yeah. uh, hearing like what the what the Norman assessment of a situation is going to be. So are we reacting to crit or are we reacting to we're, the TikTok? We're, we're reacting. The we're reacting to. We're taking it all in. Okay. We're, we're reacting to everything. That that's you know that's what star is Ethan isn't a hostile know, head. He doesn't watch my. He probably watches my YouTube videos that are I like watch your cut. Highlights. I don't yeah, watch he watches the highlights. highlights. Yeah, well, I do watch a lot of the highlights, by the way. Yeah, so, but let me say this: maybe we could offer our own original commentary. Yes. on the Aiden Ross Andrew Tate stuff. Okay, you know what? Let's let's. Okay, well, I but I also make YouTube videos out of this, which is why I'm like oh, trying you, to keep it got like it, got I'm got trying it. to keep okay, it condensed so cut on all the. This. I'm trying. That's my goal is to keep it as I condensed see, as see. possible to got one story it, for it. now. That makes sense. So that I can, uh, you Smart. know, so Smart. that I can cut a YouTube Smart. video out of it. Right. And then eventually. This morning, new details also. You know, uh, and then that's how we do it. Smart. Smart. The desperation. Yeah. And even convinced Are you some. Are going to of you watching Crit talk about it? No, if I, if I, okay. So here's how this works. Okay. If my editors choose to cut a segment like this, they will pick portions of my coverage of the story, uh, portions of the news uh, coverage of the story, and then my commentary on top of like what uh, a, a part that like Moist Critical has actually uh, brought up that I was unfamiliar with. Because this is like I'm covering all angles of a story here. So first we give the, the news coverage, the serious news coverage. Talk about the details of the affidavit. Talk about potential motives and things like that. Talk about the suspect. Talk about the victims. And then we move on to the other component, which is I segued it when I said true crime and <laughs> true crime aficionados and how they end up going too far. So this is basically news coverage, the way I'm seeing it, on the true crime aficionado side of the story. Is this clip going to make it to the video? Uh, it might. Oh, right. Okay, um, that's interesting. But, but I... Your editors are awesome, by the way. Yeah, love, they're great. by the way, how they do... I don't even know how they do it. What? It must be some kind of trickery. But how they take, like, the chat and, or something on screen and make it big. Yeah. 
Cool. They must cut it right out, and then d- I don't know how yeah. they get sick. They just yeah, they, just they don't zoom have in or uh, or blow up like the ch- 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 the oh, that's good. video portion. Cool, it looks legit. Yeah, of that that. Yeah, being sued by Rebecca for all this shit. And rightfully so. She completely deserves to get slapped around. People keep around. saying I need to speak into the mic. Listen, I have good mic etiquette, okay? It's yeah. right in my fucking mouth. Uh, yeah, he's he's doing fine. I don't know why. I'm looking at the but levels, and it's, like, I'm pretty too, balanced. Okay, you can see the levels. Yeah, yeah. I can see people the levels. People keep like, saying it's quiet, but... No, we're, we're both, like, balanced, basically. Okay, okay. ...found in court for this kind of garbage. And I just wanted to go over some of this with you because I, tr- I truly was blown away by what I was hearing from her. It's a really interesting look into just pure delusion. Ashley really thinks she's like Mob from Mob Psycho, like some kind of crazy, powerful, psychic, like, hero. But in reality, she's just dangerously dumb. And then... Okay, let's get to let's get to and what look she how said. far Raven got with those visions. I wouldn't be shitting on that. Oh, yeah, he's someone else reacting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like, and I mean, and he's reacting just, to someone many, else who's like, I know, I know. It's not too all many of fucking layers. Bro. I, not all of these videos are going to be perfect, and I know. <laughs> usually, sometimes if it's commentary, I often will skip to the original content uh, itself to figure out what they said. Look how many fucking people are on screen, like. Look at okay, we're not seeing. doing it. All right, we're done. We're done with this it's, here. Let's just. All right, boys. Aiden before Ross. we get into the pod, okay. if you guys crazy. like to fire on sports, like Aiden Ross your- was on. Aiden Ross, for those of you who do not know, friend of the show, Aiden Ross was on uh, the Nelk Boys <laughs> podcast, <laughs> where he revealed his real relationship with Andrew Tate, and I show speed crashes the pod. This is basically, uh, you know, Zoomer heaven here. Okay, we have all the fucking Zoomer greats together. They're getting together. They're, uh, they're, they're having fun, and we have another friend of the show here, Bradley Martin, who is uh, you know, co-hosting it, and there's a really good part of the podcast that uh, we already covered on, the, uh, on Fear and, yeah, as a matter of fact, right? but yeah, we'll, we'll rewatch it, yeah. Yo, um, yeah. love Bradley, hate Aiden, right? No, I, 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 look, I have a soft spot. I have a, I have a soft spot, Aiden. I mean, I'll pound it. You have a, you have a, you have a soft spot for idiots. I do, yes. So we're gonna do. I think Aiden first Nelk video of the year is gonna be Dagestan. After this, really, we're gonna see Hasbula standing Andrew Tate in the face of Bradley presenting information that he's a trafficker. To me, is so fucking gross that. Like, I do. I do agree. Get, it's just disgusting. I do. It, it, it is not good that it's he's doing so that. Gross. I mean, he also fucking literally shaved his goddamn yeah. head. He's like you know? cosplaying as a rapist. Like what? What? Who, like how is that cool? Okay. Well, let's continue. Khabib, Islam. Oh wow. I asked you to go, but you can't go yeah, to the gym. I, I gotta. Steiny, Steiny was gonna come, but he would only go if he went first class. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love. Is that it. not fair? I if mean, I get I, stuck in Russia, I'm not fucking flying 20 hours coach for two days, bro. Why I the get, fuck don't a, they have that's like a, that is a crazy here's my, here's my, here's time my mindset. Can I tell you? Go ahead. Okay, so we're we're flying in 20 hour yeah, flight, in the landing at 2 a.m. and filming at oh. 10 a.m. Oh, that's so intense. I want to be well rested. If I'm gonna act like a fool, I don't want to do it there. That's fine. So that's if fair. I'm a cage and having yeah. hair is a privilege. It's a privilege. Mm. I see it as that something that I'm. Yo, all right, bro. Seriously, come here. Come here. Yo, he's fucked. No, no, no. Uh, come here. Don't be shy. Don't Yo. be shy now. Come here. Let's give me the background of podcast fucking. Um, all right. So the reason why, you know, I decided to go bald is um, it's more of a thing where it's it's kind of like I look at it as this. People are like, oh, you're crazy. But I look at it as like going bald is like it's going to set me. It's going to make me more motivated. You no. know what I'm trying to say? Like no, more motivated to like kind of being in my Andrew. fitness. Why even and, um my my journey um on like growing as something that i'm supposed to be which i'm not so potential i live that, living that basically living no to the full potential of myself you shaved more your head to prove that you can get more potential like it makes no you did it in solidarity with andrew well it's i think it's something that he wanted to do to like tell andrew tay like look i'm i'm committed like when you get cancer you know what i mean and then he, everyone shaves their head in solidarity. Yeah, but is, is this time it's for. But he's doing it for human trafficking. For a bald man who is a, who is a, in prison for solidarity, human trafficking. my brother. Um, but 
I, I mean, I tried to get him to not do it on a phone conversation, and clearly he did not listen to me. And uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Other Aiden than Aiden should appreciate your friendship and listen to you more. I, I wish, I wish. Maybe now that you're, like you're giving him good advice. Now that like. Andrew Tate's in prison, maybe he'll fucking listen to me more. But I don't like, know. I feel if I can have confident <laughs> while I'm so, okay. I don't mean disrespect, but is Aiden is his relationship with his dad public info? Like, I'm curious if, I don't know. if he has, like, a dad that left when he was a kid or something. I, I have no idea. Because that would explain I don't know. his fondness for Andrew Tate. I feel like I, I need some kind of trauma, like tra- childhood trauma, to explain his obsession with Andrew Tate. I don't know. Um, I, I, I actually don't know. But it, but it, it's clear that he lo- he needs, like, a... Like a positive male role model that's in his what i life. mean you know what i mean it's and like, and he he unfortunately got uh, that the most negative role model you could probably get so hold okay on. okay I you're see relating that. being bald to like because it's like a luxury having hair is a privilege it makes no so sense, bradley's bro. balding too though <laughs> bradley's like I said, you're right <laughs> brad's about to be like yeah you know you're making some points <laughs> Dude, he, he his explanation makes no fucking sense bro. No, of course it doesn't make he, sense he's, he's just he, like, of course it doesn't make sense stupid. nothing he says makes sense bro. i see it as that because he, so i think i think it's it's very i think i should be the best version of myself this year i have to become my the best version of myself maybe not my whole life but at least work towards everything that I, I don't have and, and just become the best version of myself. Why is it different this year? That's my question. It's just a, it's a, it's a reset. I, I already, I've already accomplished uh, so many things and I've gotten so many, you know, I've gotten so much. I'm, I'm just ready to kind of now work on yourself. myself. Yeah. It's time for me. I'm, I think it's pretty funny to be like Omega privilege, like Aiden is in many respects. And then, like, instead of hyper focusing on any of those other privileges and like making Hair. a statement about it and being like, "Listen, these are some of the privileges that I've had. Like, I'm profoundly fortunate. Like, I made it. I said I was gonna make it, and I made it. Like, it's crazy. Not many people do, and that's really sad." Instead of that, he just like focused on fucking having hair as a privilege because he because that's which not like why even he shaved his head. which even like bald motherfuckers are gonna be like okay dog you're being crazy like we make a joke on this broadcast about like how you know being follically disabled like we call you know bald people uh-huh. uh, uh follically disabled but it's just crazy but the truth is you know he bought he cut his hair it's not gonna grow back as thick because i'm absorbing it you know, I absorb. Oh my no! Don't hair. do it! Don't do it to my hair. Every time, dude, my hairline gets lower and lower, dude. I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna have a forehead by the time this shit's over. Oh no! All right. Me, it's time. I bought my parents a crib. I bought my parents cars. I, I, you know, I purchased things for everyone, and 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 it, I, you know, I bought I bought great assets. But it's time. It's time for me to really focus on myself and be become the best version of myself. This year does feel kind of different. I don't know why. Absolutely, it feels like a big year. So real quick, the baldness has nothing to do with the Tate bet or deal. Thank so you. I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna lie to you. The Tate Tate putting it into my head, the, my you know my mental that like hey like it's uh this guy's crazy, uh you know that um you know he put stuff into my head. He, uh, he he made me really believe like you know you need to be the best version of yourself. You have so many people who watch you on a daily basis, and you know you have people that really are studying what's going on with you and and everything on the internet. And if you show your viewers that you're changing and 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 you know, following things you're saying, making... Like, that's such basic fucking advice. And it's not even bad advice. You can't deny that, right? <laughs> it's like, if you you have a responsibility as a content creator to your audience to, like, present your best, uh, you know, present yourself in a way that is, is you know, good, right? And self-improvement is a good thing. If you are engaging in self-improvement, then your audience will be also motivated to, uh, all those kids that look up to you will also be motivated to improve themselves. This is something I do all the fucking time. This is something I believe in myself personally, okay? So I do not disagree with that take. It's just that like going bald for it is kind of fucking stupid. And not only that, but also like the guy saying it also has a bunch of other ways that he presents himself that I don't think is a good way to present yourself. donate money to uh, gambling addiction? That'd be awesome. Uh, or I mean that you're you're right about that. Or no. or like you know, don't fucking uh, present yourself as like a misogynistic sex trafficker for clout, yes. which is like yes, and it is clout. Like I saw that that photo on Twitter of him like in the chair, bald, whatever. Solidarity with Andrew Tate, and had like over two hundred thousand likes. So he knows that like the clout and attention comes with it, and um, and uh, he these guys. 
they ignoring the fact that they are fucking running defense for a criminal rapist human like he is as bad as it gets yeah, pretty it's much. Just, it's unforgivable. I, I really fucking can't believe Aiden Ross is doing this. Yeah, I've given him advice in a similar vein multiple times. It's just Disgusting. that, like, but the difference is, like, I'm not, like, I, I don't have the, the cultural signifiers of, like, a successful alpha male because, like, I have leftist opinions. So, he, like, he, automatically, he, I'm a pussy. You know what I mean? Just tell him. You just need to call him and be like, yo, dude, you got to get out of bed in the morning and fucking... But that's you what it is. Ex- you should exercise an hour a day and make sure your make your bet. Make sure your room is clean. And he'd be like, "Oh, daddy is fuck." The thing is, you got to charge him for that. That's how you get yeah. people to care. Yeah, exactly. Change Making your promises room, exactly. and and you know following through, then it's gonna change the way your viewers look at you and the way your viewers also treat themselves and 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 live their life, which have, is true. Have you thought it's about this prior to having that exchange like, with Tate? Like, have you my, the way I live my life? has this effect on my viewers while also being like, I'm totally cool spending all day on steak. Yeah. Like he's no. like, so he's like acknowledging. No, he recognizes my, it, yeah. but, but not in the ways it's, that you would like every human being that is an adult would recognize it. That's the problem. Yes. You ever thought about this prior? Were you ever thinking like this? Luckily, nah, luckily I wasn't, bro. To be honest, I'm very comfortable. I'm um, very lazy. I'm a naturally lazy person. That's why I quit smoking questions. weed. And I, and I said this before smoking weed, I, you could smoke weed if you can, you know, be very, you know, productive, but I can't. I'm very lazy. I'm lazy person. This is why I have to get out of my game, comfort and, and go crazy. You know what I mean? I have to yeah. really do what I want to do. I think this should so. be good now. Speaking test, 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 yeah. test, test, we, test. You recommend that we do it too? I think you should do I think you should go bald, Steiny. I think you should hit the gym. Steiny, wait, wait, how should, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, wait. I was going to say, I'll, like, hit the gym, yes, great idea, but like, <laughs> The dumbest part about this is just symbolically going bald. Like that's so fucking stupid. It may well it because it makes, it no, makes sense. no sense. He's lying about his why he did it. That's why it, it just it. You're right. It just makes no fucking it, it, sense. And, and I like how nobody's like that makes no fucking sense, dude. He's just lying about it. I know, for yeah, I, I mean even they are like making fun yeah, of him a little like, bit. A lot of people don't like yeah. you, bro. And it, you know it makes me upset because I see TikToks and stuff. I, I scroll. I'm like do that. Why don't they like this guy? He seems so nice. He's funny like, jokes. But why don't they like him? But, I, I think they don't get my troll sometimes. And it comes off as like cocky when I'm joking. Um, but bro, that's changing in 2023. Okay. Yeah. You're not so trolling you're no more? Lot, you're, no, I'm still trolling, but you're going to see a lot of love. So in 2023, you're about to be more <laughs> laid out a little bit. Huh? Yeah, more laid out and hopefully more loved. Seems okay. Like cool. You do that too, Aiden, right? Like a, oh, a lot of the shit you do is like receipts. trolling too, right? I, Hold on, let me see. Yeah, he says, kind of want to move back home. I miss living with my pops. My best friend loved this man for life. Made uh, me who I am today. Happy birthday, OG. Look who responded. Happy birthday uh, to the OG. What the fuck? He, not he, a good he, year. See, he has the best bro, friends, doesn't bro, he? Bro, not I mean, a good year. It. Not a good year for <laughs> dudes who have just oh, been like the awful to not women good in year criminal for, ways. I think when you become friends with Aiden Ross, terrible things happen. It's just like, like. It's so funny. Hey, say what you will about Aiden Ross, but he surrounds himself with the best people. And yeah, that's what we love just like him. so many. <laughs> Look, if if some of your most famous podcast guests have like gone to or are about to go to jail for whether it be sex trafficking or shooting uh, a, a that's... beloved, cherished uh, female uh, musician in the foot, you know, maybe you got to fucking maybe you got to reconsider some things. All right. You looking at a tweet from eight months ago, man? I know someone sent it. No, because, it's good. This because, is good. I was looking because for receipts. Ethan was wondering yeah. what Aiden's relationship with his father is. Uh, that's wanted, why. Yeah, I wanted dad receipts. Are his parents divorced? I'd like to know. I don't know, but it, but it doesn't look. I, I, I don't know. Sex, I need a psychological I don't, profile. I don't know man. what his like background looks like, but I want to know how these but, men. But he does so want. Broken. He he is wanting for a positive yes. male role model and in how, his life. Why? That's what I'm saying. It's just how, why are these men, these young men, so starved for this male role models? Like, what, you know, what, what's in society? I would assume it's something uh, in the family growing up that, that would leave that. I mean, I know, like, in general, being a man, there's a lot of, at least you deprived of a lot of basic shit. Like, I'm raising two boys and I see how my dad treated me when I was a kid. There's less affection, there's less love, there's less hugging, there's less kissing, there's less saying you love them. I see how um, affectionate I am with my boys. And so I don't know if that has something to do with like societally, like men just are starved for some kind of 
I, but uh, I don't know if it's a general thing or a family thing. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I legitimately have no perspective on this because I'm, I'm like too, I guess, young, not young, but like too uh, inexperienced in that field to, to comprehend it. Like your, your last caption too, I saw like, or the, the Joe Biden tweet. Yeah, bro. People like, really that, took that seriously. That's a full on troll, right? Of course, bro. People but really, people are so dumb. They actually like think believe that's it. serious. It's crazy. And like, it gets so many different hey guys, people so talking, many, tweeting uh, back to you. Yes, bro. Welcome to the Ethan Klein show. Let's pull up that prolapse here. Hey, guys, did you hear about that NRA? Apparently, they're decent people, and, you know, we just have different opinions on things. Stop. Did you guys hear about Vatican City? Every time. Every time, bro. Can't walk away with me, bro. I know. Gotta keep you on your Meanwhile, toes. <laughs> yeah. The only thing you should be doing is serving the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour, by the way, Ethan. Go ahead. But if, they, paid, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you Get need to do is paid. subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Buy. Trooper troopers, use that Prime. Connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Why are people saying 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10? What because uh, I have, so this community decided democratically to, to basically, uh, uh, you know, keep serving the ads as like a debate as a segue cam grants camely oh what's up cam thank you for the five gifted subs cam grants of course from the, the podcast gravy. thank we you for the five cam. the uh, 44 thank you for the five um they rate my segues if it like caught oh, them off see, guard see, it's see, like see, a 10 10 you know okay, what i mean okay that's if, cool. if it wasn't like that entertaining or unique they hit they uh, seem torn i see lots of yeah. tens and lots of zeros lady canoran thank you for the five gifted subs uh, this one was uh, all right i think and then we have a bot in the chat that compiles all the numbers. Oh, for real? That's awesome. Yeah, and then uh, and but spits out the, the, the average. I will say the plugins for Twitch are great. Yeah, it is awesome. So I'm, cur I'm curious what's the... Hassan's what? fanboy masseuse got a fist and Lady Kanara, and they give the five, get the subs. Here's the three-minute ad break now. Oh, you know how it is, Kyle. Like it's just like they love they eat up the they eat up like those controversial like tweets and stuff. I'm obviously joking. So when you're typing that shit, you're just laughing. I'm like, laughing oh, I'm just gonna piss off. so many people off. Yes. Like what? It's hilarious what because it, they fall into it every time. The trap. Yeah. Like hey, like oh, he he's just talking about how he like is trolling or he like is <laughs> pretending to be stupid, which he does know, that. He definitely does it. that. Like, but I also think he's covering up for actually how dumb he is. For sure. All right, you let's know. see what the top of the hour bot gave this one. But it's um, smart the way he does it, actually. So. Let's see. The last one was 6.83. Let's see what this one got. It'll compile it in a second. Hey, this one. But, this, but what he's talking about here is about uh, asking a pardon from Joe Brandon. Or, or uh, Donald Trump oh. to pardon uh, Andrew Tate. Like, you guys are really quote tweeting me, sending me death threats, saying crazy stuff. I go to their, I go to their Twitter profile, and I just see... I'm not going to say it on here. I, I don't, I don't want to... You know what I mean? But I think you know what I'm talking about. Whenever you go to the Twitter, the people that really you know, say crazy stuff about you. They'll have some specific stuff in their bio. Damn. And uh, they're just, they're the, they're the weirdo. They're, they, they are I the weirdos. I defend a sex of, trafficker, uh, but I draw the, the line at describing it. Twitter <laughs> avatars. No, he's talking about like, he's talking about Blue leftists. Uh, 6.19. That's what this last one got. Oh, that's a bit low. I thought it wasn't that bad. I mean, it, it was, it's, they're used to just like really good ones. You know what I mean? The worst part about what people say the worst part about what uh, people like, uh, you know, Aiden, when they fucking chirp about, like, uh, Twitter losers, I get so mad because, like, I chirp about Twitter losers all the fucking time. Yes, there is a toxic sludge that a lot of motherfuckers on Twitter, especially on the left, like to swim in. It's not because they're fucking trans. It's because they're miserable, narcissistic, delusional weirdos, okay? But he doesn't get the shit on him, and he's not even shitting on them from that perspective. He's shitting on them because they're like, oh, you know, the they, them pronouns in the bio people. But, like, he's uh, probably, uh, but, you know. But, Aiden, you you know why they're, like, not happy that you're defending Andrew, right? Like, that's not. But he, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't right? care. Like, it's like, just, like, left, right. And this is a way to declare whether someone is left or, or, or someone is right. That's, you know that's what, what it is. Like, here's, here's an example. If I tweeted out, free G. Lane Maxwell, everyone's going to know that's a joke. 
But let's change it up. Let's say I'm friends with G Lane Maxwell. I hang out with her regularly. We talk. I care about her. She calls me first thing in the morning to, to, to encourage me to get out of bed. And I'm tweeting out, let's free G Lane Maxwell. It's not really a joke, is it? Yeah. If you're like, you know, cosplaying Ghislaine Maxwell out of your love for her. I think we should free her, by the way. Wait, what? She's in, she, I mean, what the fuck? We got we to gotta hook her up with Andrew Tate. She'd be a great top. Yeah, I mean, Andrew Tate also did have, uh, Andrew Tate also did have a Ghislaine Maxwell style, like, yeah. uh, top, top it G. seems like he had two top She had, like, girls. a top lady pimp. Yeah. Yeah, who was, like, also involved in the coercion. They got arrested, too. It's yeah. awesome. People that are a little more, like, anonymous. Or it's just, just like, it's just, it's just more like the, these Twitter people, hey, they, they bitch. have no lives and they're literal weirdos. They all, they're all the same pages. They all think they know what they're talking about. They're, they're all stupid. Yeah. Have you been swatted the most out of like all these streamers? Oh, I yeah. think as of right now, I, I've gotten swatted the most. It stopped. Thank God. Um, I found a way, you know, to <sighs> make sure that when it does happen or if it's happening, we, you know, we Ooh, have bro. it right away. We're, we're already, like, the, you know, the, on the it. University um, killer so out it's, here. You know, and, and then the biggest part is not reacting to it, not giving it any type of reaction, videos, any type of. Because then the person's going to keep doing it. Exactly. That's was what it they the want. the same you know, person? Yeah, this was really fucking dumb. Like, uh, you know, straight up, there's an unspoken rule among streamers that Aiden violated, which was like, uh, you know, intentionally publicizing his swattings and then literally talking to oh, a swatter. Yeah. It's just like silly. And every time? Well, I think it was the same. When you put out a video like, time. please, guys, please stop swatting me. Please, yeah, they're I'm just begging gonna do you. do it so much more. You know what I mean? I thought, didn't you talk to the kid live on stream? That Okay, so that, that was, I thought it was him, but that, that wasn't him. That was just someone he trolling. That wasn't actually the person who swatted me. So you're oh, okay. idiot, um, but you and again, people were like, Aiden, but if the, if you thought that was, why weren't you going crazy on him? Like, this is obviously- You're literally scary. rewarding Bro, your swatter. Twitch has such a crazy system. Like, I have to be very, be very careful with what I'm saying. I can't dox him. I can't release any information, his Discord. Yeah, don't do that. Um, you know, any of his names or anything like that. Like, I have to be extremely careful on Twitch. It's it's very, very you have to be very careful. It's like walking on glass. Why why do you think people are, are after you all the time for that? Like, why do you think you're popular to get- to get swatted. Oh, man, he's reaction. big on Twitch. Bro. No, I know he's big on Twitch, but there's other big Twitch streamers that they're just not as attacked. I would sense. say the reactions. Yeah, yeah. There no. You go. He's right. He's no, if you're if you're big on Twitch, you definitely still get attacked though. I, I know what Bra I know the angle. I know the angle that Bradley's going yeah, for here, yeah. but like it's yeah. just a part of the fucking platform. It's unacceptable. It sucks. He wants to hear that he's like being targeted by Yeah. But the truth is people that swat are like nihilists. They don't give a fuck about politics or anything. They're just little Usually they have a right wing slant though. A lot I would of them. say, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would say, but like I remember they're like, no more black people or we're gonna keep swatting you, like Aiden Ross. Yeah. Those first of all, I fucking guarantee you those people do not give a fuck. Yeah, they're just like being uh racist trolls for attention. That's yeah. usually what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I know I know other streamers have gotten swatted. I know Kai's gotten swatted, I know um some Fortnite streamers have gotten swatted. Um, I think Nadia got swatted. I think I, I don't know, bro. I think it's just the way I, I, I react to it. They, they love they love the reaction. They love that little ten seconds so you of fame, you know. It. Yeah. So that's all it is, bro. To be honest, stop reacting to that shit. It'll stop happening. So back to the the Tate shit. Have you been in contact with anyone on that side or anything? Since <laughs> the fucking arrest went down. Nah, man, I haven't. And um, you know, it's it's crazy what's going on right now. I spoke on a Twitter space about it, and um, you know, I'm, I'm this is where I'm at on it, man. You know. It's um, how do you say it? He's innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, you know that's that's how I am. Uh, Tate, everyone, I, I know you guys have met him too. I'm gonna let you guys they speak. Continue on. to rely on this, like, hey, we gotta wait and find out. Like, at a certain point, dude, the body of evidence he's gonna, against it, him, it, and he said he's it. gonna he's gonna be like sentenced to prison, and yeah. they're still gonna be like, we gotta wait and find out. We gotta <laughs> see what happens with the appeal. Yeah, we gotta we gotta wait. I and mean, find shut the fuck up. You gotta accept. You can't say, oh, I have so much responsibility they, as a streamer, and then like. Oh, well, innocent until proven guilty, which is true. But like in his case, this motherfucker did that shit. Well, there's also basically confessions, right? Like He's, there are confessions yes. of Andrew Tate, but like, but I mean, uh, someone in the chat also pointed this out. There's a great uh, analog here with like uh, Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez was criminally charged right. and people still don't believe it. They think like the system is corrupted by, you know, some some crazy influence and and uh you know the record labels are involved and like they have uh, the da uh actually like they're manipulating the da into putting a an innocent black man in, in jail like it's just crazy. how long did he get sentenced for 
Uh, the sentencing I don't think has uh, happened yet. The sentencing is he in prison right now? Or did yeah, he he is. Yeah, he's he's awaiting sentencing. If I'm not mistaken, um, but it's uh, 16 years, I believe. Fuck, he got yeah. 16 I mean, years. He shot someone with a weapon. Holy you know what I mean? Fuck. That's actually insane. Because like, he's popping right now. His career was, you know. His career definitely was on the up and up from <laughs> quarantine radio, which I didn't even realize because I thought he was like not that popping at all. But it turns out he was actually on a on a, on an upwards trajectory. Maybe he'll drop some music from prison. Yeah, be a vibe. I mean, he did that already. He, no, he he released an album right before his, uh, right before uh, this this trial came out. And Chauncey, who's brilliant, love his commentary. Uh, said he did it to like take care of his family, knowing that he's most likely going to go to jail. So he did it to like take care of his loved ones ahead of time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's, mm-hmm. which I think, I think is is a, you know no matter how fucking uh, awful of a human being you are, I think that is the right thing to do regardless. Like it was good that he did that. Prison music slaps though, bro. Have you heard this one of ODB? He re- recorded it on like some shitty recorder in prison. No. Slaps, we're doing dude. ADHD. We're getting back on, on subject. Your, your experience meeting him. <laughs> when I met him, bro, he's no, just right. I'm the same right. as you. Right. I got to keep it on uh, track. Open arms. Uh, me and my whole entire crew. Scent. Like, yeah, literally all of us. This. And we would talk, like, basically off camera for hours and hours and hours about real, real shit. Just real motivational life shit. And he's just... You know what? Like I said, he's, bro. He's, and also, he, like, to me, the fact you think to, to anyone about who, who's, who's personally met him, to me. he's I've never heard someone say anything bad about face. him. He's just very yeah. genuine. He's chatting to you like he one of his really... fucking girls that he's sex trafficked. Yeah, that's convinced. what I'm saying. He, 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 he's, he professionally convinces people he cares about them. Yeah, I mean. To use them. I think, like, I said this before, and people got very mad at me, but, like, I do think he's, like, kind of groomed Aiden Ross Dude, a little bit. Not even a joke. He, listen, he's talking to him after hours on the phone. That's literally what he does to his girls. And Aiden Ross is very fucking useful to Andrew Tate. I mean, without a doubt, how much does he do for him? His public perception, you know, promoting his dumbass fucking university. I mean, the kid even flew out to Europe or wherever he met him. Uh, I don't know where it was. They met it was Dubai. Dubai. So they flew out to Dubai and like made content with him. I mean, it's, it's mental. He's, he is such a fucking little patsy for him yeah and i don't think he like recognizes that. like a guy man <laughs> no, like when no, i met him he's super not. chills nothing like you know nothing that people portray him to be I, I i really like him brad obviously really cool, man. yeah i think he's fucking hilarious yeah yeah he's no, awesome. he was cool as fuck with us it's 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 just more of a thing man it's like it's yeah it I heard, sucks I heard that, uh, what uh Harvey what's happening right now and, um, at a dinner party. you know i really I mean, and, you know yeah. i was watching uh kyle you tweeted out you tweeted out that video we were we were we were like tate predicted it mm-hmm and um, you really like called it, like what's happening? It's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Man, Do you think there's man. ever a point where hey, this man, bro? Just, that's crazy. They're just that's crazy. Sitting there to lovingly talking about. Well, anything. it's not even. That's After. not even. We we already established that they're gonna fucking glaze him up, right? <laughs> so but what's up. what's fucking uh, like insane is uh, or hilarious even is the reality that like they're like, oh, he called it. He called it. Like they were gonna come after him. It's like motherfucker. He knew. He that, knew what yeah. he had done. He had talked about it openly multiple fucking times. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, is this new shit? Yeah, new new information has come out. Uh, here's some Romanian news. Okay, this is like literally oh, uh, oh, wow. new information emerged from the case in which millionaire brothers Andrew and Tristan Tate were arrested for human trafficking. The two influencers out there have forced their victims to tattoo themselves with their names, and the security employees would have always stood with their guns in sight in order shit. to intimidate the women. In transcripts, Andrew Tate tells how he used women to launder money. Jesus. The news about the arrest of Tate brothers also reached Afghanistan, and the <laughs> Taliban are demanding That's his release. Best. Yeah. The fucking Taliban. The Tate brothers' victims told prosecutors that... I mean, this is cult shit. Like, this is straight-up grooming, manipulation, straight-up fucking cult well, shit. Like, Cole, you, you see this in cults all the time. I mean, cult no, implies they're willing participants. No, Nixium did this exact same thing. They it was were a, willing. also a they sex were cult. Willing, no, a point. They, no, but it doesn't matter because after a certain point, the manipulation is so thick that, like... It, it, even if you like I, my, willingly join the cult, you're still getting raped in the Nexium sex cult. I agree, but I don't think these women are. I think these women are not wanting. They want. They're being captive, like they're prisoners. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, is the vod gone? Is that what's happening or no? Oh God. Your vod? This one? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. All right. That's just Fossa bot. Never mind. What does that mean? Um, you delete your vod while you're streaming. 
Uh, if it gets like mass reported, sometimes they like oh, pull it up, oh. but it's fine. It, it's not deleted. Is that a problem when the VOD? No, it's fine. It just means that like people were mass reporting it okay. for no reason, oftentimes. Okay. But it's it's okay. All right, let's continue. But actually, I saw. So this is a translation of a Romanian press release about the investigation, and it's quite good. Okay, we'll, pu- we'll pull it up in a second. Let, let me keep going through this while you're looking go ahead, for it. Go ahead, yeah. Prosecutors obtained wiretaps in which Andrew Tate recounts how he broke the law and took advantage of women. <coughs> Andrew Tate, you're not stupid, and you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. Whoa. Webcam? I've been doing this for a long time with a theme, team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. What? Some of the girls who worked for me, I used them to do other things, to move money on or, or illegal things, documents. I will never what do that with you. Fuck? The humiliation of the victims did not stop there. This motherfucker literally got Wait, wiretapped what? and he just admitted everything. I love Holy how he's like, shit. I love, dude, this investigation was going on for a long time. The fact that they had him wiretapped. Nine months, yeah. All. So, like, people act like it's this big conspiracy. These, they, fu- oh, holy fuck. He is so, like, you cannot. These people will have no plausible deniability. I mean, you, you know what's crazy? I, I called this element as well, by the way. On Leftovers, uh, remember when we were talking about this shit? Like, you and I were literally saying, like, I mean, that's crazy. Wait, what? What did you call? What is this? Miss Rebecca Black? Oh, yeah. she Dude, she got him so good. I retweeted that. I was 13. This man is 36. Have you oh, seen my this God. Clip? Yeah, of course, bro. What do you yeah, mean? This alone. This man is not qualified to be anyone's role model. Like, this is so fucking embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. This, I, as soon as I see this, it's like, it, it, it lives in my brain. Like, it has a permanent space. It's in your brain. girl. We yeah. use that sound by some sort Yeah. Time. I could get you in the backseat. Like, it just. The way he lowers his voice. Too. Yeah. It, oh, God. All right, I Wait, guess we're going to have to play it real quick. Yeah, it's. it's Reply. No. I'm the type of guy. Big bitches on the side. Yeah. I'm going to spend the money. We can spend a little time. Here, this is the leftover. That's the other flip side of massive listen, corruption. Listen, listen. I think his narcissism will be his downfall. Um, his constant need to be in front of the camera and be like the main guy to put a face to all the operations that are happening behind the scenes. Right. Um, you know, uh, openly talking about his ownership on uh, multiple casinos in Romania mm. that are. Dude, look how much skinnier you are. I was thinking that too. I look fat. Look, look how much skinnier better. you are now, motherfucker. What Jesus was the date Christ. On that uh, this was months ago. literally working that are not even, uh, you know, successful financially mm. and keeping them open, keeping them running, uh, running exclusively to like uh, fuck over other casinos in the neighborhood. Like mm. you can't do that unless you got, you know, some big financiers, some some big backers and casinos are a great way to launder money. Obviously, there's a lot of cash that, uh, oh, you know, right. is, is being traded in that uh, on the floor there. So I think a lot of what you're saying is you know, right on. He he's so public and he's so into being this guy, like the whole hustler university thing. Like you didn't even need to do that. Like you didn't need to be a, a public figure. You know what I mean? But yeah, he's. He, Dude, uh, by the way, don't show your phone on stream. Like the camera angle, just making sure. Yeah, sometimes. Find this post, but I think so. Well. Anyway, the humiliation of the victims did not stop there. Investigators have obtained shocking statements from women who were allegedly recruited by the Tate brothers. They told that they were forced to get tattoos of the message owned by Tate, meaning Tate's property. The Tate brothers' lawyers says, however, that the women that got the tattoos on their own initiative. Eon Gliga, the lawyer of the Tate brothers, I would understand his gesture made by the respected person as a gesture intended to make themselves a pleasant, as pleasant as possible by the Tate brothers at and at no time was a question of conditioning or coercion to make such a gesture and it was out of their free will. Forensic psychologist Gabriella Groza says human traffickers are people uh, who have more pronounced psychopathic traits. They don't feel remorse. They don't feel regret. They either flee, uh, blame the victims, disregard them, or place the responsibility elsewhere. Andrew Tate has become one of the most famous people on the internet. Before he was arrested, he was making the rounds on shows and podcasts and often talked about how satisfied he is with the corruption mm-hmm. in Romania, yeah. which is true. The Tate brothers' attorneys say that all of the DIICOT allegations are false and that the victims allegedly produced pornographic material to make money for them. By the way, I love that thing. Being a cam girl is basically like the most uh, self-supportive. You don't need a third party to be yeah, a cam girl. But, but there are a lot of, there are a lot of like uh, services, like managerial services that uh, exploit even OnlyFans girls as well. Even though you're right. It's like literally the most like you can gain the most, le- the highest level of autonomy. Yeah, don't give anyone a cut of your shit, bro. Yeah. Especially when you're the product. 
This is the male oh, version of being post. obsessed Weird. with a serial killer. Wait, what? Dude, this is like one of the most fucking. Oh, no, you mean for? Oh, about, yeah, yeah, for the yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you, no, no, I get it. You almost went off. Yeah, I almost was about to pop off and be like, dude, what the fuck? This is new. get out. Fuck you. This is like literally newsworthy, is what Damn, I'm saying. Damn, I can't say. find this post. What the fuck? It's okay. Let's get but back. Yeah, maybe so can't fuck with him anymore. Uh, this is what you just <sighs> man. That's a, that's like a really good question yeah. to ask because it's like. I don't know what the, I don't even know what's gonna happen to him, bro. Like I don't I don't know like how you know. So we gotta we gotta it. wait yeah. and see too. <clears throat> gotta wait. Because like see. you can't yeah. just. I mean, the internet's so fucked now. You really can't believe anything. We just gotta wait and see I know. what happens. So I have a. I don't know if you guys. I did. I did a pod with H three yesterday. This is right? big. But I have a question about this. My like, man. do you guys have you ever looked at his website where he was talking about what like prior to? I don't know the other stuff he was selling, but he was on his website talking about um, Gladly. his process of getting women for the cam girl thing. Yeah. Is, do you guys, I think the CIA in my chat found the thing that you were unable oh, to find. Oh, what the fuck? How'd you guys find? Yeah, read because that. I have the fucking CIA in here, yeah, bro. I you chatters. My, are I mean, dude, awesome. there's fifty four thousand people it in is here. So they're, awesome. they're, it's so good. They pull shit immediately. So read this. This is this is really. This good. This case is literally. What well, here's what the Romanian authorities are saying about Andrew Tate. This case is literally nothing to do with his online presence or with Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Him and his brothers were detained by DIICOT, which is an anti-terrorist law enforcement agency that uh, investigates organized crime. Where is this from? Apparently, it's a translation from a Romanian press release. Okay. Well, I, I did all the press releases. Uh, I covered all the press releases, but okay. The well, they, charges are sex trafficking, involvement, organized crime, and sexual assault. That's true. The uh, DICOT have proved that Tates were holding at least six women hostage against their will, four Romanian, one Moldovan, one from the U.S., and they were forcing them to produce pornographic content against their will. That's also true. They were using the lover boy method. We talked about that. At least one of them accused Tate with rape. Um, two women were helping them recruit and... Ab uh, wait, what is this? Ab abuse, abuse. Abusing these girls, and both were arrested on the same night. That's also true. One of them was a cop. Yeah, there was a police that uh, Andrew Tate was also... A, police, a female police officer that Andrew Tate was also working with. Uh, simultaneously, he probably thought he was untouchable, but yeah, that's uh, that's part of the reason why I think he like thought he was untouchable because also, if you are working with the Romanian mob, like you kind of do have a degree of of protection, I would say, he, from the law. He, he he brought way too much <coughs> heat, right? Yeah, he, he he attracted the big fish. Yeah, I and, think that's what I enforcement that like the mob can't get around exactly. It was a former cop, yes. She was a, a cop and then uh, I think like was recently a former uh, cop. Crazy. Uh, their lawyer tried to contest their arrest twice but was rejected both times. Dicot says they're facing at least 15 years of prison time. So yeah, this has nothing to do with the woke left trying to censor him or the Matrix. It was a serious mm -hmm. crime investigation. Additionally, Dicot has released footage from the raid. We saw this. See their car collection. We saw this as well. Uh, which will be used to pay the expenses for the investigation and the operation. That's awesome. And reimburse the victims. Love that. Before the Tays moved to Romania, they'd been under investigation with the same charge by the British authorities, but they had been released due to some technicalities which were used to disprove the liability of the victim statements, which, by the way, there was another, uh, there was another report that came out of England recently that showed that uh, the, the, the British forces, the British police force, had flubbed hundreds of rape and sexual assault investigations. That's oftentimes reducing it to nothing or even victim blaming like regularly hundreds in in england and wales according to a report uh recently released uh to the guardian showed that uh, english and uh, wales authorities had regularly uh regularly ruined sexual assault sexual harassment like and rape investigations or just like I think it's more so just about like uh, you know they're they're just bad and it's yeah. a it's a product of I think I it's it's I, a it's criminal negligence and it's right. definitely a product of of patriarchy. I was really sad to hear that he was being investigated for rape Look, in England. Here it is. They, if they would have nabbed him, none of these fucking people. Yeah, exactly. Scathing victimized. report condemns police in England and Wales for victim blaming That's and rape cases. Up. Examination exposes failure to track repeat suspects and botched investigations by struggling forces. Part of it is because they say that they're defunded. And in England, they actually do have a funding issue yeah. with police. It's not like uh, the United States when they say, oh, they defunded us or whatever. But the independent operation, because that was like literally a big point of contention. Even the Labor Party was like, we need to put more money into our, our detectives and like our police force. Uh, but uh, of course, you know, Tories are going to be fucking Tories. 
Um, 80,000 rapes. Yeah. This was called Operation Soteria Bluestone, launched by the government after a catastrophic fall in rape prosecutions. Also paints a picture of an overworked, traumatized, and inexperienced police workforce in England and Wales, which is struggling to cope with an increase in rape reports after years of austerity. The report, whose findings have been accepted by the Home Office, analyzes 80,000 rape reports across five forces, including deep dives into police data, and reveals detailed discussions with officers. Is one of the first times academics have been given access to such a range of police records and have worked with select forces to understand how investigations proceed. This makes sense how that that case was flubbed, because I was reading that and I was like, how did they fucking, like, mess this case up? But it sounds like... A systemic issue. That's it, fucked up and very sad. Here it is. Ministry of Justice said most recent data showed significant improvements 18 months after the government's rape review into rape prosecution crisis. The MOJ said police referrals to the Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, were up 95%. Cases charged up by two-thirds, and the number of cases reaching the court up 91% compared to the quarterly averages of 2019. So now they're, like, actually getting a little bit more, uh, you know, they're, they're getting their shit in order, I guess. But in 2019, there were... Uh, 2,000 prosecutions, the lowest level on record. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. <sighs> well, he, well, Andrew Tate, thanks. Uh, the, uh, here's another one. The uh, report called, and, and yes, vice also did a report on this, this but like it literally very, pairs up with what the fuck we're talking about here. Okay. That vice one is really just, yeah, we watched the, we watched it on stream before. Um, but it, it, I, I remember reading this article after the vice report or during the vice report while we were looking at it, uh, where they basically say the officers lack specialist understanding. And while some didn't rely on inaccurate perceptions of victim credibility, the overwhelming direction of travel was still relying on inaccurate understandings of victims and offenders. Like, Oh, you went back there. Why'd you go there? Right, Boom. Right. You're, you're guilty. Like you were asking for it. <laughs> it stated at worst officers demonstrated explicit victim blaming and a lack of belief in the victim, which impacted That's on crazy. the subsequent investigation. You know, what's for, funny. He moved to Romania because they have a, Last like rape looser, laws, but may, rape laws. maybe he was better off in England. Yeah, the sound of it. For example, victim credibility was often focused on and used to either close or not investigate investigate cases within some forces. Academics well, also found serving officers who don't think that sexual offenses should be a priority for policing. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm sure men, that was uh, opinions held by yeah. men. Some stated that they believe that most reports of rape are just examples of regretful uh, sex yo. or that if victims presented additional issues, this is a huge one, mental health problems or alcohol substance misuse, then this was the victim's problem and the legal system was not oblo- obligated to safeguard them, states the report. Oh, you were drinking, you were asking for it. You were on drugs, you were asking for it. <clears throat> anyway, but uh, yeah, this is, a lot of this stuff is, is th- everything this, this person is saying is like a great translation from Romanian uh, news outlets, which we have covered uh, extensively on this broadcast thus far. I thought that there was going to be something new here, but. I guess, I guess it was all. Recently, no. this one was interesting. The daughter of a Romanian politician revealed that the Tates have been trying to recruit her and her underage friends when they were 15 to 17 years old, constantly bombarding them with Instagram DMs and trying to invite them to their house and sending them pictures of their cars. Given her father's position, there are slim chances that she would publicly, uh, that her would publicly go after such a high profile celebrity with false allegations, since that would compromise her father's position and credibility too. Um, the reason why I censored the words is if you want to copy paste the text, Dicot says there have been conversations from an unnamed online app where Tates were discussing their organized crime group and everyone's role in it, uh, which is full awesome. of incriminating evidence. I mean, he's too stupid to hide his fucking tracks because he was fucking literally openly talking about it. Yeah, yeah. He, he thought he was. Um, the victims went through psychiatric evaluation and their statements were accepted by the judge as reliable testimonies on the trafficking allegations. One of the women arrested as a part of their trafficking organization actually tried to sell them out a while ago to a news agency. The journalist posted the conversations they had with her, but in the end, she didn't go through with it. Now people are hoping she will make a deal with Dicot and testify against the Tates in exchange for her freedom. So, I mean, look, there's no doubt. You know what I mean? There's no, let's wait and see. Just coward. It's just cowardice. Straight up. Uh, I think it's it, look I'm not even going to be charitable here I think that there are it's just like fucking insane to defend this person after they have been arrested by the anti-terrorism unit you know what I mean like that's fucking psychotic yeah. for sex trafficking especially when paired up with the reality that uh what is this more info on Tate accomplices oh oh, oh, what the oh fuck? shit I had not seen this yeah, before they this like is cropped new. them out his girlfriend and ex-cop accomplice 
smiling. She's all good back there. Yeah, this is the ex-cop. Yeah. So the thing I was going to say is, uh, and this is not charitability. It's fucking objectively fucked up to do this and not actually even like conduct additional research into the matter before you fucking decide to dick ride a person who is currently in jail for sex trafficking. Okay. However, having said that, I think part of it, and we need to understand how misinformation works. We need to understand how biases work. Part of the reason why uh, Aiden Ross and many, you know, millions of fucking kids online don't even, uh, they, they continue uh, maliciously riding Andrew Tate is because one, partially because, you know, they are also, this is a byproduct of uh, the patriarchy. They also like Andrew Tate for his misogynistic, violent misogynistic perspectives. Okay, but the other part of it is they don't even see this information. This information does not reach them. Okay, when this information reaches in front of them, whether it be whether it be a clip that you clipped from this stream and put it on TikTok, and it actually ended up, uh, you know, uh, getting in front of them, they are already geared by a million different eco, uh, a million different echo chamber uh, articles that actually say the exact opposite. I and people like myself who cover Andrew Tate are seen as villains already. We are not a part of the in-group. We are a part of the out-group. No matter what amount of evidence I can present in this regard, most people are not even like conditioned into looking at this in a charitable way. They just see it and go, oh, you're just like a gay, soy face, uh, bitch, uh, homosexual who fucking hates Andrew Tate because you don't have a Bugatti and you're a brokey. Because you don't fuck. Yeah. And that is literally what it is. It's like there's these echo chambers that are pumping all of this information into willing participants who already have the cognitive bias, who are already geared into believing Andrew Tate's like infallibility and innocence, partially because they like that he is a rampant, violent misogynist. You know what I mean? So they will literally, they will literally never like they, they don't even see it. They don't even see this shit. You're right. They will they never see this shit. Yeah, no matter how right. much I cover it. Um, I guess you're. I don't know. I mean, you're right. I know. I know you're right, but. I feel like they got to know. You know what I mean? They got to know that this dude did it. Like that somewhere in the back of their mind, I feel like they're afraid of their audience and they got to know that there's a good chance he fucking did all that. Yeah. Andrew Tate has been pictured occasion in the back of a police van alongside his angels after their arrest as part of the probe. The influencer 36 was seen behind bars as, as he was escorted to the Romanian detention center on Thursday evening after the surprise raid of a 600,000 uh, pound concrete bolt hole on the outskirts of Bucharest. Pictured alongside the millionaire in the van were Luana Radu and Georgiana Nagel, who are accused of luring women to the compound and then coercing and controlling them to create social media pornography. The images taken by the local news site Gondol show Tate dressed in a black hoodie on the one side of the van next to Nagel, his alleged girlfriend of one year, who in turn was sat next to Radu, a former policewoman. There it is. That's my brother working on power tools outside, by the way. Don't get freaked out. Wow. Oh. Radu was previously based at a police station in central Bucharest, but quit the force eight years ago. Oh, I was wrong. I, I thought she like quit recently uh, to pursue a career working in video chat rooms, which attract men from all around the world and have become a lucrative industry in Romania. Nagel 28, who is a U.S. citizen, is described as a businesswoman and an influencer who is believed to be dating Tate for almost a year. The group, along with oh. T uh, Tate's brother Tristan, have been locked up since Thursday after a court agreed to extend their detention by 30 days. The brothers have been organizing their own New Year's Eve party in a 48-room mansion they own in the mountain village of Kumarnik before their Love sudden that. arrest. Tate bought the stunning century-old property 80 miles north of Bucharest, which features an underground car park, a swimming pool a year ago. Oh, this is crazy. That, that, real evil. That's his girl? That's his, like, uh, it's your girl. It's your girl. It's your girl. This is his new digs. Oh, that's nice. He got a. I like. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let's. See, I mean, he's dude, got a radiator. That, that's like that's like unacceptable, dude. That's a like crime against humanity. Having to shit in that. Oh people god. In, that's how people in Asia shit. Like I, that's the, motherfucker. That's how fair. I shat too when I was younger in Turkey. That's it just sucks. the way it goes. It's a human rights violation. I've never shit like that. It's, it's trust me. I, you don't want I, to. I went to Thailand, and whenever I saw a you know like that, I. Held it. But clearly, it's very fat phobic to have toilets like that. Brother, because I'm telling you, no way they I'm telling you, that. every time I see one of these things, I get fucking PTSD Don't from my miss? childhood. Don't you 
No, I do not. No, but somebody got to miss the hole and shit all over. And I hate when fucking dummies are like, oh, 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 I don't miss it. And you mean, don't someone, Somebody's doesn't someone shit miss the pooper? Yeah. Uh, Probably. I don't know. But also, how much more cost is it to add a seat? You know what I mean? Like, it's probably much more costly. I think so. This is her Instagram. It's your girl. Let me see. Let me get a picture. Oh, yeah. She's awesome. Shooting a gun. She's cool. She's like one of the guys. Love she hasn't been posting at all recently. I wonder why. She's so bringing the noise. Go, oh, baby. We bringing our toys. Oh, yeah. This is his Bugatti. Wait, is she driving the Bugatti? If, I mean, if he's, if he's her main top girl. Yeah, top groomer. Let's let's finish the um the Aiden Ross yeah, part yeah, of this. Yeah. You guys know if that is true. Have you seen well, these? What like, was the process? That yeah, you I, don't saw? Know. I don't. Again, like this is this is just stuff that I seen, and I'm just this is devil's advocate now at this point because the <laughs> whole thing that I'm 10. trying to see is like if he's actually convicted for sex trafficking, like it's fucked. It's gonna be a really bad thing. Of course. So I heard it was money laundering though. That's what I heard too. Idiot. But then somebody but who told knows, me. Bro. Somebody oh, told shit. me. It's just. And then and again, I thought he got released. It's just so much fake news. So yeah. See, this is what I mean. You like, are, no, no, it's important. It's important to understand though. These motherfuckers don't see the real news. And if someone like me, which they have like a level of connection or relation to that would like uh, allow them to like listen to my words and, and have a little bit more charitability, only then can I break through that fucking, uh, the, the matrix basically. Well, because they I, are, I they've dulled themselves. Well, Bradley apparently. Yes. That's crazy. They have dulled themselves into believing it, so they're like they grab onto anything and everything they can that like is uh, is is uh, basically the the opposite of the mainstream narrative. But the mainstream narrative is the fucking truth. That's it. Yeah. So know. this is the thing. I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently Tate had a website in which he wrote out like what he was doing, like and it was I think it was almost in like a self help version to like teach guys how to almost in a sense get girls. And again, I I can't say this is. 100% true because I didn't see the website myself. But I'm looking at these screenshots and uh, there's this thing that says, my job was to get women to fall in love with me. Like this is a screenshot from the, a website. I don't know if this was his website. It's his website, bro. Um, he said, literally, that was my job. My job was to meet a girl, go on a few days, sleep with her, test if she's quality, get her to fall in love with me to where she'd do anything I'd say and then get her on a webcam so we could be rich together. Whether you agree or disagree with what I did, their loyalty, submission, and love for me doesn't matter. You cannot reject the results, and the results are simple. My girlfriends would do more for me than 99% of men's wives would do for them. So I don't know if this was on his actual site or not. Well, real quick, what's what's wrong with that if they're legal? I age? love that. We, we talked about this, this was, on the pod, This was but... so funny. Yeah, what, what's wrong with that? It's like, what do you mean, dog? That's like, he just described a crime. And, and your immediate uh, response is, what's up with that? I don't give and, a fuck. And like, by the way, this is what he wrote on his website, which is obviously going to be as charitable as, to him as possible. I coerce women no, and trick them into sex slavery. Not, not really. <laughs> it wasn't really charitable, Ethan. If anything, it's just a, a just straight up self snitching uh, galore over there on this website where he like tried to teach uh, people who paid him uh, how to do coercive sex trafficking. What's wrong with that? He sounds like it's just a smart dude. Yeah, just I don't get it. Like, what bitches love him, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking so stupid. This guy is the dumbest fuck. I understand why everyone hates you, stymie you bitch. Okay, so I so that's the thing. So I, I I was looking into this last night, and like I don't know enough about sex trafficking. I don't know enough about this to even speak on it as like a professional. I'm not in that like realm, but apparently it's a type of sex sex trafficking called like lover boy, where it's like you get girls, you convince them to want to work with you. You do know a lot about this though. It yeah, I was, like. I was. That's like, my favorite. This is the part. This yeah. is the part where we lost our fucking minds when we were reacting to this earlier like, today. Oh, you're fuck. What are you gay? You care about this? Did you do research for our podcast, dude? What the fuck, dude? Learning, bro. Studying? Did you seriously do research about knowing, this topic? Knowing what the you knew we were going to talk yeah. about. Knowing what the fuck you're you're talking about, like additional details. Gay loser. Are you night. a sex trafficker? <laughs> you seem to know a lot about this lover boy. I'm thing. sorry, like, uh, but but, dude, I can't believe this. This grown ass man is being bullied by a bunch of fucking goobers over here for like actually bad. caring about the subject matter that they're fucking covering. Yeah. That millions of people are gonna watch. Yeah, 1.5 million. God forbid somebody actually read up on a topic that you know you're gonna discuss to 1.5 um, million people. I just like it's so. Mm, it makes me so mad. It makes me so incredibly angry. I'm like clenching my feet right now. Uh, to to just just have people straight up advocate. 
for being fucking stupid, okay? Like, oh, man, it's so much better to be dumb, you fucking idiot. You're the stupid one for even learning. And I just feel bad for Bradley because I think it was actually really brave of him to bring that in there, knowing that it was going to be a recep- not a receptive audience and not a receptive room. And, of course, they gave him shit for it uh, instead of actually engaging with what could be actually a really interesting revelation against the guy whose dick they were just riding. You want to know why I have hive mind with my chat? Not very full send of you, Brad. Did I not make that same exact joke on the podcast? Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> hive mind. Literally fucking hive mind. I said that exact same thing on the podcast earlier today. I was like, that's not, not going to lie, brother. That's not very full send of you, my guy. <laughs> <sighs> it's just, it, and the, the, you know what's interesting to me is the, the bar so low for content on the Manosphere side. Like, these people are talentless. And I, and I say that. You know, like the Nelk guys, they make some funny pranks and stuff, but this podcast is devoid of any fucking thought, any intelligence, yeah. any planning. And there's a lot of dumb it, people that love it, though. So, the like, bar is so low. They're like, num, 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 give it to me. I think they're, yeah, they're like, <laughs> yeah, no, these, yeah. these, guys sound, these guys sound like me. Well, they sound like them, but they also have like f- cool toys. And they sound clout. like me and they have cool, st- and they have, they fuck bitches. Yeah. But his I research. Oh, well, yeah. because I knew we were going to come on this podcast and talk about this. Thing. Exactly, I Bradley. Like a weird, you a did weird your thing. fucking so job. Apparently, it is a form of sex trafficking, which yes, is it like is. you're getting a girl to fall in love with you. And if all I'm saying is if what he put on his website right there is actually true, then like it's a mission. It's Thank self-admission you, to like doing Bradley. that. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. But yeah, no, I mean, obviously, the girls would have to come and say bitch. the same kind of shit. I, I mean, I, I'm assuming that. But then that's the thing. It gets crazy. Where it's like, is it then just... Is it just all hearsay because, like, all the other shit this guy's... I got to say something. The next stage of this idiocy is unironically starting to, like, burn people who read. Like, just start doing Pol Pot shit where you're like, oh, you wear glasses? You're a fucking nerd. You know, get to the wall. Like, that's... that We're, like, we're a couple that, steps that removed. essentially what he yeah. said. We're, we're a couple steps removed from it, but it's like, <laughs> you learn? Shut up, idiot. Like, that's where we're at right now. We're just going to move on to like uh, just basically start criminal. Wait, I can't wait for the criminal prosecutions that come for people who are just like, you know, uh, studying shit. He says that they just don't like that he's saying it or would they stack anything against him that they could yeah, anyway? Yeah, Bradley's got a you know what I'm saying? statement. Yeah, like, I don't know. The boys. You just don't know. Like Kyle said, you just don't know. The internet is so happens, weird, bro. Right? Like, we just can't have know. no idea what's, what's going on. Like, I literally thought he was released at one point. You know, they're There's saying a like, ton okay, of news, bro. okay, but like this is one of those moments where like, some of my haters will like see something fake about me and get mad. Like they'll be like, "Oh, dude, you uh, didn't pay your editor or you didn't pay your producer," and then they get duped. And then when they get called out, they go, "Oh, well, this says a lot about society that I could believe it though." And it's like, no, it doesn't say anything about society. It only says something about you. Okay, you are the one who is looking for fake news. But you think everything else is fake news. So then you're like, well, fucking, you know, there's a lot of fake news out there, man. It's crazy. It's like, no, man, you don't have media literacy. That's the the issue. By the way, they're talking about how there's fake news everywhere. I had not read or heard anywhere that he was arrested for for, uh, money laundering. Money laundering. Yeah, that came. I know where it came from. Or that he was released. It came from literally Rap TV and a bunch of other fucking fake accounts. The fact that he was released was only. Uh, the fact that he was released is basically from selfish self admission isn't enough. I know he admitted himself to doing, but he, but did he really though? Nothing can be known. What the fuck, dude? You have a guy. There's a nine month investigation with wiretaps. You, you have a fucking guy idiot. Who literally wrote on a website his crime. Yeah, and then he was arrested for that crime. Nothing can be known. After a nine Called month a investigation, like what the fuck do you want, dude? No, dude. For guys like this, their cognitive dissonance is so fucking powerful. It's the bias. It's like. It's, it's the same as like okay. No, he's saying uh he's saying Andrew Tate could be joking. Oh, 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 he's saying self admit he's just okay, he's being sarcastic. Never mind. Yeah, yeah okay. We love you. Okay, sorry. You don't have to like leave. You said money you laundering. We just gotta wait and see, bro. Yeah. It's just it's such a well, weird spot. Let's How talk about we your waiting, trip in Dubai, way. too. You know what I mean? Because I, I got to tell you, bro, waiting? that your what stream with Tate was, <laughs> I watched years from now. was probably the funniest stream I've ever you seen. You and Tate are very funny it's together. Insane, it's insane, bro. It's hilarious. Yeah, they, moved, I love. they moved on from the sex trafficking immediately to like, so how cool funny. is Andrew Tate, He's though? so funny. He's, He's such fucking, a great guy. He, I love your relationship. He honestly is such a great guy. I love your relationship, dog. It's great. I love the dynamic duo we yeah. have. The chemistry is no, great, bro. It's just, It's just... 
you know, when you see that, it's just, I, I talk to him, well, I, I talk to him, I talked yeah, to him a lot when I wasn't, yeah, I there was you. no cameras on, you know, through, uh, we text and stuff and we'd call and I'm, I'm gonna like I said, that's, soon. that's, I, I had a gen. I did it though. It's 430. I went all the, the whole distance, bro. All right. Is it this, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make, I'm going to react to the CoffeeZilla video about uh, the Logan Paul response video, which was my favorite fucking video. I, watch, I had to go back and watch that Logan Paul defense video twice because it was so good. I mean, it was so entertaining and it's just so insane. And then he dropped this ad. You guys see this? He dropped an ad for Prime the next Last day. Last year, we... Like, talk about timing. He turned off the comments for that. I feel bad for KSI, but you know what? That's what happens when you get in bed with a fucking scammer. I mean, pretty sure Dink Doink was already on the radar when they teamed up. So, I don't know. I do feel bad for KSI, though. I'm sure he's like, dude, what the fuck? But, um... Something Let's see. Wait, he... Rem Oh, he removed it. He removed it. Oh shit! He he realized he fight. He removed his his defense video. I knew this was gonna happen, right? Because Logan, he doesn't give a fuck. He you know what I mean? He doesn't have any. He he ba he's gonna backtrack. He's not suing anybody. He realized that this was a PR suicide. And he removed the video. Oh. Fuck. I was going to go read the comments. It's one of my favorite things to do in the day is checking on the comments. Yeah. You guys want to watch some shit? Here, check this out. Ethan, I love this. I'm just going to promote my shit. Ethan Klein channel. I'm posting videos here since the podcast is on hiatus back January 16th, by the way. I did a video about James Charles drama. And I'm going to do a video on the Ethan Klein channel about the CoffeeZilla thing. You, everybody, love, peace, and love, dude. Logan Paul erased his um. He erased his yeah. video. Yeah, he took it down. What the fuck? He backed out. Oh no! I mean, the internet never. Forgets. I got shocked again. What? I got shocked again. Yeah, it's. I'm he, glad that someone else is getting shocked so people believe uh, my plug. But I now. got it. You got to look. I knew this was going to happen because he's like, he I'm suing never, you. He should, I'll meet you in court. And he's like, I'm going to race this. People are mad at me. Uh, I'm suing you. I'll meet you in court, but also come on my podcast. Yeah. It's like, okay. It dude. made no sense. No, it makes oh, no it's sense. on his other channel. You're no, wrong. no, no. It's on his main channel. Oh, oh, it's on impulsive. No, no, he no, didn't. no, no. He has two. He has the podcast. But it, Oh, he made a video? He Mike made a, Tyson. Oh, video he, re he deleted his reaction yes, video. His response. His response is gone. Oh, Come he on. deleted from his Logan Paul Vlogs channel. His main channel. Where he had his uh, response. Yes. He deleted that. He deleted it. And then uh, the he kept up? his impulsive podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That would be a little too He deleted fun. the seven-minute video. Does this have sponsors on it or something? I don't know. Go Maybe. to the description. Maverick clothing only. Too bad. That would have been a great time for a brand to jump on. Yeah. Oh, all right. I, okay. I do have to go. It's getting late. Are you me. leaving right now? It's 440. I did pretty good. Okay. What you time did, did I incredible, get here? Incredible, dude. Were you crazy? What time did I get here? You got, got here 11? at like 12. No, we oh, started 12, at 12. 12 so we started at 12. 12. So that's almost five hours, bro. That's crazy. Thank you so much, Ethan, for coming. For having me, bro. This was wonderful. Thanks. Uh. Look forward to doing a podcast together. Yeah. Um, in a couple of weeks. The chat was super fun and nice. Thank you, guys. It was a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast we shot together. It was really fun, too. Yeah, that was really good. Fear and uh, you will see it on Monday. Um, all right. Cool. Well, I'll look forward be to good, your coffee. I'll talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Me I'll look forward to your coffeezilla response, which I will be watching on stream. How about that? Okay. I'm watch your I like that. Response. I like that. I like that. Thank okay. you, bro. Thank you, Mr. Uh, why you are can, you? What you does Ethan want to promote? Oh, your your other channel, right? You want to promote I, your other I channel? I already did when you were gone. Okay, do it again. Ethan, Cl it's just the Ethan Klein channel. The Ethan Klein channel. I do like uh, thanks. I just do when I'm like on break. I just post like little commentary. Videos. Nice. Look at that. Andrew Tate arrested. Is your girl? It's just it's just fun little one offs i just post there sometimes love it okay perfect brandon shop hates free speech
Yeah, I know. it's just silly crap. Okay. You like all that right. thumbnail I made of James? That's great. You made that yourself? Look I at that. I all the thumbnails here. It's, it's one a, of my projects. Wow. I, it's a really lucrative role. It's called My Boyfriend. Requirements 62 plus. The one that I cut out that comes right after that is Big Dick. Very embarrassing. For okay. All right. All right. Thanks, bro. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for uh, coming on, Ethan. Uh, it was really fun. I'm glad we did we this. We are going to be continuing the wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Oh, right, don't show anything. Oh, yeah, Make yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to continue the wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, and we'll be looking forward Thanks, to bro. the coffee Appreciate thing that. as Thank well. Thank you so much. All right. Here, I'm going to play this video while I uh, step aside for a second so that you guys have an uninterrupted part of the video for once. And you want friendship with him. And, and people really like don't understand that like this happening, this all happening actually like affects me because it's like, that's my friend. We talk. I talk to him on a daily basis. I'm like, hey, bro, like I'm in, a, I'm in, a, I'm in a, um, a slump right now. Like, how do I get out of bed today? Like, I don't feel good like mentally. He's like. Like, you just tell me advice. Like, yo, you need to get the fuck up over there, bad. Like, you laying there is not going to do anything. You know what I mean? Just text me stuff. And same with Tristan, by the way. Like, same thing. Like, they just genuinely Tristan's care. Tristan's, like, a little more straight to the point, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Tristan's just, fucked. They just, jokes. they genuinely care, bro. They do. And um, they want to see me, you know, take this journey. That's why I'm so motivated, too. They, they kind of, like, pass the baton to me. And they want to see me take this shit. And they really want to see me evolve into something that is, like I said, the best version of myself. And we can do this uh, with mind control and uh, discipline. And that's why having, that's why me being able to buy what I want, no flex shit, but like being able to buy what I want, being able to do what I want, it's, it's, it, it makes me spoiled and, and um, egotistical and I have no discipline. It makes me lazy and comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to go out of my comfort zone. I went bald. That's why I went bald, out of my comfort zone, refresh. Um, and, you know, I want to I wanna really see what I can do and, and, and really take myself seriously and my body serious and do things for me this year. So what are the things that you're doing differently then? Like in your in your actual personal life? So gym, um, what is it? We we got two days in. We got two days in. But no, I've already I've already actually started doing stuff. I've already um, you know, look been searching for a nutritionist. It's hard to find a nutritionist. If you're a nutritionist, please hit me up. I'll probably already have one by the time this drops. Bro, but, he's literally um, sitting across just, from Bradley I Martin. Bradley. This I'm is his using, shit. Uh, so you can use the old gym, yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Be using, you be using Bradley's old gym, uh, but until then I have to figure out some private gym stuff. I just got to LA today. In New York, uh, I was doing just sit-ups and push-ups, but you know, I'm working, I'm working. I'm, you know, no days off, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm actually gonna want to hike today. Right after this, I'm gonna do a stream with speed and then go on a hike, so. Did, uh, did have they perfected your push-up form? My form is ass. Yeah, it's really bad. It's so I was bad. confused, it's bro. Really bad. But, but listen, I'm out of shape, to be fair. I have bad posture, to be fair, but I promise you guys, I promise you, the next time you see me do it on stream, it'll it'll be it'll be way better. Had you ever had any experience with the gym prior to this? Nah, bro, not so at all. Brand new, brand new to me. But you know, I've I've um, my security guard aunt. He's he's very very big, and he's you know he's gonna help me out. And you know we got we I have he's a trainer as well. So Didn't I'm gonna work with him as well. So it's gonna be great. I saw I saw Logan someone? going at you a little bit for for linking with Tate too. Yeah, I really? you know here's the thing. Yeah, I think oh, so. Right? I didn't see that. I don't think he. I don't think he directly came at me, but um, or you said you guys were like fucking or some shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. So we could talk about that. I mean, yeah. here we could talk about. Logan. Wait, are they talk? Who are they talking about? Who are they talking about? That came at him for saying that. Logan, um, or something. Oh, yeah, Logan so, right? Paul. Yeah. I, I used to live with uh, Mike. Yeah. Mike yeah. Malak. I love Mike. You, like, I look at him as like my uncle, like a big bro. I love I love Mike. He's he's funny. He's great. He's a great guy. Everyone looks at him as like this. Well, not everyone. But most people are like, oh fuck Mike. You know, Cloud Chaser. No, no, he's really like a good guy. No, I love Mike. I have nothing. Friend bad of the to show, Mike him. Malak. Logan as well. I, I really heavily respect Logan and Jake. I think what they've done for you know people in our industry is insane. And um, they're 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 literally legends in the shit. And by the way, Kyle, I want to I want to give flowers to you too, bro. You Thank are you. a literal legend. I remember watching you in high school. Um, you know what I mean, and just just seeing where you guys have come now to owning businesses and. Just becoming a corporate is just amazing, bro. It's lit, bro. I, I really you. want to give you flowers. You too, bro. You're crushing it's, it. It's it's just crazy. So, I remember meeting you fucking, when do we meet at? Clive The old, when you were living yep. with Banks and them, right? Yep, I was so To scared. see how far you've come yeah. now. It's yeah, like bro. It's insane, bro. Yeah, bro. Just just been, yeah, Kyle, you guys were actually on my stream at one point, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, a little stream. Um, But yeah, bro. So with Logan, right, I think right oh, now I saw something. I don't, I don't, I don't know too much. So I'm not going to speak too much, but he said something about Christianity and he said something to George, to Georgie, I think, and everyone's upset with him for that. Um, so, I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't really, I didn't really do too much on uh, research on that. Um, so everyone's like really mad at him for that right now. And I think when he was speaking, like to Aunt, like about Andrew, Mike and Georgie were both like, I think we got off on the wrong foot. Like mm. I think, you know, I think really we we shouldn't have said what we said. We shouldn't have gone on the road. And Love was like, 
fuck that. Like, fuck them. Like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So I think it's just, it's tough. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Logan right now. I think, I think he'll figure things out. I think he'll figure things out. Do you think that that was genuine though? Or they were just like, yo, we're taking backlash. Now we got to fucking, because anyone who ever goes against Tate, you're getting fucking shit on by people. It's crazy, bro. He has a cold. It's fucking scary. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane, bro. fast too. But, 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 you know, the people who really follow Tate are really like trying to be, I feel like they're so, Tate changed my life. Tate changed my life. He really did. I don't know what, if he said stuff about you guys, like said stuff to you guys directly, but some of the stuff he says is really, it's like some real the, shit. The woman oh, shit yeah. to me is just like funny. Yeah, That's I, just I don't just think it's funny, but when I became I a true fan of him. Bro, this is literally cult shit, dude. <clears throat> Straight up. It was like all the other stuff he was saying, even like talking about the way the world works and government. I'm, like I'm That's right. when I really started to like. Oh, I'm just curious because like you got to think before Tate, right? You are still crushing it. You're very successful. So what, what did you think, or what were you lacking where you were like, yo, I got to change? Like, what did you have to change? Man, it's not, it's just more like I'm going back and forth on stuff and I'm doing things that really aren't important and they don't really like solidify my career, you know, but meeting Tate and people, uh, and, and I still people say that they don't believe me and stuff. I'm really going to change myself, bro. I'm really going to change and I'm really going to become something that I've never done before. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and really shock people and really be like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's the goal for me. I want to really... I want someone who's watching me and be like, all right, Aiden, the, all eyes are on you right now. You're you're a fat, lazy, uh, he calls me pudgy. You're pudgy as fuck, you know what I mean, whatever. Pudgy G, I want to see you become something you're you're not. And I want to see you, you know, become a boss. And I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm really going to do it. But is it, let's say more doing, right? Is, so. it, is it just in the sense of physicality or actually like also the kind of content that you're putting? It's just like self-improvement is really important. It's a really good concept. I am absolutely a fucking fan i engage in it i want others to engage in it if you've been in here long enough you've literally heard me talk about this shit so many times like millions of times over okay <clears throat> i wish that these guys had a better entry point into self-improvement and cared about self-improvement for the sake of self-improvement and not because like they care about impressing a you know, sex trafficking, misogynistic weirdo. It sucks that so many entry points to, into self-improvement for so many people is like Jordan Peterson. And then Jordan Peterson is like literally trying to sell them the idea of like this uh, conservative worldview. It sucks. out as far as like both yeah. both man i think i think becoming the best version of myself content wise too i think everything bro the the mindset is even my spiritual i want to i want to wake up every day and i did this actually last night for the first time i woke up i had my phone in my bathroom i don't it's really you guys should really really all consider someone watching i do this. sleep with your phone in your bathroom bro when you wake up it's not healthy to literally first thing you do TikTok, so twitter fucked, right come on bro it's bad for your brain you're you're waking up and you're being stimulated to this shit it's just it's ridiculous how long are you supposed to not look at your phone for i would say you go ahead yeah. you, you know better yeah than i me. love this yeah you do this <laughs> yeah yeah i do this okay yeah you normally like you'd want to go out and get sunlight first like 10 minutes of the day 10 15 minutes before you just go and like mindlessly get on your phone you want like the first thing you should be doing is trying to find sunlight in the morning gotcha so for your for your circadian rhythm so walk for your outside sleep cycle. and just really get in your thoughts maybe yeah because like like you're saying like if if every time we wake up, that's the first thing we're doing, well, you're just getting programmed in like whatever the fuck is on your phone that day. You're just, the first thought is like nine, nine times out of 10, it's going to be some sort of negative. It's never like the most positive shit. I swear, bro, internet. you know, and you know, I'm praying. I just saw, you guys saw how I have that NFL player. The yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Like, you, you know, you wake, I woke up to that because I was on a plane last night and it's just so sad, bro. It's just, it, it's, it's heartbreaking when you see stuff like that. It's just, like you said it's most of the time it's so negative it's something that yeah. like it takes you out of your ways makes you feel like damn it's just it sucks but that's why i want to wait my plan is to wait do this every morning wake up you know really really just get in my inner thoughts and just you know like you said lock in and try to wake up yeah because you want to set the tone for the rest of your day where exactly like, what are you actually going to be focusing on is just like nonsense on the internet or something you actually want to succeed at achieve because if you get up and you just look at you know, whatever, a hundred different things and your mind is trained, is thinking of these things instead of like, if I get up, I'm like, okay, these are the things I want to get done. This is what's actually important. These are the conversations I want to have, like your own actual genuine organic thoughts. It's going to allow you to just be in a much better place throughout the whole day. hundred percent. I agree with you. So it's huge. Are, are you just on TikTok all the time and you're scrolling and then you just see clips of yourself? Myself, Speed, Kai, I'll see, um, 
I just, yeah, exactly. What does that bro. do to you though? Are you like stoked? Or are you like kind of anxious or? Um, I read the comments a lot. <laughs> Is that bad? Com- Ooh, bad idea. Most, most of the time, it, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's all love, but yeah. Yeah. You know, you guys get those comments that just like, that's how you feel. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, well, especially you when you're trolling people too. Yes, right? A lot of yes. your shit's like meant to trigger people. It's controversial. That's why it does so well. Bro, exactly. You, so you know how, you know exactly how it is. You guys have been doing it forever. So, but yeah, bro, it's just, it's crazy how much people really fall into like the, the trap. Se- yeah. They think it's so serious. It's too serious, bro. It's fucked. They, um, it's, it's because the internet is becoming real life. It is real life now, man. It's just, we're in a new world. Everything is on the internet now. All cameras are always on and it's crazy. Everyone, uh, everyone, someone's always watching. Which- it's, yeah. it's that's such a crazy thing though because so much of it is like fake all fake. you know what i'm saying like i think for us like we just i think we take it the least serious right people that don't do social media for a living they're the ones that take it really serious yeah, yeah. for well, us it's just like, a, like we don't care yeah. we don't we, we care. turn our phone off we have fun with our friends we don't care yeah yeah we do the, but it's we, because know? we know what it is that's behind the scenes right yeah. we know that it's not as like you know we could sit here that's and talk about true. the fact you that you say some wild shit because you know it's kind of it's fun and good fun and it's like kind of trolling yeah but someone else might see and be like he's fucking serious exactly a crazy reaction to it right it almost makes me wish sometimes people could see the behind the scenes um Seeing Normies be so successful is almost enough for me to give a stab at their job, XD. Good luck. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and act like it's, uh, you know, super likely that it will happen. Um, it's just, it's a profound, I mean, if anything, this should be a somber reminder to many of you that refuse to acknowledge it that, like, this is <clears throat> reverse Russian roulette. Okay, like so many fucking multimillionaires in one room. And, uh, you know, not exactly a lot of uh, brilliant takes, if you know what I mean. Meritocracy is a lie. Hopefully this will be uh, a- another way to reinforce that. Okay, hopefully this will help you understand that reality. Yeah, I mean, we. Talk, I mean, this is a good format you know, of it. That's why we, we do this and shit too, yeah. right? Yeah, people can really hear what's going on. You guys, you guys dissect down everything. Like, hey, you know, that tweet exactly. So people really understand. Hey, guys, that was not real. I didn't actually believe that Joe Biden can go get Tate out of jail. <laughs> oh my God, I wish. What was that quote that we saw? You read some. Fuck, you read some paragraph. Oh, it was so about, fucking funny. It's about bro. the fastest thing. Fastest yeah. thing. No, to be honest, I actually that was real. Oh, yeah. it was that was real. Oh, my yeah. fault. Yeah, 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 that was real. <laughs> we were like, yo, he has to be trolling yeah, was, right now. We're like, yo, Aiden knows yeah. what he's doing. Where I, where I was, uh, where I was reading. The definition. I didn't know what, I didn't know what it meant. I didn't the know definition. What, yeah, those words are really hard. <laughs> no, bro, I that agree. was fucking. They were tough. Thank God the shit worked out. I would be flipping patties somewhere at McDonald's or some shit. <laughs> how how often are you trying to stream this year? What's your schedule looking like? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to say it, bro. I'd rather just do, but. I, you know, I was very inconsistent in, in, in uh, 2020, 2022. And, um, you know, I, I want to just make sure this year in 2020, 2020, 2023, everything is just super consistent and, and I'm just really locked in. And I, I don't know, bro. I want to go for above 66, 70%, you know what I mean? Each month streaming. Days. What's that mean? Uh, if there's 30 days in a month, oh, I want to okay, at okay. least stream maybe 20, 20 yeah. out of the 30. Do, do the other guys coming up like Speed and Kai, do they like motivate you to, to want to go harder? For sure. I'm so glad to see where they're at. And um, I'm, I'm very happy for them. And I'm actually, it's, 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 it's great when you can look and call those people your brothers because it's like, you know what I mean? Like those are, those are like literally my friends. Like I, you guys see Speed here right now. I was kicking it with him. He's staying here for a few days. Like Kai, he sleep, you know, we can sleep, we can sleep in the same house together. It's not like on some weird shit where you gotta be like, Oh, pull up and then do a stream, and then fuck off. Like, no, we go to dinners, parties, all that stuff. Like, those are my friends. So, seeing them also, you know what I mean, be, you know, doing what they're doing is it's, it's motivating. It is. It's a little friendly competition, is what they say as well. So it's great. Yeah, I've we, streamed a little bit too, and it's just like, dude, I don't know how you guys do it for so long, for so many days. Like that shit. Like after a stream, when I used to do like the gambling shit, my brain was fried. Bro. You know, like how it I is, just man. feel like fucking. Yeah, but that's it's not I, like filming a video. It's not no. like streaming. Just like you, so you like, how do you guys do a little? Bit I've too. streamed a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like I was gonna say, straight up on on what Kyle was saying. Streaming seems like it's the highest level of almost con, not the highest level of content creation, but one of the hardest levels of content. It's the creation. hardest. It is. It is. I mean, it's the easiest as far as like you're just fucking sitting there and watching YouTube videos or playing video games is what most people think. But like, as far as other forms of content creation. And these are content creators saying it, so suck my dick, who has, like, literally tried doing it and have failed at doing it. Go ask any other content creator 
if they would rather be a fucking Twitch streamer and have to deal with a chat that's pestering them eight hours a day or make fucking 10 YouTube videos a month or five YouTube videos a month. We said it's the highest difficulty. It's not even art. It's not art. <clears throat> no, it isn't. And for people saying like, oh, boo hoo, so sad for you. It's like, I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. It's exhausting. You have to be on for 10 fucking hours, eight fucking hours. Um, it's, uh, it's just terrible. It's the most rewarding. Yeah. So I agree. it's the most rewarding. You have the most engaged engagement i Absolutely. think if you're a streamer 100%. i think you have the most um the, 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 the it's just live everything's live so it's like everyone is gonna see it everywhere it's gonna there that this that there so yeah it's, it's but, you're also but recently like, with the clipping shit now streaming's dude, now even dude yeah. now it's real different because not only you guys stream. pull in whatever you're pulling live TikTok, now you're getting shorts, clicked everywhere Facebook, you guys are on like instagram everywhere. instagram everywhere Everywhere. It gets clipped everywhere now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's but huge. I think you get a sense too where you interact with the chat. It's the only platform where you interact with, of course, bro. And that's you so actually important. create like a relationship where those people fucking have your back. It's actually it's it's so unique, bro. I'm I'm curious to see where streaming's gonna be at, and I have and I have plans for for new things I want to try out this year. But you know, I want to see as far as different platforms, different types of content. I would just say different types of content. content. I want to I want to see what I'm about to do. I, I mean, I want to see what I can do to my fullest potential. Like I was talking about, bro. Just just really living my fullest potential. Can you talk about the the Twitch deals? Like, do you have a fat Twitch deal? You know, Twitch has never followed me, never put me on homepage. Shut the fuck up. I swear, they don't follow me. That's they fucking don't, crazy. Never put me on homepage. It's the same thing. It's the same thing because you got to understand these people are always trying to watch their backs too, right? So even YouTube, they could secretly love us, but are they really going to give us public support? Because one wrong thing we right, do, right. then it falls back on them. So like, dude, the they whole, probably don't trust you, right? Dude, the, They're like, what's nah, this they kid going to do next? They don't, and they if don't. they endorse yeah. him, then it's Twitch. But I'm talking about, look, you guys know how it was. When quarantine was co when COVID, everyone's numbers were up. Remember that? Massive. Yeah. Huge. Huge. So yeah. I used to average, literally, no joke, probably 120,000. Now I'm averaging like 60,000. You know what I mean? Still huge. Still though. huge. Huge. Yeah. Um, but bro, I just remember when I was doing that and it was so new and everyone, you guys doing the rappers and stuff. They never, they never reached out. They never went on homepage. They never sent me stuff. They never did any of that stuff. And, and what they're doing now is, and I talked to Kai about this. They're doing it to Kai. But I'm like, Kai, what's your deal? You have a multi, you have a multi million dollar deal, right? No. Why is Kai, myself, XQC, Speed, why are we not being offered multi million dollar deals? Motherfuckers at XQC. What the fuck do you mean? XQC has a platform deal, and he will get a platform deal. He's been around for a very long time. <clears throat> it's so funny though. Um, look, uh, the, these top content creators do deserve platform deals. I am 100% an advocate for them, uh, in that regard. Um, I think that it's silly and foolish not to offer them these platform deals, but I think Twitch for the most part recognizes or not recognizes, but like recognizes his place in the space and also simultaneously believes that like you need us more than we need you kind of thing. Right. Which is silly. Um, no, it's not because the company doesn't want to be associated with misogyny. That's not the reason. I think it's more so consistency. It's consistency. You have to consistently serve the top of the hour ad break, for example, at the top of every hour when there's a three-minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free subscription a month. That's right. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Okay. Uh, is Kai, Kai is live addressing the, uh, the, the allegations, really? Is it? It doesn't seem like he is. Why are you saying he is? <clears throat> um, I I hadn't covered it yet today. I I looked at it, but I hadn't covered it yet today because we had uh, Ethan here, so we had like a lot on the docket. But
Literally is live, dude. Why isn't he showing up on my fucking page? I follow him. I think. He's not. Look at this. These are the top live channels right now. Oh, he just went live. No, it's not because I'm banned, you fucking idiots. Which probably is bugging again. Um. Anyway, here's the three-minute ad break now, by the way. I forgot to run it. Turn orangutan. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Abigee 19. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Just type his name, dude. What the fuck? Hey, brother, don't you think it's, like, kind of strange that we don't know what um, the fuck? It's not see. showing up. So, if you guys catch me looking at my oh, phone. He is, he is live. I want to oh, show okay. you guys off rip that I have multiple uh points that I went over and that I have to cover. Okay? Oh, my. My lips is dry as hell. Hold on. My lips is dry as hell. I don't even want to. For those of you who don't know, Kai Sinat threw a, or I think Kai Sinat threw a New Year's Eve party. And in that party, in that party, one of Kai's friends who he had invited was told uh, that she could go upstairs if she needed a safe place as she was drunk. She went upstairs, trigger warning. Um, I got to make sure I know everybody's watching. I know there's every blog watching right now. I know everybody got their little conclusions right now. I know everybody got a thought. I feel yeah, Kai, Kai I told feel her, great. uh, Kai told her she like could sleep upstairs okay. and then, right. uh, trigger so, warning. Let's begin. She was raped. Um, I have, I have points here. Uh, to refer to, so like I brutally. I think that shit is like, you no, know, on some like, oh, he's reading off a line. No. Okay. Let me go ahead and say something real quick. Very important. I do not under any circumstances condone any sexual, sexual activity without consent. I don't condone none of that. That shit is whack. I don't even play with the R word. I can't say it on Twitch. Therefore, because it's TOS. I do not play with that. That is not something I play with. Oh, um, uh, the, it was Kai's any, friend. Or the victim said it was Kai's corn, friend. That shit is corny. I'm going to say it one more time. Uh, I do not Okay, let's just listen to what he has to say and I'll tell you everything. I do everything. not allow any of that. It's very serious, bro. This topic is... This is the Kai most is not accused. Kai is not life. accused. It's the most serious I've ever been Kai's in my life. Kai is just, uh, okay. uh, people are upset at Kai, no uh, from what I understand, um, and the victim is upset at Kai for not moving okay? fast the enough. blogs has posted shit. All right. Uh, first things first, okay? First things first, I want to go and ahead and just everybody, is, uh, he thanks follows to everybody the dude who, did who patiently it, waited allegedly. to hear my, to hear what I have to say and what I have to go, go at, what I have, please don't tell me the internet is bad. No, what happened to the internet, bro? Okay, we go, we go, we go, we go. All right. So, first things first, I want to say thanks to everybody who waited patiently to hear what I have to say. Where's you feel the what I'm saying after this? You have to say what I'm what I don't, I don't care. About? I'm very, you feel what I'm saying? First things first, okay? Let me go ahead and say something. Um, I, I, I kind of, first of all, I kind of found it very, uh, I've been going through, like, I've been, I'm getting dr dragged right now on social media. Dragged right now on social media. A lot of people are forming a Don't center yourself. Let's dive this right is not about it. you. First things first, Come on. I want to address how do I know this girl, okay? As you guys know, New Year's Eve, I threw a party in New York City. The city that I'm from, threw a party back there. We went back there, threw a party. As you guys can see, I'm pretty sure you guys seen snaps, multiple videos. There's multiple photographers in there. Um, you feel what I'm saying? We took a whole bunch of pictures, videos. I'm having a, I'm having a blast. Mike in my hand, I'm running from the, I'm running everywhere, I'm having a blast, everybody's having a good time. I don't think this is, dude, When you dude, with KC3, no. one thing you going one thing you can say is that I make sure everybody's having a fun time, everybody's having a good, right, right? The way I met that girl, or I started, I started talking to her, December 31st, 2022, going into the new year of January 1st, 2023. Um, um, okay. People, uh -oh. people keep getting the narrative that like, uh, she, she, uh, kept saying like, uh, this is my friend, friend. She kept using the friend word a lot, right? Um, people keep thinking that like it was if if she's saying friend, they must have knew each other way back. No, that's not what it is. Also, I want to go ahead and say, Jovi, I'm not here to bash you or nothing. This is very serious. I'm saying this is the first thing put in my life. I'm not even gonna play like. 
I've seen what you, I've seen the shit that you've been posting and crying and all that shit. I have sympathy for her. I'm not, I'm not here to say that. I'm not here to bash you in any type of way. Okay? Let me put that shit first because this shit is crazy. All right? So, the way I know her, I met her December, um, 30, I, I said December 31st. Okay? Met her December 31st. I told her, to, I got the cotton right now. I told her to pull up to, uh, the party. Now, um, <clears throat> the same way she got invited, everybody there got invited. Okay? People on the internet twisted it and was like, oh yeah, Kai should have been like, you know, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, she should have been on her shit. No, the way she was invited is the way everybody was invited. Welcome. She, uh, she's in New York. I said, yo, New Year's Eve. Come, let's have a blast. You know, it's a, you feel what I'm saying? Music going. Everything was free. I had food, everything, right? That's how I know her. Um, it doesn't go any further. It doesn't go, uh, any farther than that. Okay. Okay. One thing, one thing. Okay. How do I know, uh, the person being accused? Jiggy, Jiggy, right? How do I know him? I mm -hmm. know him. I never said he wasn't my friend. I know him. I, he went to high school with me. Um, and you know what I'm saying? He's a friend that I generally know, okay? This is somebody that I know personally, okay? Uh-oh. All right. Now, now, first things first. Let me kick it off like this. I can't go too in deep, so you're probably wondering. Let me address everything that everybody probably was wondering. Why was not, why Kai wasn't replying? Why wasn't he texting back like this? And I don't blame y'all for asking me. Why wasn't Kai texting back like this? Why wasn't he helping? Because screenshots um uh came in. As soon as this was brought to my attention, chat, I didn't go nowhere else. When this shit was brought to my attention, I didn't go nowhere else but the police. Instantly, I went to my legal team. I went to the police. I'm not playing. I'm not being around. This is a serious topic. Let's go to the police. Let's figure this out. You feel what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people was like, yo, you need, uh, uh, he didn't help you. This, that, and the third. Bro, I went to the police instantly. My legal team, the reason why I did not reply is because my legal team told me, Kai, do not text anyone. Do not uh, post, uh, do not talk about the situation to anybody. Keep it to yourself. That's why I'm so relieved that I got the green light today to talk about stuff. Okay, and then again, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not going against nobody. That's the reason why I couldn't tell, right? My team legally told me, Kai, don't say nothing. Okay, Jovi. First things first, Jovi. I understand everything that's going on right now. I'm here to help to see what the fuck happened. I've been accused of this being set up, being set up, and I knew what was going on. Negative, negative. That's disgusting. Negative. Like, bro, that's the reason why I'm kind of mad because I've been accused that I knew everything that was happening at the time. Negative, okay? I don't know shit that went down that night. I wasn't there, okay? I wasn't physically there, okay? Jovi, although my team contacted you and said, <clears throat> and said that Kai is not able to talk at this time. I don't know okay. why he's talking he more about his own involvement and not about muted, the situation. But you still went to the internet. I'm not here to blame you. You got to the internet first. They uh, do their assumptions. My name Bro, this is so got dragged. Dude, I don't okay? understand how and it's like, fine. people don't go, have just, people in their corner to, statue, like, to teach them how to deal with okay? this shit. You was, you was, um, my team, what the hell I tell you? Yo. Clearing my Kai name? Not able what to talk the right now. Don't, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, he, he, he don't expect nothing from coming for him. He's not able to. This is all legal. Once this shit got brought to my attention, it is now an investigation. Okay? It is now an investigation. Do you hear me? Okay? This shit is serious. I gotta understand how serious this is, man. I'm not taking this for no game. Everything that was brought to my attention, my team reached out to her, said Kai's not able to talk. All right? So, boom. I was, I was literally muted at the time. I couldn't say nothing. Okay? Let me go ahead and uh, I'll go to the next thing. Um, Why would uh, he lawyer going, up? Going, He's going, not the one going, involved. Um, like this, none of this makes sense. What you do in the uh, situation like this is immediately okay. try to figure out what's going on. Oh my quick. god! Hold she on. called me the next day. 
right? Crying, bawling her eyes out. I'm talking about legit crying, gang. I'm hearing this story. Getting a lawyer is not an admission of guilt. I know. I understand that. I'm not saying that at all. Calm down, dude. Look, I don't think I don't think Kai is a bad person. I I've seen the text messages. He does not look good in them at all. It doesn't seem like he's a. It doesn't seem like he's a. You know, immediately taking the the seriousness that this situation deserves. I said, yo, just talk to my team and see what happens. Okay, I said I will help you. It's not pre-recorded. Shut up. It's not pre-recorded. All right. So boom, I said that. Right. As soon as I got the information, chat. Just I wait. Went Just let's to watch this and my then I'll friend, talk about it. The person that you see getting posted. I said, bro, what the fuck am I hearing right now, gang? Y'all know I can't, bro. When you, bro, I have a select few of people that I call my friend for real, for real, bro. I address them. I said, yo, bro, what the fuck is this? When you see, you can see the text messages. When she sent the photo, you can see me react as in, it's him? Like, I legit, I legit, I'm telling y'all what it is. I know him. So I'm t I went to him immediately. I said, yo, bro, what the fuck you got going on? What am I hearing right now, bro? You feel me? What am I hearing right now about shit that's going on? Chat. As soon as he heard her side of the story, I'm representing her, bro. She's hurt. She's hurt, bro. I don't play that. I went, I went to, her, to him. I said her story. Complete shock. He was in complete shock. He don't know. I'm telling you my perspective. He was so confused on the things that she said. Legitimately confused oh, on the things no. that she said. Everything like that, right? So, as the one in between all this shit. Bro, she has a rape back. kit. I said, yo, Ka. Somebody's. There's two sides of the stories now, Ka. Who are you going to handle it with? The police. Okay. When she when she um she asked for um in a screenshot, she asked for her name, she asked for his name automatically. I told my team, I said, yo, team, here's his name, give it to her. That is the reason why she got it in the first place. Okay? That is the reason why she got it in the first place. And let me tell y'all something right now. All my viewers, do not go to her profile and do not harass this young lady, bro. Do not, until facts are proved, until shit is shit, bro, like, and shit is going on, and the police are handling this, and this is why I didn't want to come to the internet, bro. This was never my intentions. I was just talking to the police and my, my legal team. When it hit the internet, I wake up here hours later. Remember, I'm five hours ahead. When I woke up to this shit, I said, what the fuck am I seeing on the internet right now? Okay, and I'm muted. My mom is calling me, bro. Okay? Sister is calling me. It's not a joke, okay? You feel me? Nigga, look. So, um, I automatically said, yo, there's two sides of this. Let me go, let me go ahead and take this up with the police. I'm not doing none of this, okay? Our shit is getting posted to the internet. Chat. I'm on the phone helping her. I'm on the phone. Bro, trying to his see side of the story is important as far as it see. pertains to like what I, I, I information he had about the person, like, the perpetrator. Like, like just the shit that I'm trying to see. The what's fact going that he said on, like man. there's two sides of the I story is so talk. damaging, dude. Okay? Holy shit. I, I, I couldn't talk. They gave me the green light. That's why I'm so happy I'm able to go live right now, man. And I just want to make sure this shit is served. Like, I want to make his, sure this his shit side of the story matters only as far as like. Okay. What level of knowledge he has about two the person prior? Stories. There's two stories to this. Or if he's talking about like right. his lack of involvement I'm, I'm originally. I'm not defending That's it. anybody. I'm not defending anybody. I don't know what happened. I am in the same boat as my viewers. I'm in the same boat as y'all. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I, but he's let me not go ahead even, and say not, something. I don't think he's doing the it deliberately. That's associated it's charitable. with me. No matter how charitable I am, I don't think he's doing it deliberately, but he's not doing a good job presenting this information. You feel what I'm saying? Never was this, he's not that type of person. I'm not saying shit didn't happen. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not defending nobody because, bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone, bro, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I know how he looked. Scars on the face. Dreads. You feel me? That's for the law. If That's for the law to handle, though. That's none of y'all business at all. None of y'all business at all. Okay? Now... 
I'm here to help. I'm, I'm here to see what the facts is. Because whatever the facts is, bro, I swear to God, I'm, bro, I haven't spoke to him. So, like, the legal team told him not to talk to the lady, but the legal team didn't say anything about talking to the perpetrator, potentially? Like, that's crazy. You okay, know what I mean? He immediately went and talked to the guy. To was when in, I, I, I said, yo, bro, I need your name. Gave it to me instantly. Gave me his name instantly. That's the reason why she got it. Gave me the name instantly. Everything was processed instantly. You feel me? That was the last time. Ever since then, I've completely stepped back. The only person who I've been in conversation with was the law. My lawyers. My legal team. Nobody else. Nobody else whatsoever. Okay? All right. Boom. After that, got his name, gave it to my team, they gave it to her. That's the reason why she got it, okay? Um, also, um, let me go ahead and say something real quick. Uh, I seen her uh, go to, you know, spread awareness on what's going on on a Twitch little interview yesterday. I just wish that, I just wish that she trusted me in this process of helping her that she didn't jump the gun on the internet. Because, bro, when things get to the internet... A lot of shit gets formulated, but I don't blame her. I don't know what she's going through mentally. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what she's going through mentally. All I can promise to, to her is that I will make sure shit is right. I will make sure. I don't know what happened. I just see, t I'm just hearing two sides of the stories. I don't know what happened. I'm here to figure it out. Again, with the law. I'm not here to go on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And I have people dragging my name, bro. They're dragging it, bro. I... Okay, I keep seeing people saying I didn't reply. The reason why I didn't reply is because I wasn't legally able to. My team told me no. That's why I'm replying now. Please be on the same page as me. Okay, please. I'm, 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 in, I'm trying to salute. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, thing. She used the term setup, you know, um, which is what got me like, what, what, like, hurt. It hurt me, bro, because I don't play like that, bro. Set up, like, I don't play like that. But I seen that she retracted yesterday and she was saying shit like she's not even trying to blame me and this and the third and all of that and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? She's not even blaming me. Okay? So, boom. All right? Um, let me see what else. Um, uh, the reason why I was kind of disappointed in the internet thing was because um, I have it right here. Um, it, it not only shatters my name falsely, I'm, I'm in a new year. I put everything aside. I have a subathon next month. Fuck that. Everything's aside right now. Until I feel like I'm on a good track onto solving what the fuck happened. Everything's aside. I'm not even playing no more, bro. This is serious. My name is now in the mix. Okay? The new year just started. I don't... This is the things I don't want to see happen, man. This is the things I don't want to see happen. Now, chat. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this right here. I wish. I wish I can tell you how things played out in my perspective, how things went along in my perspective. Dude, this looks... But you guys have to trust me on this. This I looks terrible me. because he I doesn't have, like, the, the proper media training. He doesn't... Else no one sat him down and was like, bro, talking about your subathon after a rape is going to look awful for you? Like, is no one else. telling him how this is going to look like, optics-wise? is involved. Like, I haven't spoken to her. Even if you don't care about it from the perspective of, like, the victim, right? Like, you should care about it from the perspective of optics, where you, like, to have to recognize that to talking about your subathon in, in a situation right where, like, a rape, a brutal, gruesome rape everybody, that the victim has, like, described this. has happened is just so bad. I'm telling y'all to trust me, bro. Whatever happens, bro, whatever happens, I'm going to make sure y'all are updated if I can. Okay? I don't play like this. All right? I don't play like this. If he's in the wrong, he's in the wrong. You're done. I know he's talking about it like You're he's done. canceling if everything she's and he's in the caring wrong. about this. Like, this she's is the most the, important thing in his life. Some, you feel what I'm saying? Which it should be. Everybody would know. At a point of time, <sighs> the whatever's in the dark going to come out to the light. I've been praying. I've been praying. I've been holding my composure. It's a lot for me, bro. It's a lot. I got a lot to focus on. Do I believe him? I mean, I don't think me, he, like, I don't think he like set this up. If that's what you so think, I do believe that element. My name right now do I think shit, that he? Uh, do I think that he's that confused, want. scared about his own Max personal uh, shit, like, brand? Bro, yes, I do crazy, think bro. that. I could, I could, I could literally tell y'all niggas right here, heart to heart. No, as soon as this shit is over with, as soon as I can get an update, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep communicating to my lawyers. I'm gonna say, yo, 
Can I get an update? Can I get an update? Please. Like his title literally update? says like clearing my name and addressing everything. I will. Okay. Let me make. Let me see. Um. Yeah. It, R word. R A P E. That's the whole thing about this. Um. For those who don't know. And um. Yeah. I'm not. No. Um, about the reason thing. for not uh, giving the called? name to the police. Let me go ahead and say after. this. I mean, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Uh, we'll see. Um. The conclusions. I already said I understand why people are jumping to conclusions because I What was the spotted. scratches on his face um, thing? I'm taking this very serious because my name is on this. Okay, my name is on this, and this is an empire I built from the ground up, and I'll be damned. I'll be fucking damned if my shit was to fall over right now, man. I'll be damned. You will ne you never hear me in nothing, bro. You never hear me in nothing. Just know I'm not communicating to nobody but the my but but the the um the uh what's it called the uh legal team my the police um i'm gonna go ahead and address this real quick um and please once again do not hate on her please do not go to her nothing bro she literally has every she can feel however she want bro it's her perspective she can feel however she want um oh right she now, identified I can't the perpetrator from facial scars okay got i was it. told that I, I was really told that Nobody was supposed to be saying nothing because it's an open investigation and it's now like a case. Um, so like I I I almost told that. Also, um, I seen her 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 tweet about um for all of Jiggy friends, um, and constant that fans threatening me, threatening to kill me. Um, fans I can't speak for. Friends I can. My friends haven't said anything. I can say that. My friends that I know, I'm not talking about the one who got accused or nothing like that. My friends that I know, everybody. That I be around, Punga, everybody, everybody, everybody that y'all know who I'm associated with, they out of this. They don't know nothing. They, I haven't spoke to them. I haven't spoke to anybody. That's what I'm trying to say, gang. Why you follow his ugly ass? Because I have nothing to hide. I, I never deny he's not my friend. He's still being followed. Don't you think if I had unfollowed him, it would have been a little skeptical? Until facts come out. Until I'm hearing shit, bro. I'm on the same. That's what y'all understand. I'm on the same page as y'all, bro. I'm on the same page as y'all, bro. You feel me? I know everybody seen anything. Appreciate everybody who was um oh, checking up on me. That's not good. And shit like that. I know I wasn't able to talk to y'all, but I see I see the calls and shit like that. I'm in the UK right now. I don't got no fucking my Wi-Fi is ass. Everything's ass. You feel me? Um, I'll keep y'all updated though. Appreciate y'all, bro. And you know, I, I'm taking all the heat. I'll take it. I'll take all the heat right now, cause you know she got to the internet first. Um, and that's fine. Jovi, I'm not mad at you. I'm not, I don't want you to think nothing is wrong. I'm good. You're good, man. You're good. We're going to, we're going to solve this. Um, please, I hope, I hope you're doing your part on really going to like, you know, people shit. But by the time it's, it's, uh, it's all said and done, you'll be, it's, shit is already on the road. Like so, you went to the internet um, first. When I'm able to talk to you, I'm able to talk to you, to, to, um, get both sides. When I'm able to talk to any of them who's involved, I'm here to talk. I don't want y'all to think. Guys, please. It, I it's just like an I'm awful thing to say, guy. dude. I beg y'all, please, please, bro. Dude, someone, come on, someone, bro. Y'all know me. Someone should have told Kai not to know have me. this happen. Just like a pre-canned statement, that if anything, at that. Feel me, like, oh, he wasn't responding because he was trying to cover shit up. No, that's why I'm on here right now. Shit getting He has addressed. so many notes, and he didn't shit refer to them solved. once. I, there I has will to be good notes in there. I will let y'all know very soon. I love y'all so much. Um. I'll try to update you. I'll communicate with my legal team to see what I can do and what I can't do. And just know, shit definitely going to get solved. For sure. For sure. I see a lot of new people in here. Um, I'm going to holler at y'all. All right? The VOD will stay up. Keep this VOD up for anybody who wants to see it and all that. Um, can say, do not post it on my second channel. They can just come here and watch it. I don't want people to think that I'm going for like a money grab or nothing like that. I love y'all so much. We're going to get to the bottom of this, bro. It's a rough start. Um, I'll update y'all on something thought right now because that shit is pushed aside. I'm going to highlight y'all. I love y'all. I'll see y'all later, man. Okay. Um, I will look at the, uh, the, the actual, the events that unfolded leading up to this. I was going to look at it earlier today, but I didn't have any time. But <clears throat> that was pre-recorded. No, he literally said this not pre-recorded. Like, he actually said that's not pre-recorded. Look, I, I don't think that's... I think most people don't have a pretty good uh, way of addressing things like this. Uh, they're not like, it's the same thing that we talk about with Andrew Tate. It's the same thing we talk about with respect to misogyny in general. 
It is a it is a societal conditioning uh, problem for the most part. Okay, um, but as far as as far as the the response goes, like this is not good a- at all. It was really bad. It was so fucking bad. It was. Um, like I, I don't know Kai that well, but everything I've seen of him, everything I, I, I've seen him do, I, I think that he is, uh, I, he doesn't strike me as the type of person who's a bad person, but that like everything he said thus far in that conversation was definitely slanted uh, firmly in the middle in a situation like this, when there's a perpetrator that is like literally a perpetrator that is literally at fault. And not, not only is he at fault according to the witness, but like straight up the witness went and got a rape kit. Like if your if your point, everyone has a right to, uh, uh, to talk about their level of involvement in a situation and Kai being a third party, right? Kai being a third party person in this circumstance, uh, he has a right to certainly uh, clear his perspective, but that's a secondary. That is a completely secondary consideration. The primary consideration is always going to be about addressing what uh, the victim has said and, and offering care and consideration to the victim. Even if the other person is your, uh, even if the other person is your friend. Now um, there is, a third party who was blamed for orchestrating it, Magic Afro says, I understand that it, given the circumstances, it, it's, it's reasonable to bring up your side. It's just that, like, the way to go about this is basically to say, the way to go about this, if this was Aiden, Hassan would be going crazy on him right now. What do you mean? Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna actually look at their uh, chat right now because chat is like trying to probably drive. Uh, like chat is probably just trying to get like a angry take out of me. You know what I mean? Just like uh, so they can clip it and post it on LSF. What he did did not show consideration to the victim to the degree that it should have. Okay, that's just my assessment of the situation. Okay, stop trying to fucking farm clips off of it. He didn't. Especially given the detailed involvement from the victim and the severity of the crime. Okay? That's just, that is, that is what's going on. Um, the fact that he also, and I'm going again, I'm going along with what his statements were versus what the victim has said, Jovi. It seems like, um, here. On January 1st, 2023, I was raped at a party, trigger warning, by the way, uh, by a complete stranger. I was invited to this party by someone I thought to be a friend. She's referencing Kai. I asked for help and it's not going anywhere. So I've decided to take it to social media. His name is Jigui Sack. Okay. Um, This is on January 5th. This happened. I mean, this information came out yesterday. Uh, this is the person. One, I was invited by Kai Sinat. When I decided to leave, he told me I'd be safer upstairs since I was drunk and nobody would bother me. However, after I fell asleep since I thought I was safe due to there being security and Kai's confirmation, however, I wasn't safe. Jigui Sack walked into the room where I was asleep and brutally raped me to the point where I bled. When I woke up to see him still on top of me, I called him out as a rapist and he told me that I was in his bed and that's why he did what he did. I was in shock. I called, texted my friend, Kai, who invited, but I got no answer. And I was told by the rapist that he left, which I found out later to be a lie. He told me we can just keep it a secret and pretend nothing happened, but I was already traumatized by then. I asked him if he at least used protection, which he then showed me a dirty condom and said, yes, a skins condom. Now I have the medication for a month to make sure I don't catch any STDs. As you all know, condoms only protect you from unwanted pregnancies and not STDs. I spent all day crying and processing what happened to me instead of enjoying my vacation in New York. At nighttime, I had dinner reservations, but I went to the emergency room instead as I was still in pain from what had happened to me. I described what the person looked like to my friend who had invited me, and he said he didn't know the person. However, after digging for a day, 
and a half, I found the person's Instagram and that they have been friends for, and that they had been friends for years. That's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't help me. That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. So, uh, because, uh, because Kai did not respond to her, she had to find, she had to filter this information, find it herself. And then of course, as the victim in this circumstance says, uh, when you find out that like, this is your friend. Okay. When you find out that like, this is the, the a person that you thought you were, you were friends with is not giving you this information when something horrible has happened to you. And then you turn around and then you turn around and say, that's your homie. I mean, uh, you turn around and find photos. Um, there's a video of the full combo as well. I, I saw the video. Okay. Did you what the fuck? I'm literally getting info as we speak. Are you fucking crazy? I knew what was going on. Question mark. Um, I described what the person looked like to my friend who had invited me and he said he didn't know the person. However, after digging for a day and a half, I found the person's Instagram and that they had been friends for years. Now, up to this level, Kai might not have known what had happened or that his friend had, you know, sexually assaulted someone. He might not have thought, okay, all things considered. He might not have thought that his friend was capable of such a thing, okay? I know everyone is going to immediately jump in my throat and jump down my throat and say, hey, shut the fuck up. You're wrong. They always know. Okay? But at this point, at this point, once it's established that it is your friend, his response is supposed to not be like, oh, I knew what was going on. I mean, I guess like he immediately went to, I guess he immediately went to like defend himself. Okay? Okay? Um, we'll look at the entire text in a second, okay? It's been five days since the incident, and I haven't been able to eat or sleep properly. I haven't been able to socialize or go to work. This is all I think about 24-7. I'm not looking for attention. All I want is the justice I deserve. I want to stop him from hurting anyone else, okay? There were more, there were more, uh, uh, there, there were more details, I believe, on her Instagram. Okay? Weren't there more posts on her Instagram or something? Like, there were other tweets, I think. I want to see the entire phone conversation, because she posted all of it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here, yeah, I saw this. Okay. Okay, what you find out. Um, she's asking Kai on Sunday, which I, what day is Sunday at that point? Sunday would be the first. So it's new year's. Uh, it's the first day of the new year. They're having this conversation at Sunday at 4 PM. So she has like informed, I guess at this point, uh, Kai of what has happened and she's looking for who did it. Okay. So Sunday it's the first Kai says you good. She says, not really. I want to know who it was. So implying that there was a previous conversation that took place where she informed Kai. She Im informed Kai that she had been sexually assaulted. She'd been raped. Can you send me the Instagram of the guy who checked up on me, please? No response from Kai. A couple hours later, three hours later, she sends question marks and says, this, is sh this shit is serious. I'm not trying to be annoying or anything, but I'm legit traumatized. I don't care if it's one of your friends and you don't want to throw them under the bus. Doesn't matter to me. He did what he did and he has to pay for that. Kai responds, hell no, not one of my friends. I'm still looking into it. She says, okay. And by the way, this is uh, like the reason why she came out to social media in this way. Uh, this is her uh, statement is because she felt like Kai was working to protect uh, his friend instead of her, and she had like falsely assumed that she was friends with Kai. That's her assessment. So she says, that's him. Sends him a photo of a photographer from the night of. This is Monday. Found him in this picture. So she, did, she took an entire day. 
She took an entire day uh, after Sunday all the way into Monday where uh, Kai's not responding. She says, going to be at the hospital all night, so just hit me up whenever you're ready to respond because I'll be up Monday morning. Kai uh, texts back, says, I'm just waking up. Are you good? Doing a rape kit at the hospital. Can you please help me identify this guy that I sent you a pic of? Because it's him. Please don't tell him anything. Like, don't tell him I'm at the hospital or anything. I don't want him to have time to make up a story or be on alert in case they need to investigate. It's better he does not know. This photo of him. Uh, Kai replies, it's him. She says, yes, that's the guy. Who is that? Kai doesn't reply fast enough. She says, okay, whatever, Kai. Kai says, I'm in a meeting currently. I'm trying to find out now. Hold on. She says, no, it's dead ass him. So at this point, it's understandable that like, especially if she's like figured out, especially if she's like, she, she just feels like he's not giving uh, anything back to her. You know what I mean? So at that point, she starts, notice, like, notice that she starts, like, she implies it here originally, but then she starts basically saying, like, it seems like you're trying to protect your friend. But partially because, like, partially because, like, you know, she's putting this information forward and he's not um, responding. I found it, and yes, it's him. I'm not slow, and I remember. Me and you have lots of mutuals. And they can all vouch for me. Uh, I'm not a liar. This type of shit don't ever happen to me. Is that the guy you sent to check in on me? No. The guy I sent to check on you, checked up on you, and left. I literally seen it with my eyes. You opened the door halfway, asked if he was good, then came downstairs. Okay. Well, that guy went in after. Kai says, I'm in the same boat as you. I don't know everyone at the party, so you, don't, so you have to bear with me. She said, you're not in the same boat as me. I just had to take mad medication to make sure he ain't give me no STDs. A man who I don't even know and don't find attractive in the slightest. I've been digging through all your friends' pictures to look for this man. It's taken me an entire day and a half. I had plans in New York for the weekend, and I had to stop to do this. You could have made the process a whole lot easier, but you didn't help me. That's your friend, and I know I'm not, so you can defend a, ra so you can defend a rapist. I'll handle this. What the fuck are you talking about is what Kai says. She says, I'm so mad right now. You don't even understand. This is sick. I didn't deserve this. I did nothing to you guys. Ain't nobody defending shit. I just told you I'm about to find everything out, and that's what I've been doing. Like She says, like, why me? Why are you saying you guys? See, I don't like that you including me into something that I'm trying to figure out. Don't start doing that. What the fuck? She sends a photo of Kai and the, the perpetrator together and says, that's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't helped me. That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. Kai says, yo, what the fuck? I'm literally getting info as we speak. Are you fucking crazy? I knew what was going on. Jovi, I don't like that at all. All jokes aside, that not, that not cool. That's fucked up. She says, lol, I'm the crazy one. The victim in the whole situation. Okay. Kai says, you just sent me pics of the person and now I'm about to get both sides. I didn't know who was who. I didn't know who to look for. And now you pulled up pics. If you want me to help you, you can't do shit like this. What the fuck? So at that point, he just like, it seems like he just either as a consequence of like wanting to, again, defend his friend or because he feels like he is now being pulled into this, uh, decides to go into full-blown defense mode, which is, again, not good, okay? It's not good because that's not how you deal with a victim. It's not good because that's not, even from a fucking optics point of view, that is not a good thing to do. Because now, when you respond this way in this incredibly defensive capacity and say, I'm about to get both sides... That makes it seem as though, that makes it seem as though, uh, you know, you're in defense of the perpetrator, okay? No matter what, which it feels like, it feels like he is. I'm not on some cool shit right now. Like, do you not understand what just happened to me? I'm literally traumatized and you're showing absolutely no sympathy. And she's right. He wasn't. I have every right to feel and react the way I'm reacting. Like, I'm going to give you details so you know how serious it is. Your friend raped me in my ass, too. Fuck. In my ass, too, so I've been bleeding ever since. Do you understand how embarrassing and how dirty I feel? And you know what I said. 
You know what he said when I asked him why he did what he did? He said because I was in his bed. That's the reason why he raped me, because I was asleep in his fucking bed. That's his stupid-ass excuse. I don't sleep around, and to be honest, if I wanted to have sex, I would have slept with you or some shit. I don't know who this man is. This is a complete stranger to me. Since I don't think you understand that I was raped, this is not something that was consented. I didn't want him. I never flirted. Wait, hold on. This last part is, like, hard to read. But I read it this morning. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, fucking Twitter video is so bad. I had to like literally play it and then and pause it. This is not something I was consented, didn't want him, never flirted, didn't do shit to deserve this, but sleep. That's all I did. I gave you a description right away and asked you to help me. Then I sent a picture from the party that the photographer took and you just kept on ignoring me. You know he fit the description. Like, come on, you could have really helped me and you let me do this shit all on my own. His legal team told him not to talk to her guaranteed. Yeah, I believe that. I do. But also, like, I don't know. We'll see. Did Kai send her to that room specifically? What the fuck? So, I best Kai's really incompetent with this whole thing. She did everything people want victims to do, and she still gets so much shit. It's so sad. Yeah, no, literally. She she did so much more. The expectation for victims in this circumstance is so fucking high. It's such a high bar to clear for people to be like, okay, maybe I'll believe the victim. And no matter what happens, people still don't do it. Okay? Um, from what I understand, from what I understand... She says, I'm sorry to Kai, but I'm not the one who created this mess. I'm sorry to have accused him over text of knowing what happened to me, since that's just an assumption on my part. Even though I've been shown absolutely no sympathy from his side, I sympathize with him. However, I will never defend a rapist. I don't care if they're my family. I mean, look at this, dude. Even in this, even in this situation, when you can see, like, for legal reasons or not, she's like, she's done everything. She's done everything correctly. And... I mean, when a situation is like this open and shut, when a situation has like this, I don't know. I mean, she went and got a rape kit. Like, she went and she got a rape kit. Went to the hospital. She had injuries. She went and she got a fucking rape kit. Like, that's not even a requirement, okay? But like, people have a really high bar. This is a serious accusation, okay? And, uh, and a lot of people's expectation is even infinitely higher than the accusation itself with respect to, like, clearing it, mostly because people just don't want to immediately believe uh, victims in any meaningful circumstance. But at this point, getting a rape kit ain't no fucking walk in the park. It's re-traumatizing if you know what goes on for those tests. Yeah. A rape kit is what you go and get at the hospital after you've been sexually assaulted, raped. Did they like literally fucking swab the insides of your vagina? It's also like a traumatizing. It's also a, a, a traumatizing experience in and of itself, according to victims that go through. It's like literally physical evidence that someone has raped you. It's like re-entering the the same process. It has the capacity to also like, you know, basically get you know has the capacity to reignite uh, the, those feelings that you had those traumatizing feelings it, it, it is like it, it feels like you're you're being violated they take photos they they swab all over your vagina they look at your cervix like they look at everything and also one of the most fucked up parts about it is that there are thousands of fucking rape kits that never even get looked at in this country, for the record. 
There is a massive rape kit backlog. Yes, they examine for tears and signs of forced entry. Yeah, over 100,000 rape kits are in a backlog and have never been examined, never been looked at. So, in a situation like this, let's say Kai is conducting an investigation on his own side. I think you good is the first time Kai was like seemingly sympathetic to the victim. And judging by these text message conversations, it just seems like it just goes away after he figures out, after she openly states who the person is and starts saying, you know this person and you're defending him. Because I get where she's coming from. It comes across like, uh, it comes across like he is, uh, at the very least, like it doesn't matter if his intentions were not to defend him or not from her side, from her perspective, it's totally valid and understandable for her to think that, uh, you know, they're friends and that's the reason why he's not revealing this information to her. Like, this is where, this is where she sends him the photo. You know what I mean? And he says, it's him. Implying that, like, I assume he knows, right? Like, I, he, he recognizes who this person is. Some additional info on our IG stories. The last story shows a text from someone else at the party calling Kai and his friends horny predators. For everyone asking me why I didn't do a rape kit, I did now leave me alone. I'm not trying to place blame on anyone other than the perpetrator who's Dijui, uh, Jigui Sack. However, I told my story as it happened and I didn't want to leave any parts out. I don't believe Kai is to blame. However, he was involved. Whether you agree or not is just fact. He is the only person I knew at this party, and he's the only one who told me to go upstairs where everything occurred. I don't need uh, I don't need Kai for attention as I get enough of it on my own, and this wouldn't be the way I would try to get it. I wish him the best, but I will not be silenced. I will not choose to exclude him out of my story for his protection. I'm choosing to protect myself this time and say what happened exactly as it did. And then those are the text messages. I'm not suing anyone. Everyone can keep their money. I just want the rapist in jail. I don't want his clout. I could care less. After this gets handled, I'm deactivating my account. Oh, shit. I don't want to show this. Uh, blood from the day of. I was not on my period. This is from the brutal force. Hours later, I was still bleeding. Holy fuck, bro. She literally posted a photo of, like, bloody tissues. Like, you don't need to do... Bro, that is an insane amount of fucking proof that people are demanding. Especially at a certain point, you got to realize, like, these people don't care about the proof, no matter what you say. They are reacting to shapes and colors and, and uh, their preconceived notions of how society works with respect to, like, how women are. Okay, no matter how wrong they are, is what is motivating them to not believe someone. But it's insane. I feel like there's going to come a point where like you, you're, you're going to be like, this is the social security number of the person. Here's video footage of the fact that like, uh, you know, I was raped and motherfuckers still are going to be like, nah, that's fake. I went to the doctor January 1st at nighttime. I was discharged the next day. Posted my ID in case y'all want to say that's not my name. I don't really care what negative things people have to say about me, but I know what happened to me, so I will have evidence to prove it, so I will. Uh, sexual assault is an unwanted sexual activity. Penetration, incest, human sexual trafficking, sexual harassment. They're saying, oh, sorry, this is like, this is just patient, patient discharge instructions. More almighty, bro, shut up. You a hoe, clear cut. Even if you, even if what you say is true, how are you that drunk? It's not like liquor make 
R worded like the fuck you say you not this person, but you got super drunk when you arrive. Seems like you've been there before. You a hoe, a smut, an attention seeker, and you just whack bitch. No man will ever take you serious in life. You don't. You're gonna die alone. This is not about the rape. This is just about you post prerogative pictures as if it's a porn site. Then try to play innocent for the world like you don't get trained on the regular. What happened? The money wasn't enough that day. Clout chasing bitch. Bro, there are so many subhuman fucking loot. I mean, this dude needs to go to jail, honestly. Jesus fucking Christ. This is why people don't speak up. Damn, girl, I remember seeing you the whole night. I hope you get your justice you deserve. I've been on Kai and his friends for months, and they're horny predators who can't take no for an answer, so I 110% believe you. Be strong. Do you mind if I post this? I can block out your name if you prefer. Thank you for reaching. Of course you can. What breaks in someone's mind to put that shit in writing and hit send? Dude, you, I mean, I think a lot of you... A lot of you have not... A lot of you have, have not interacted with, like, truly deranged psychopaths like this on the internet, and that's a good thing for you. Like, I'm happy that you haven't. Okay. But given all of these details, given all this information, for Kai to be like, there's both sides of this story, and I'm waiting for all the information just like you are, is still kind of like... Because, like, the implication there is what? That, like, your friend is not capable of it, right, let's say, right? Your friend is not capable of rape. Sure, let's say you're, I'm going to be as charitable as possible to Kai in this circumstance. Even if you believe that your friend is not capable of rape because you've known him for a very long time or whatever, okay? How are you going to fucking... What, so what do you think happened there? Like, that she literally... And I'm playing devil's, de uh, devil's advocate, so shut the fuck up. I'm not, like, defending anybody here. What do you think happened? That, like, she literally uh, faked it? She wanted it? And then went and got a rape kit. Like, that's crazy. For Kai to come out of this, if you are a Kai fan, do you believe her? Yes, I believe her. What Kai should have done on his broadcast was basically go live and say, look. Yes, I believe her. I don't think she like opened up a stab wound to post a fucking photo of her bleeding. I, for what the way that, the way that he should have responded to this is on New Year's Eve, I invited a bunch of people to this party and one of my friends that I invited, Jovi Pena, was sexually assaulted, raped by another person who I know, another person who I've grown up with. I immediately went to the authorities, okay, uh, when I found out, if that is the truth, and given the circumstances that given the circumstances at hand and how high profile and the severity of the crime this was, the, I also consulted my legal team. My legal team told me to not talk to the victim, which was wrong of me to not do so. This might have caused some confusion between me and the victim who is the most important part of the story. It was wrong of me not to immediately give as many details as possible to the victim who I care deeply about, who I'm very sorry that something awful and tragic happened to her. For the time being, I will no longer talk about this matter. This is a criminal investigation, and I hope that you know, the responsible party is uh, met with justice. Maybe some brief uh, takes on, you know, rape kit backlogs and how traumatic it is. And that's it. 
That's what you should have done. You should have just wrote that out ahead of time. Sure, if you it, there's got to be someone in the PR team, someone in the legal team that tells you the correct things to say. That is the correct response. Maybe even apologize to your fans and say, I'm sorry uh, to all of you. I feel as though I have failed you. As, uh, but more importantly than what I've done in this circumstance, I feel like I failed the victim and that was wrong of me. It was because I was scared. But my fear in that circumstance is nothing like the trauma that Jovi withstood on the night of New Year's Eve. That's it. No mention of, no mention of like other shit. I know he was trying to talk about how he was taking this incredibly seriously, okay? By bringing up his subathon. Okay? No mention of the both sides of the situation. Okay? None of that. That's crazy. No mention of his empire crumbling, even though I do understand why uh, a young black kid would feel so happy in a moment only to have it like feel like it's being taken away from him. Okay? I get it. But ultimately, when you're a media personality, okay, this is, this is very different. You're, you, you recognize that you have, uh, uh, you know, a lot to lose. Question mark black. What do you mean? Yes. It matters. Faze Kaysom. People farming content over the situation is fucking disgusting. This is a song guy needs to get a fucking life and whoever else thinks they're a detective. No one knows what happened, including Kai. So wait till the facts are about turning your back on and whack people. I'm not. I'm assessing what is going on adequately. I'm not turning my back on anybody. If anything, I'm saying here's what is the right way to deal with a situation like this. But ultimately, this is just like any other circumstance. By the way, leave it up to fucking Face Clan with another incredible take. This shit happens to Miskiff, I talk about it. This shit happens in other industries, I talk about it. This isn't about farming drama. This is, these are people's real lives that we're talking about. But more importantly than that, More importantly than that, I mean, this is like what I say. You're just saying the facts. That's it. You're barely even giving interpretation or opinion. It's just what the facts are. Exactly. Like. How many times have I talked positively about Kai Sinat from the jump. I was very happy to see him succeeding. Very happy to see him thrive. I like a lot of the AMP boys. I think they're funny. I think they're great. I think they're entertaining. I don't, it's not like this is something that is exciting. Okay. Christ. You're right. Kai's a 21 year old, though, would have been so shocked by all this, too, and probably not mentally equipped to react in the way that one should. Yeah, but like, he's a media person. 
Don't don't want to accuse someone without info, but also don't want to rule things out. It's possible that he was aware that someone was someone was going up, even if it was just try to hook up. Maybe the part of the investigation due to the way delayed reaction. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't say that like Kai Sanat is directly involved in this circumstance. I never said any of those things. I didn't speculate on it whatsoever. I'm just simply stating that he did not handle it. He did not handle the situation. Nor his immediate reaction was good. Because it did not. Because it did not. Deal with the severity while taking care of. Chad is saying 21 is an adult now, making note of that. I mean, come on, nice bathroom. You know what's going on. But th then again, this chat is also hypersensitive, and they say 21 is an adult whenever any 21-year-old fucks up, and not just because Kai is black. No, Kai came out and, and spoke on the matter. We watched the VOD earlier before I uh, got to this point. Um, this was a part that I didn't see in the, uh, in the text message that she released, but be, but he told me you left and my dumb ass believed him. We're going to handle everything. Don't jump start calls. I'm not. I just want to know who the fuck took advantage of me. Like how, wait, is this on her Instagram? I want to see this. I want to see these uh, text messages. Wait, is there, oh, there's not, is there more photos? Oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. I was invited by Kai Sinat. We saw this. I read all this. Oh, but he said, but he, okay. But he told me you left his, and my dumb ass believed him. It's him. Yes, that's the guy. Yeah. Like I said, I think that. She just posted another statement on IG two minutes ago. What, on her story? Because it's not showing up. Maybe it's on her story. Saw that. The blood. The responses. Oh, here. One, grateful that they are finally cooperating with law enforcement as well. As I filed a report and I did everything I needed to do within 24 hours and had no way of being able to get a hold of the rapist to investigate and prosecute him any further. Grateful that now, after I post on social media, it's being handled. Via previous conversations I already posted with Kai, I was never told that they knew who was involved, even though I kept asking as to tell investigators and get the justice I needed. This is why social media is so helpful in my shoes as I don't have a fan base to protect and defend. Now that everything is public, things are being done to help me get justice. You guys have heard my story too. You guys have heard my story and everything I've been 100% transparent, even answering questions to people who are constantly blaming me because I understand that people are skeptical. However, I have nothing to hide. Like, dude, it's what this is something I see a lot lately I think more so than before in the aftermath of the me too movement I know that like the the point everyone misconstrued believe women and we're like oh believe women means like women never have the capability of lying you're a fucking idiot like no that was never the case no one ever fucking said that believe women just means don't reflexively disbelieve women okay but also on like I've I've never seen so many people that come out with rape accusations have receipts that are so fucking long with like an understanding and empathy for people that literally are disbelieving them uh, when they have at least the courage to d describe the most traumatic moment that they've lived. It's crazy. And this is not the one time like this is they're They're not combative. They're understanding like a lot of the latest couple of uh, instances of, of this sort of thing. 
that we've looked at, at least on this fucking broadcast, has shown so many people behaving like the perfect victim. Like, the expectation that society places upon women that come out about sexual assault is that they have to be the perfect victim. Okay? They have to be. And even when they are, motherfuckers still are like, no, you're a bitch, you're a whore, fuck you. It's crazy. Not only is she not only is she behaving this way, but also on top of that, like she still reserves empathy for other parties that may or may not be involved. She even owned up and said, I'm I, I I'm feel bad that I, you know, involved Kai in the way that I did. I don't know if he was like truly involved in the matter or not. I understand why he was defensive. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. It's, it's actually wild, and yet pe people still are like, nope, not going to be charitable here. Kai sent her a picture of a used condom to show the dude used protection. Think about the steps that led him up to doing that. Wait, no, that didn't happen. What the fuck are you talking about? No, she asked if the dude, what? Why is it that people behave like this? Where they No, Kai never did that. No. How does this happen where people just so quickly make shit up <laughs> about a situation? No, the dude who did it was like, oh, yeah, I used a condom and, like, showed her a dirty condom that he had used. But it's not, how can this be telephone if I'm on the motherfucking phone, man? People are like, oh, people are just playing a game of telephone. It's like, no, you're on the phone with me. This isn't telephone where, like, I said something and then someone heard. We are just now looking at all of the events that took place. No, it just means you, you can't hear, okay? That's, that's what that fucking means, I think. Yeah. Jovi said that the assaulter showed her a condom, Dirty Skins one. So she had to get an antivirals and bacterials to combat possible STDs. Yes. <sighs> People blame me. I understand people are skeptical. However, I have nothing to hide. You have heard my story. Now, why haven't we heard Richie Jiggy speak up? Even if it's a lie, so people can see through you, being in shock just isn't an excuse. Isn't an enough excuse to see him as innocent? Because as soon as I awoke to see him on top of me, I was also in shock. And when I told him that he raped me, he understood exactly what the fuck I said. So this is all contradicting. Of course, a rapist will never publicly admit he's wrongdoings. Uh, especially when he knows it's being pursued. However, I do have faith that I will get the justice I deserve. This truly is being investigated correctly. But how would a person of a stature be able to handle such a situation for the first time? I admit the way he handled it was wrong, but how would he have exactly handled it? It's just a simple content creator. Please explain. I, I just did. I did literally um, before like five minutes ago, I think. Pretty much. If you go back in the VOD, you will see it. The answer is relatively simple. Uh, it's a very complicated situation, and it's a crime. But what you're supposed to do is always have the utmost empathy for the victim. Okay? Recognize that this is not an easy thing to come out with. Okay? Have the utmost empathy for the victim. Even if you cannot comprehend that a friend of yours is capable of doing something like this, okay? You are, your, your goal as a good person, or if you're interested in, you know, showing to the rest of the planet that you're a good person, even if you're not a good person, but your interest is to show the planet that you are, what you're supposed to do is center the conversation around the victim, okay? And talk about what has happened, Talk about your actions. If you want to talk about your actions, take responsibility for them. Like, not informing the victim immediately about who the person was. Okay? Even if you knew. And openly admit that that was a mistake. And that you were basically misguided in doing so. But then you are cooperating with the law enforcement authorities. And that uh, the reason why you did it was because of your legal team. And it was a mistake to not do that. And own up to it and apologize for it. Okay? And then also 
I don't know. That's that. That's it. I mean, just talk about how it is. Uh, it's unimaginable that this like cruel thing happened, and that I hope that justice is served. Because ultimately, like, it's not like he was an accomplice. I don't think she even thinks that he's an accomplice, accomplice to this crime, right? But given his lack of reaction, given his lack of reaction originally, she basically said, you know, she basically said what she said. Like, in that moment, she was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're not like, it seems like you care more about your friend and covering for him. Now that I found out that he's your friend, this is beginning to make more sense. She literally said the Kai sent her to the room so he knew. No. Um, no. Someone came in to check on her. Okay? So it seems like there were two people. One is the person that Kai sent up there to check on her. And then the other person is the person who raped her. That's what it... That's what it seems like. At, at this point, Allegedly. I don't know. I did go to her Instagram story. That's the one. We read her latest Instagram story. That's it. She doesn't have another one up. We're literally, we were just checking it. This is the Instagram story. No, there is not another one. There is. I'm looking at it. It's not coming up. Oh, she did post another one. Said, all said regarding his stream that I just watched, I want to thank Kai for not downplaying my situation and for not denying or disapproving anything I've said. However, I'm not upset that Jigui's name, Jigui's name is not getting dragged like he stated. That is well-deserved, but he's not the only person in the situation to look bad. Rape isn't something to be proud of. I feel nothing but shame. That is a way bigger burden than anything either you have to deal with. Your reputation is what you're worried about, whereas I was worried about my well-being and livelihood. Men have proven to protect other men time and time again, especially when they're friends, and women, especially black women, are accused of being liars until proven innocent. I'm grateful that I finally am shown some sympathy in the situation, as it's been insanely hard on me. Hopefully, when he's proven guilty, I will get the apology I deserve. Good to see XUC with a good tag. XC claims Kai Sinat cares more about himself than friend's alleged vi uh, rape victim. Star is massively disappointed with his friend. Following a wave of leaked texts between Twitch star Kai Sinat, social media, what did he say? Despite he saying he's massively disappointed, XC maintains that he needs to see the full story became he can make a final judgment. Kai Sinat's friend, Jugi Sek, has yet to release a statement. Yeah, I mean, it, it's um, like it's not the the most responsible way of dealing with the situation like at all. Or bad. Fuck, man. You I, can chalk it up to his uh, bad legal advice that he got. If you if you believe that, okay. But ultimately, it's still it to be a lot of care and a lot of attention. Um, like I'm surprised to um, the things that are said like against him, rather than what is going on with the person that has suffered something. Okay, and to the point where there's no question mark here. Okay, the initial reaction here, like I said last time, is very important. Okay, there's a person who just does something through something dramatic, and they're saying, "Yo, this happened," and then, uh, uh, and then she says what she says about him, right? Like, uh, like he knew, and it's just massively disappointing that that that. Yeah, I mean, he calls her crazy, and then he jumps. Um, to the parts. Yeah, I mean, he's right. His, his assessment here is correct. In that moment, Kai felt more uh, like he was under attack falsely and did not recognize the severity of the crimes that had happened to another friend of his, this person, Jovi. Where it makes him he look bad. He got defensive. Do you just understand it? So basically, it just seems like... He cares automatically more and immediately about how I guess it would make him look or how this uh, 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 makes him. He was under attack. She accused him. Brother.
Please. Please. Understand. Empathy for a victim. When someone tells you that they were raped in excruciating detail. If you're a normal person, you're in and you know, not a hothead. Your normal response is supposed to be, okay, I'm I'm trying to teach it for you. Okay? Your normal response is supposed to be to get to the truth of the matter immediately and to help out the victim. Hustlers University does not have uh, an empathy course. That much is clear to me. Okay. Um, Makes them look bad or accuses them of something rather than um, going and asking more about... He did ask if she was okay, by the way. Like, Kai did. That was the first question he asked. Is that you good? On the first day of the new year, First thing Kai asked was, are you good? That was, <laughs> but that didn't continue is what I'm saying. That energy did not continue. That's not a lot, but that energy definitely did not continue throughout the phone conversation is my point. What's going on and uh, what happened or whatever and the priorities are misaligned. Okay, massive. This is this is just this this is just cooked up. That's that is a massively cooked up. Okay, and it, just terrible looks. But I didn't see the whole story yet, so we. Could... I don't believe he reported to the police. He would have receipts of this. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of XCC for having a a, a, a very going through it. Uh, mature assessment of the situation. There was a lack of energy and clear communication that left the victim probably feeling abandoned. Yes. I know, I saw her new story after Kai's stream. All said regarding his stream. All said regarding his stream that I just watched. I want to thank Kai for not downplaying my situation and for not denying or disproving anything I said. Wasn't her safety also was responsible for it? Am I missing something? I mean, to a certain degree, but... Uh, to a certain degree, absolutely. But ultimately, ultimately, I think like the worst parts about this, and I don't think that he is the um, like I don't I don't think that he is like a like a, the main perpetrator in this situation. Of course, he's not. Why would he be? After all. It's someone that he knows that uh, committed this act. No legal team misspelled his last name. It's Sec, not Sack. Yeah. Your attempt at a subtle Kai defense is seriously disappointing. Here, his legal team clearly tried delaying by not giving his name or obfuscating the situation with the name misspelling. Bro, I'm not like, I I'm not schizophrenic. And I'm just like not assuming that this is like conducted deliberately to to fucking attempt or delay uh, the 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 legal 
situation. But I'm glad you found the subtlety uh, in my criticisms of Kai. I'm glad you found the subtlety of my defense. It's cool. Are there other things that you would like to also make uh, up on your mind? Are, are, we, are we good? There's no excuse for not providing that information immediately, right? Yes, which is precisely why I said Kai should have apologized for that. Did you hear the words that came out of my mouth when I said Kai should have apologized for not immediately uh, revealing information at, uh, and, and or even saying, oh my God, that is my friend. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Do you remember when I said those things? Or are you having a schizophrenic panic attack where you're just decided to resort to making shit up on a fucking stream that you're currently watching as I'm not even done explaining the situation. Okay, we're done. We're not talking about me. I'm not involved in this. I already gave my fucking uh, assessment of the situation and I'm responding to fucking sock accounts at this point. I'm done. Apologize, bro. Kai went on stream like chat chat. I went straight to him like it was responsible after she asked his name and asked him not to tell him for good reasons. Like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, that's that. There is some stuff from Kai's stream that was like that was insane for sure. So boom, like this part. I said that, right? As soon as I got the information, chat, I went straight to my friend, the person that you see getting posted. I said, bro, what the fuck am I hearing right now, gang? Y'all know I can't, bro, when you, bro, I have a select few of people that I call my friend for real, for real, bro. I address them. I say, yo, bro, what the fuck is this? When you see, you can see the text messages. When she sent the photo, you can see me react as in, it's him? Like, I legit, I legit, I'm sorry. Right, he's admitting that he, he recognized the person in the photos and was shocked that it was his friend that was capable of doing this, which is what I said telling y'all what it is i know him so i'm i went to him immediately i said yo bro what the fuck you got going on what am i hearing right now bro you feel me what am i hearing right now about shit that's going on chat as she did specifically say don't ask don't talk to him as soon as he heard which you know her side of the story i'm representing her bro she's hurt She's hurt, bro. I don't play that. I went. To but she's basically saying. He's basically saying in the situation that like he took. Okay, there's two sides of the reading this. And what he's saying is that he took her. He took. Her accusation seriously. And immediately called out his friend is what he's saying. But if you don't agree with him and you think that he does not take the victim seriously, then you can understand it as he did not abide by the victim's request not to reveal any information to the perpetrator and went to him instead and immediately started to immediately started to fucking, uh, you know, conduct a plan to defend him or something. Person saying, can Kai come back from this? Bro, this shit is so fucking nasty, dude. Like, how the fuck are you a human, bro? Why is she posting sexy pictures on Insta after this? Is like, dude, you are like a violently a psychopathic human, dude. Straight up. I mean, actually, that's that's so crazy. Read X chat. I mean, read X's chat. Yeah, you probably saw her pinned post. What is this? I got a bonus. Bonus, bonus, bonus. I got a bonus points box. It was massive. What the fuck? What does that even mean?
Which could do more to help creators better handle these situations, bro. There's so much more that happens. Uh, like this, this happens regularly on the platform. There's like, there's other things that are easier to. Oh, you got. It's like, uh, okay. Oh, the channel point I have. Okay, listen. Regardless. <sighs> A big issue is that he said he had to ask and search for the guy's name, but in reality, he knew exactly who the guy was. So he lied to the victim. Um, no, that's he said that's him the first time she sent the photo, right? Isn't that the case? He didn't give a name though, but, but like he knew who it was and he didn't give her a name. That's true. He believed their accusations, but also his friend when he's when the guy said he didn't know what was going on and proceeded to look for different people, albeit is be too generous of an interpretation. Tyson has responded to the allegations made by Joey Pena this morning towards Jugu Isek. I mean, yes, they're going to rip into Kai, dude. This is a very bad way to respond to this. Okay? Like, it seems as though the victim is happy that he expressed sympathy to her by saying, like, it actually happened, and I take it seriously. Okay? But ultimately, most people that look at that are most likely not going to have a charitable approach. Especially if they don't have, uh, especially if they don't have an affinity towards Kai because they don't know Kai or anything like that, they're not. They're not going to be charitable. They're going to see someone who looks uh, uh, like they are defending their friend is what they're going to take. He definitely, with his reaction by not like reacting appropriately to her originally in the text messages, and then also not reacting appropriately in this circumstance because of the severity of the situation at hand. Is is making it worse for himself if he cared about like defending his own uh, honor, even beyond what we're talking about, uh, even beyond what we're talking about with respect to like uh, the the actions that took place. He says high school friends with suspect, but he empathizes with her and is not taking sides. There's now an active police investigation. Kai says he never said him and Jugu weren't friends. Jugu has denied the allegations made by Jovi. Kai said he stopped responding to her because his legal team advised him to. Jovi originally accused of Kai setting this all up. She then later retracted that statement. So I'm t I went to him immediately. I said, yo, bro, what the fuck you got going on? What am I hearing right now, bro? You feel me? What am I hearing right now about shit that's going on? Chat. As soon as he heard her side of the story, I'm representing her, bro. She's hurt. She's hurt, bro. I don't play that. I went, I went to her, to him. I said her story, complete shock. He was in complete shock. He don't know. I'm telling you my perspective. She Wait. asked for her name. She asked for his name automatically. I told my car. Somebody's. There's two sides of the stories now, car. Who are you gonna handle it with? The police. Okay. When she when she um she asked for um in a screenshot. She asked for her name. She asked for his name automatically. I told my team. I said, yo, team, here's his name. Give it to her. That is the reason why she got it in the first place. Okay? That is the reason why she got it in the first place. And let me tell y'all something right now. I think he means like his legal name and not uh, his Instagram profile. I think that's what, that's what he's talking about in this situation. Now, all my viewers. Do not go to her profile and do not harass this young lady, bro. Do not. Until facts are proved, until shit is shit, bro, like, and shit is going on and 
The police are handling this. And this is why I didn't want to come to the internet, bro. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be able to stop them, let's be real. Maybe a little bit, but no shot. Especially because, like, this is a systemic problem. So it goes far beyond, uh, like, just what Kai is advising people to do. It goes significantly. Uh, it it goes significantly beyond like, um, you know, what his his audience is gonna do. It's just people. There are people out there who are literally just like their stands for, uh, you know, vilifying victims of rape. And of course, we saw it already. We saw some of the fucking. Um, anyway, look, um, although I do not believe that law enforcement is good at handling situations like this, um, I hope that in this circumstance, justice is served. OK. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot here. There's a lot of information that she has. There's a lot of evidence that she has. And this is a relatively higher profile case. So. You know. I don't know. He says it's possible he took a video of it. Wait, really? Not to be too hard on you, but I will be honest. I'm disappointed about how extremely generous you are being to Kai in this scenario based on how this evidence reads and his own words on stream. I don't understand why, because if easily this stuff gets clipped, but I'm still disappointed. So you recognize why I'm being like as objective as humanly possible about a circumstance and then you're saying uh and and you're saying people will clip it out of context and you're like but i'm so, uh, you're disappointed that what you can't farm reddit karma like i'm genuinely confused you're like i get why you were being objective but also like why are you you should not be and uh you should behave like a fucking uh bad faith person in this regard fuck Claim that he filmed the video. I saw his phone in his hand when I got up. He was pushing my spine down. When I, I sleep on my, I saw his phone in his hand when I got up. He was pushing my spine down. When I, I sleep on my stomach, he was pushing my spine down. And I asked him why he tried to make a video of me. And he said that I saw his phone in his hand. Ain't about you. Don't get dragged into that. The sides are clear here. Yeah, exactly. It's not about me. <sighs> Is this uh, DJ Academics' mod? The one that was like fucking saying like unhinged shit? Okay. Yes, but he said he fucks with you, though. What? What do you mean? So fucking weird. Why are these people... What? Bro, what the fuck? Yo, Twitch streamers are on a different wavelength, brother. It's crazy. I fuck... I'm running... I'm running the top of the hour ad break, dude. I'm moving on from this. I forgot to run it. Uh, it was a serious subject, so I didn't. I'm gonna run it now. He fucks with clout. Fuck that baby back, bitch. Yeah. Uh, in 30 minutes, the House of Representatives is going to be back, and Kevin McCarthy is going to be fucking signed in, okay? He's going to be, he is going to actually get uh, the votes necessary, which I believe he is successfully whipped at this point, to uh, to become Speaker of the House, okay? 
Uh, we're still waiting on the CoffeeZilla Logan Paul uh, coverage. Uh, I, I think, like, at this stage, it's literally, like, it's so fucking, it's, like, lighter, I guess. Just a little bit of a couple million dollar cryptocurrency fraud. You know what I'm saying? Logan Paul also has uh, deleted the the uh, response video that he made to CoffeeZilla originally. Just a light crypto rug pull, baby. You know what I'm saying? How much did Logan make off the scam? Nothing. Hi. Uh, I, I don't think he made anything because he got scammed. He got rug pulled before he could pull the rug. He got the rug pulled right underneath him from his original intentions of doing a rug pull. Um, I... If McCarthy wins the speakership, House Republicans plan to swear in members and pass the rules package tonight. I thought under this new GOP majority, we were supposed to get 72 hours notice on legislation. Or Marjorie Tilly Green, are you already folding on the principle of this concession from McCarthy in your very first vote? Oof. ...actually wanted to be respectful of staff. They wouldn't be outlawing and uh, congressional unions or trying to. And they wouldn't be union busting as part of their house rules in the very first piece of legislation that they are trying to pass that is the house rules package that govern uh the the conduct of the house they are trying wait mtg responded what that fucking titan say oh I've totally had way more than 72 hours. That's why I'm supporting. What? You don't like being treated this way? Welcome to the minority. Happy to talk with you about it in person. But you always run away. Yeah, because you're the fucking smiling titan. I wonder why. I wonder why people run away from you. Perhaps the reason is because you are terrifying to look at. You literally look like a Titan from Attack on Titan. When are you going to address XUC's Botox allegations, bro? <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that, dude. I mean, you got me, okay? You fucking boom me, all right? I have nothing to say to that. That is such an insane take that, like, I just, I literally have no. All right, we're 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 still waiting on, I'm not going to do the cut video right now. We're still waiting on this fucking thing. Oh, shit, new YouTube video is out. How do young men get radicalized? Look at that. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background when I'm talking, but uh, my brother is using power tools outside, okay? Let's go to Fox News. I want to see what the fuck they're saying. It's so goddamn loud. I'm losing my fucking mind, dude. Classic Marat. Um, I think the, the question here is how that changes the relationship going forward between Boebert <coughs> and Trump or these others who have held out. That's a W uh, Trump himself yeah. is not super tied to Kevin McCarthy in the sense of where he was aggressively making calls earlier this week. They were pretty tepid phone calls. I think they've changed a little bit of trajectory as it's become clearer that Kevin McCarthy is actually going to likely get the speaker's gavel in just a matter of hours from now. Um, but I think it does speak to his fear factor overall. It's not as great as it once was. Caitlin Collins, I appreciate it. Thank you, Caitlin. Back with us, David Axrod, Karen Finney, David Urban, and Scott Jennings. Um, David Urban, what do you think? I mean, if, if McCarthy succeeds, those close to Trump say we should expect him to take credit for the victory. He has he? Of course, of course, he get, of course, he's going to take he credit. He will. <laughs> should he? Should he? Of course, he's going to take credit for the victory. It was the first time we've seen this movie. Um, 
Look, I, I, to a certain extent, I, I, I don't know what he said to this crane or what he's doing behind the scenes with some of these people who are otherwise immovable. So if he does get crane and some of the other people to kind of lie down and vote, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, present and, you know, he deserves some credit, obviously. But to the extent that does he carry the day? I don't think he carried the day by any by any by any margin whatsoever. I mean, he feels very isolated there in Mar-a-Lago. This well, seems to be happening all the way, you know, far from his, it, it, his it, little power it, center. It, it, it is far away, but, you know, some of the folks owe their, their, their careers. They wouldn't be in the House if it wasn't for yeah. Donald Trump. Scott, I, mean, is, I, mean, is, is, I mean, look, if, if, if he had anything to do with this, Kevin McCarthy wouldn't have had to have sold off several organs to get, to get the speakership <laughs> here. I mean, <clears throat> we all know Rooster who takes credit for the sunrise, and that's what's going to happen here. <laughs> but... Uh, but the reality I is, like on, I feel like I'm on a hee haw. I know. <laughs> hee haw had really good ratings, David. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I, I, the reality is, McCarthy got this thing because he went and hammered out a package with people who wanted to make some changes. He did, this. This was done uh, in you that can't negotiation. Out a package without any nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to, but to, you know, to access, come up with we mock what we don't understand, Andrew. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> no, but to your point, to Axe's point about this, right? So you wouldn't have to give away. You would have a majority of 260 votes, right? Uh, 200, you'd have 260 Wake Republicans up. if it weren't for some of the other Donald Trump Republicans who won in a primary and then lost terribly yeah, right. in the general election. So damn, yeah, Chad is Scott's delayed point, as you know, a motherfucker, dude. Uh, I, in there someplace, I know. I mean, you know. I mean, that, that's the thing. I, the, the point is this: he didn't close the deal for McCarthy when he came out originally. He doesn't deserve any credit for this tonight. It is obvious since the midterm election. His influence has been on the wane. And every time something happens, even remotely approaching what you might describe as good or positive, he's going to try to grasp onto that uh, to, to change that narrative. But the polling is clear, and I think the mood of the party is clear. So he's we're, we're seven. He's go, yeah, yeah, he's going down. DeSantis is going up. No, I was going to say, just to the right. DeSantis point, like this afternoon I saw a very kind of flowery, you know, Casey DeSantis tweet about free Florida and great things and, you know, Governor DeSantis riding in on a white horse and governing great, right? So Ron DeSantis looks like a grown-up here and an adult where yeah. the, the Washington Republicans are kind of, you know, so in a quagmire. Let's just talk about what's going to happen. We're 17 minutes away from the start of this thing. Um, what's the strategy for McCarthy's people tonight? What would the strategy Well, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious what the strategy is. The strategy is to get every single vote he has there, and they're flying a couple of people back who had left for for family and medical reasons, and to try and uh, uh, get three members uh, of the caucus who uh, were uh, inalterably... Uh, and that's what they've been doing over the last yeah, many hours. I, I think so. I, I think so. And I, you know, um, I mean, I don't believe... Kevin McCarthy's actually been pretty cautious this week about predictions. He, he was until today. You know, and so uh, I, I think that they have some uh, a fairly strong sense of the way things uh, are going to go. Want to comment on the one cake other thing that, that I showed said, live? Though, that I found peculiar was he said, "I think we've learned how to govern." I will not this be. Week. Well, if this is how they're going to that. govern, that's not a very assuring message. I would, if I were doing his messaging. I would choose a different message. Yeah, yeah. Well, and particularly, I'll just say, I mean, you know, Scott, earlier you mentioned the tweet by Tony Gonzalez, who didn't just say, I'm a no on the House rules package. He said, welcome to the 118th Congress. Mm -hmm. So to David's point, yes, what we have seen over the last several days is likely what we're going to see again and again and again, whether, and, and again, I don't know that McCarthy himself is going to make it to August when we have, uh, the, the budget conversations, I think we're going to see time and time again, clearly there is a, a group that understands they have the power to hold things up. Although to what Matt Gaetz said, I don't know what else they can ask for at this and, uh, point. It'll be interesting to see, get, given, that, given that comment, right? Does Matt Gates come to the floor in a total 180 and say, votes for, for McCarthy? <laughs> Does, you know, do, they, no. do, they, do they go out and say, listen, we've, we've lost. We're just going to unify as a party and move forward? They've got nothing to gain by. Uh, Hannity, where are you tonight on Kevin McCarthy? Bobert, I think there are some things we need to get locked in. What? Where no are you shot. Tonight on Kevin McCarthy. Uh, well, I believe that when this is all over, this is right now. Everyone from the speaker's office to my more moderate colleagues, even friends and allies at. Uh, al uh, allies that I've exchanged uh, some tough words with, like yourself, we will work together to deliver historic fundamental changes in D.C. We will have conservative solutions on...
Is she on the fucking DC, like, satellite studio why is she not why is her ass not in congress right now what's happening currently what what the fuck bobo is your favorite she is a a a unique freak yourself we will work together to deliver historic fundamental changes in dc we will have conservative solutions on important issues facing the american people so we'll see how tonight goes. Uh, I think that there are some things that we need to get locked in and make sure that we are able to deliver on these promises. Are you confident, say, by Monday the latest that this will be over and Kevin will be the speaker and you will have the assurances that you need that all the agenda items you, you have campaigned on and that you fought for are going to be implemented by the new Congress? I sure hope by Monday we see something, um, something that is promising to deliver for the American people. And I truly believe that after months of the negotiations that we've seen and a few extra days even of being assembled on the House floor, Republicans are going to be far more prepared to lead and more prepared to govern than ever before. I am grateful that Speaker Designate McCarthy has been so receptive to each and every change that we have demanded. And Sean, we're at the stage right now where I'm running out of stuff to ask for. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's a it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Lobo, Lauren Bobert is going home. Okay, she's gonna go home. It's over for her. She knows. She she knows she got nothing left. Okay, she got nothing to tank. They don't need her anyway. Why does Matt Gaze look like he went to Florida? He went back to Florida with the fucking sunglasses, got a fucking nice little tan going, and then came back to D.C. Read the bills. <laughs> have a balanced budget. Have a border plan. Yeah. Kevin McCarthy is agreeing to all these things. And again, it's never been about him. It's been about draining the swamp, making this a more honest, transparent, open place. And we may have a few finishing touches. We may be able to get this resolved tonight. But I am proud of the entire Republican conference. And we're going to be stronger and more unified and more able to hold this administration accountable because we have had these early moments of sorting things out. So we had communication from and decided and encouraged i am grateful can he be a seven no was mccarthy against all that stuff earlier this week I mean, there's like marginal differences in their perspectives, but oh, they're gonna fucking glaze up Matt Gates so hard, dude. You know it already. Holy fuck. Is your audio delayed? Maybe. No, doesn't seem like it. What is this boy a sick detained? Oh, dude, I saw this. I'll cover this tomorrow, I think. There was a six-year-old that fucking shot their teacher, which is insane. Yeah, bro. America, baby. What do you mean? Uh, that's... Rosendale. We already covered this. You're going to play Valo? Uh, eventually, yes. Uh, I actually have access to the new map, but unfortunately, none of our friends have uh, access to the beta. So, um, I originally wanted to try the new map and stuff, but most people I know are unfortunately not uh, in the beta. So, I will not do it. What is this? What? Why did you just link this to me? Oh, God, I heard this shit from my grandmother's TV in the next room. It was a fucking wild moment for me. Are the Kevers going to win? I don't know how American politics works. Yes. Um, yes. The, the never Kevers are going to lose, it seems like. And the forever Kevers are going to win. Is what it looks like. 
uh, cause Lobo's leaving. Lobo is Lobo is leaving, and they give the worst players access to beta. Not worse, but can't find another word. You're improving though. Fuck you, man. What did they get out of this shit? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Bro, have you seen the open a new channel? Do you call them out? Continue to try to get views from my old channel? No, I haven't seen it. Um, I covered it earlier today. The concessions they got are like a, a one-person vote to basically uh, vote out the speaker, <laughs> potentially. They have the votes and that they're already taking steps to organize the House. Well, we'll see, because, you know, at this point, you never know until you know. But there was an incredible turnaround earlier today for McCarthy that gave him the momentum. Fifteen holdouts switching their votes in favor of the Republican leader that had been holding out for days and all of those ballots that Jake just talked about, giving McCarthy the momentum that he desperately needed to turn it around. So, so much to get to tonight. And as Jake and I sit with you ready for this, let's go to Manu Raju live on Capitol Hill. So, Manu, does it seem like McCarthy actually has the votes that he's going to get over the finish line? Uh, McCarthy's team is very confident at this moment that he will. Yeah, David Dayan is correct, by the way. House Republican rules package was literally all in the rules package announced January 2nd. Okay. One member can force the overthrow speaker, changes pay go to cut go. Okay, which is pretty funny. Paygo was done by the Democrats. Now it's cut go, done by the Republicans. Constrains debt limited end runs. Three fifths of a vote to raise tax rates. Three fifths vote to raise tax rates. They should just make a rule that, like, if you raise taxes on the wealthy, you get shot on the floor while you're in the process of submitting the bill. Like, how about that? Fuck it, dude. YOLO. Let's just make it illegal to raise taxes. And fuck it. Let's take it one step further. Let's make it illegal to literally not cut taxes every year for the wealthy exclusively. They remove the metal detectors. They might as well just start doing it like the way they believe things should be done. Is this really going to damage the image of the common Republican or are they not going to give a shit? Probably not. They're probably going to forget about it. Allows two-minute votes, 72 hours for bills ahead of time, dynamic scoring, ed labor, uh, education and workforce, uh, new COVID select committee. The Republicans are back in power. No more labor committee. Same party of the working class as it ever was. What the fuck are they planning? The metal detector thing is scary, dude. Yeah, I mean, they're just, it's just like a principle thing, I guess. Like, they want to be able to bring their fucking guns. They want to bring their toys to Congress. And this stopped them from doing so. So now they're like, we're The finish gonna. line. You know, Matt Gates saying, I got to tell you, we're running out of things to ask for. The implications being. Yeah, dynamic scoring is when you pretend that tax cuts increase revenue. Yeah. Which, by the way, that kind of dynamic scoring is never applied when something is apt and deserves it, like infrastructure spending, okay? Infrastructure spending greatly improves revenue streams for every fucking industry because every industry relies on infrastructure. It's that simple. And yet, we never think about, like, railroads or an investment into fucking railroads or, God forbid, healthcare, like you correctly pointed out, as a dynamic situation that genuinely improves the mental health, physical health of the American labor force, education spending is not considered to be a, a, a fucking thing that you can score dynamically. It's just tax cuts, man. It's tax cuts. They never factor in the $5 a month subscription that you need at the top of the fucking hour to be able to avoid the three-minute ad break. That's not a part of it. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those fucking ads, all you need to do is subscribe. With spending you can do for five dollars, or you can do for free with a subscribe. By, a number of by connecting your Amazon that Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. You can use it on your favorite broadcast, or hopefully that's me. Okay. Um, you can also get gifted a sub. We're eighty-one. Hey, dumbass! You realize the metal detectors are only one to two years old. Yo, did something happen? Truth Social donated $3 and said, hey, dumbass, you realize the 
the metal detectors are one to two years old. Did something happen in the past year or so that like maybe uh uh you know makes it so that it is reasonable to have metal detectors? Right? Did that happen? Is there like a genuine uh safety concern that people in Congress may or may not have? I can't even think of wait, wait a minute. What day is it right now? Oh, that's right. It's fucking January 6th. <laughs> like, come on. I'm not like some fucking, uh, this is America's real 9-11 type liberal. But Jesus Christ, dude. That shit didn't happen that long ago, man. What the fuck? He said, Liptard, you don't understand. said fuck you mean let's just why would they need a metal detector which by the way i take it back like you know as long as aoc and ilhan omar and the like are strapped up and defended okay i'm happy let those motherfuckers eat each other alive you know what i mean aoc don't come to work tomorrow type shit you know what i mean i hope she's like safe but ultimately if they want to fucking have like a hee-haw hoo-haw shootouts on the fucking floor of congress it's a it's a genuine fear that every American has to face in their fucking workforce that like uh, some dickhead that they looked at weirdly down the goddamn line could come back with an AR-15 the next day because they're pissed off. By the way, that's an 892. Thank you for the great fucking score. Okay. Tell chat the Gamba. Oh, there's a new Gamba. Does Kevin McCarthy have the votes? Hashtag never kever or yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new Gamba out there. Does Kevin McCarthy have the votes? We have 7 point... Wow, it's so close. 9 million, 11 million, 12 million for both. And the hashtag never kevers are picking up steam right now. This is crazy. Absolutely, absolutely an insane sight. Right in front of our eyes. The Gamba has never been this close. And it seems like the yes is picking up steam now. Yes at 94 million, 97 million, 100 million by now. And never covers at 96 million points. Points, 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 points. This is 50-50. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. The fact that Lobo is not there kind of makes me feel like I would go on the yes side of the equation. But you never know. You never know. This is not his house to make these promises. It's it's ours. It's the American people. It is. So is there going to be transparency on that, too? I'm excited. I'm excited. You want to stay up all night and read it yourself? No, I'm just saying. Because they're promising transparency. So I assume there's going to be complete transparency on Um. Well, so far, it does not seem as though that particular promise is going to be kept. Not that, unique, what, what about the 72 hours? The unique political... Well, I mean, this is, I guess, not a law. I am forever a okay. never okay. ever. Okay. I, okay. Know, this um, was an important holdout. Drink, so you'll have to put it to them. But I've this seen was an important holdout. In my heart, package. I'm a never um, kever. One, if I you want say, my actual uh, adequate political Gonzalo. commentary Gonzalo. assessment, Congress loves taking breaks. What have I told you? A big chunk of legislation and what gets brought up in Congress unironically revolves around who gets to go home and when. So keep that in mind. If that is my, I'm sorry, don't say vote manipulation. By the way, I forgot to run the top of the hour. I break, I'm running it now. But don't say vote manipulation. I'm a political commentator. I'm supposed to give you my actual assessment. God damn it. And my actual assessment is, while in my heart I am a forever, never kever, my brain says, this is how Congress works. They're lazy. They're old. They're geriatric fucks who want to go home. The yes, sir, Kevers deserve jail. The forever Kevers do deserve jail. They do. This is not financial advice. This is not oh, Gamba advice. What we get to see. In the name of transparency, which this new Congress stands for, are they going to allow the C-SPAN cameramen and women 
to continue to show what's going on on the floor of the People's House. First of all, you had too much coffee. <laughs> I know. Where did your energy come from? This Can is, I have I'm a little just break? taking these people at their word. Big, That's really what I am doing. Big, big finish, Jake. Look, I just want to say one thing that I would like in the rules package, not that I get about. I want the C-SPAN. Yes. To say I think we just all do. America this does. Way. It, I, I salute C-SPAN this week. It's been it's been spectacular. But to your point about C-SPAN has been spectacular. I love that Are everybody's like shocked, shocked, patting themselves on the back that we don't for this coverage. Like the like they're the ones who did something. You know be. what I mean? That is the epitome of what's been going on. All this week, and it's, Folks, it's not just that this. If you are in line, one press to vote, never kever, stay in line. They have not closed the voting stations. The gamba is still on. Stay in line. Hold the line. Two hundred and fifteen million points on yes. One hundred and sixty-six million points on never kevers. Hold the line. It's one of these rebels, although he's one of the 15 who flipped earlier Dear today, God, just walked into Speaker-designate McCarthy's office, as Matt Gates now calls him, and said, nothing is over until it's over, nothing is done until it's done, something along those lines. So the now, hard line what I will say... Some, some of them, Matt Gates has suddenly become a comic. To all of you um, that are wondering what will happen to my points, I will tell you this much. If you lose today... You can still have the opportunity to win back all your points when you gamble on my Valorant games, okay? And let me tell you, the fucking believers in that regard, they're the ones who are usually winning, okay? To go on this night in this hour, yep. in this very hour, Kevin McCarthy was fighting after the insurrection in a house chamber where the damage was still visible. He and both of his deputies, Elise Stefanik and Steve Scalise, and 100 plus more of the House Republicans in that chamber, who tonight apparently are going to make him speaker, were fighting to overturn the election even after the insurrection. There were blood. Even the after the insurrection, they were in that very chamber two years ago tonight in this hour, yeah. trying to help Donald Trump steal an election. Scott Perry was and voting tonight, to Kevin, undermine yeah, the voters uh, of his own uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And if Kevin McCarthy finally gets there tonight after 14 ballots, he gets something he's been fighting for for two decades. Then next month or in March, one of the things they have to first, they have to have a house before they can invite the president for the State of the Union speech. In a few weeks, we're going to see Kevin McCarthy sitting behind President Biden in the very chamber where he, again, tried to steal the election for Donald Trump and deny Joe Biden's inauguration. Lobo so, is not uh, th there. This is historic. This is a career achievement for Kevin McCarthy if he finally gets to the finish line here. But man, this onion has a lot of layers. What an no. ugly and ugly. You know what? You know what? He enabled this. Too. I just don't think we should lose sight of that. He enabled this group of members of Congress who have stood in his way. By a lot then, of people originally two, were so against later, going down to Kevin McCarthy and standing because with he's hot the former president and it Donald shows. Trump and taking that photo. If you want to hear my actual takes on the entire matter, people were genuinely disappointed and genuinely jealous because Kevin McCarthy's fucking one, one young, hot piece of ass. Okay? People these people it looks like what's happened is that mccarthy has folded again to get the votes i don't think that um kevin mccarthy when he went down to mar-a-lago after january 6th was rehabilitating trump as a lot of people have described it i think he was rehabilitating himself he was he, remember he had condemned trump by saying that he had responsibility for what happened on january 6th but he wanted to be in that speaker's chair so badly that he needed to get good with I'm sorry to interrupt, this, but uh, we're going to hear the nominating, the nominating the party. Tonight to nominate uh, my Kevin good McCarthy. friend, the gentleman from California, gentleman Kevin McCarthy, to serve as Speaker of the House. The gentleman will suspend. What the fuck is that, bro? What is that thing? What the hell is that? But you got to get through your... They said Jake Tapper, shut the fuck up. Two hundred and nineteen million points on Never Kever. Never Kever seemingly are suspend. picking up steam. The question recurs upon Two hundred and fifty-five million of a on yes. And the tellers will please come forward and take their seats.
One minute remaining on. I'm not betting. sure why there's a pause in the room right now. I think they're waiting for a quorum. You skip the step. She, she yeah. needed to get the tellers. Yeah, oh, they, they need to get the tellers tell, yeah. up right. to the room. Yeah. Abby, I'm sorry. Procedure. Can you f finish yeah. the point you were making about Kevin McCarthy rehabilitating himself? Ha <laughs> ha! She's muted. McCarthy really wanted this job so badly that he really knew that he needed to get in with the Trump crowd. And he did so by going down there, proverbially kissing the ring, and uh, trying again to kind of reestablish himself with this wing. The I think this is, is the culmination for his that. nomination. All right, let's listen. I am honored to rise tonight to nominate my good friend, the gentleman from California, Kevin McCarthy, to serve as speaker Boo! of this house. Boo! Boo! Fuck off! Keebler Elf, get out of here. Boo! We are never Kevers. We are strong. We are Legion. Expect us, bro. <laughs> Madam That's Clerk, so it's been a long week, and a lot of attention's been placed uh, placed uh, upon us here in the House. But then again, I state that to the most famous woman in Washington this week. What? That was a better it was a better joke as written actually than delivered. But I want to start by thanking the men and women who Speaker make this Adams House is run. Is from the janitorial staff, to the parliamentarians, to the doorkeepers, to the sergeant of arms, to the Capitol Police officers, to the men and women that make this institution run, we thank you. <sighs> They're clapping for a, per for a permanent loser, dude. This guy who lost so many fucking votes. And at this day, and a source of charity, we'd even thank the Capitol Press Corps for sitting on floors. No. That, too, was actually funnier <laughs> on, on the paper than how it delivered. I don't know why you asked me to do this. He's Kevin. so excited. Um, look, the president look at him. called this He's process He's so fucking stoked. Talking heads have labeled this chaos and a mess, and some would call it shambolic, even. But it's called democracy. And this is a hallmark of a free society where every voice and every vote counts. Even Lauren Boebert. <laughs> we know it's messy. We know it's messy. But open and transparent debate is what sets us apart from authoritarian regimes. In order to outcompete our adversaries, we must adhere to the principles that make our nation, this nation, our constitutional republic, great. And that starts with a free and open exchange of ideas. For the life of me, and that's stand exactly idly what by we've done and this watch week. these motherfucking some, crooks. Like I cannot, for the life of me, sit here and act like Lauren Boebert's voice is being represented here, okay? She's not. She has been punished. Our worse alternative. In these constitutional principles, we're adhering to in this complicated process of setting up the House. Over these last few days, Kevin McCarthy has allowed this process to work among House Republicans. And he's empowered members to come together to find consensus on behalf of conservative policy <coughs> and a greater involvement of all voices throughout our conference. We've all played a part. I'm begging you to refund, my lord. The hogs wouldn't send out this nerd if they didn't have the votes, my lord. Oh, no. Dude, come on. Voting loyally. Come on. They brought it's this Kevin's fucking little Keebler style, elf out there. Style. You have to fucking, you have to hope that Matt Gates Kevin has a little bit of spine left in him. You know, he got that dog in him, dude. Imagine a last second flip and he just goes, yeah, fuck you, flow of actually. Our communities to give Chairman Comer and Chairman Jordan the tools they need to hold the Biden administration accountable for their failures and to take China on and end the president's COVID emergency uh, man powers that have been abused far too many times. To finally reopen the People's House, and empower, empower our standing committees, and get people back to regular order here on the House floor. 
and countless other conservative solutions that are very powerful and good for constituents in Bakersville or Lincolnton, North Carolina. Madam Clerk, I'm one of the few members left on the Republican side who had the pleasure of serving with Kevin for the entirety of his tenure in the House. In those years, I've worked closely with Kevin in a variety of different capacities. And, well, we, he's a good friend. But serving with him in these ca capacities has me meant that I've heard every one of his stories. <laughs> and the stories of Kevin O's Deli, I've heard way too many times. Boo, you're uh, boring. I don't know if you've heard Bring fucking that he someone won the who has content. Well, also, those stories, I could recount them chapter and verse. He's a dear friend. But all of you have heard these stories too. Boo! And it's also by my seat, it will watch boring. him on a fro front row seat as he's grown as a leader. <laughs> and especially so one of the chats is he getting married? Dude, it's like, it's, it's funny because like this is his greatest uh, day. You know what I mean? This is the greatest day of his life. And it's like, nobody gives a shit. His colleagues literally were pissed off at him. And he just demonstrated his incompetence over the past fucking uh, week. Over and over again. But because he cares about people. He's unflinchingly, and unflinchingly optimistic. The glass is always half full. That's been a hell of a trait, especially this week. He's relentless. The man does not quit. And it was Kevin that led Republicans back to the majority in this House. The only Republican institution in Washington this day. And Kevin has led us through these challenges the last few days. And Kevin is the right person to lead us over the coming two years. And that's why at the direction of the Republican conference, I advance the name of Kevin McCarthy as the next speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Boo. We are never Kevers. Boo. What purpose does the gentleman from California rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate Hakeem Jeffries for Speaker of the House. You've seen better blowjobs on porn sites? Yeah, no shit. Because that's like entertaining and fun to look at. The, the, the Keebler elf was not even good at sucking pot. Let's be real. The gentleman is recognized. House Democrats are united behind the son of a social worker and substance abuse counselor. A leader who is deeply involved in his community and a tireless... Okay, this is so boring. I will die if I keep watching this. I need, like, actual commentary from Fox News to make uh, this entertaining. I believe, and I'll quote here reliably the plane is going to land tonight. Uh, they don't know how it's going to look, whether it's present votes of the six who are remaining or whether they fully support and vote for, in other words, change their vote to McCarthy. But they believe with the two representatives who've come back, uh, Buck and Hunt, that they'll have the numbers to get McCarthy to the finish line. 
That's a big moment because you're right. This on the 14th ballot, there were a lot of people who said this was not going to happen. There's no way it's going to happen. And just to give a little history here, there have been 53 men and one woman who have had this position. Kevin McCarthy becomes the 55th. The first Speaker of the House was sworn in April 1st, 1789. So you think about the history of this moment for a, a guy that was really trying to get this job for a long, long time, tried to get it in 2015. He's the first speaker back to back to be a, from California, obviously Nancy Pelosi from California. And the question is how he's going to be able to govern. And that's the next thing tonight is the debate and the vote on the rules package. And that could last. While we hate the hogs, we need them or we would all die from lack of content. There's truth to that. Yeah. And on why the rules committee is so critical and the membership of the rules committee. Again, it People watching, their eyes probably glaze over, but that actually changes the way legislation moves in Washington. If you control the Rules Committee, you control ultimately under this new scenario what bill gets to the floor, correct? what bill and how it's dealt with. You control whether there are amendments to the bill. In other words, representatives could add and have voted on amendments on the floor. You control how many minutes are debated, how many, uh, how, what, what the threshold is, what the quorum looks like. If you control the Rules Committee, you control everything in the House of Representatives as Chad, far as bringing the legislation up. I think Chad did a do great job uh, describing it in his only the way Chad can because he's a big baseball guy. Uh, saying simple, it's 85 is, feet guy and 90 a, feet to first a base, forever Kevin, depending dude. on what the rules committee says, and that's true. So and like, the debate on still the rules tonight my, is really important. But I just didn't want to overstep my love for Kevin. the historic nature of this moment for mm. Kevin McCarthy. And you know, the the longest serving speaker was Sam Rayburn, 17 years, two months, and two days. The shortest was Thomas Pomeroy from New York, one day. He was elected just as a kind of a go away <laughs> present from his colleagues. We're hoping the Republicans are th that uh, on the floor, they tell me they've got, uh, they're hoping Kevin McCarthy makes it. Just for contrast, Kevin McCarthy on January 6th. Thank you so much, Grace. Stay, stay safe. I want to quickly bring in Kevin McCarthy, the House Minority Leader. Um, leader McCarthy, do you condemn this violence? I completely condemn the violence in the Capitol. What we're currently watching unfold is un-American. I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm sad. Oh, really, dude? Look. Is it un-American, dude? Oh, that's so crazy. What the fuck did you guys think was going to happen, dude? <laughs> Y'all did this shit, dude. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, how many Turning Point USA people had to be outed as Nazis? And then Donald Trump still attended their fucking uh, organizations. Oh, oh no, I can't believe all of our racial agitation and like literally riling up these fucking sick hogs ultimately ended with those sick hogs. I know my hair looks a lot better back then. That we placed there for and I them. I will get back to because it. Because we made it seem like, we made it seem like Trump was the savior. It's so un-American. Yeah, like, of course, dude. Of course this was going to happen. Look like this is not who we are. This is not the First Amendment. To be this fair, I don't think that it was going to happen now. Like, I didn't think that this was going to happen in this way, in the way that it did in today. But it, this kind of violence and worse kinds of violence is, of course, inevitable. History repeats itself. This has to stop and this has to stop now. Have you spoken with the president and asked him to perhaps come to the Capitol and tell the supporters it's time to leave? It was an explosive device. I, I've spoken to the president. I asked him to talk to the it was nation. was found at the RNC and detonated this. safely. This is not who we are. We are the... And Congressman, we understand and we can see now the live pictures from the floor. The vote is indeed it's happening. underway. It Let's is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it is happening. McCarthy. Arrington. McCarthy. Alkin Kloss. Jeffries. Jeffries. Babin. McCarthy. Bacon. McCarthy. Baird. 
McCarthy. Balderson. McCarthy. McCarthy. Ballant. Jeffries. Jeffries. Banks. McCarthy. McCarthy. On. One more week. Barr. One more week. McCarthy. One more week. Barrigan. Jeffries. Bean of Florida. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. <coughs> Beatty. Hakeem Jeffries. Jeffries. Bent. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Barra. Jeffries. Jeffries. Bergman. McCarthy. McCarthy. Byer. Jeffries. Jeffries. Bice. McCarthy. Biggs. Biggs. Jordan. Bill Arrakis. McCarthy. McCarthy. Bishop of Georgia. Jeffries. Jeffries. Bishop of North Carolina. McCarthy. Blumenauer. Jeffries. Jeffries. Blunt Rochester. Jeffries. Jeffries. Bobert. Present. Present. Okay, that's the big one. Lauren Boebert, who was thought to be someone who would not change her vote, uh, voted present, meaning that's a big plus, of course, for Kevin McCarthy. We'll continue to Ooh. listen in. Huge reaction on the floor Lost. to that. Ooh. McCarthy. She ate for real? Bowman. <laughs> Jeffries. <laughs> Boyle of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. Jeffries. Rakeen, McCarthy, Brown, Jeffries, Jeffries. Brownlee, Jeffries. Jeffries, Buchanan, Central Committee, Brown. I always bet McCarthy. on Congress, always bet on Congress people even for the weekend, that's exactly but, what I said. The amount of legislation that get passed, that gets passed quickly as a, con as a consequence of these old geriatric fucks wanting to go back home is unimaginable. I'm not even fucking kidding. They literally talk about, like, I forget who it was, but people talk about, like, incredible statesmen, right? Like, these people that are, like, brilliant uh, leaders of their parties because they'll, like, send people out on assignments if they know that they're... In, was it LBJ? Uh, fuck, who talked about it? I think it was on CNN or maybe MSNBC or fucking Fox where it was, like, LBJ was an incredible statesman because, like, he was an incredible, uh, incredible leader because he would, like, send people away... Uh, on assignment if he knew that it was not a vote that he could get. Like, it's literally just, like, playing on, uh, the like, the the most, like, individual, most selfish fucking uh, ways that people operate. Yeah, LeBron James, guys. LeBron James is a is, is brilliant leader, dude. Hakeem Sekou Jeffries. Jeffries. Carter of Georgia. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Carter of Louisiana. Hakeem Jeffries. Jeffries. Carter of Texas. McCarthy. Cartwright. Jeffries. Jeffries. Kassar. Jeffries. Case, Jeffries. Caston, Jeffries. Castor of Florida, Jeffries. Castro of Texas, Jeffries. Chavez de Reamer, McCarthy. Sherfalis McCormick, Jeffries. We should note here that uh, maybe a couple dozen votes ago, uh, Ken Buck's name was called in the role, Congressman Buck. He's a critical vote for Kevin McCarthy. 
He was due back into town. He was out of town. We don't know exactly his whereabouts at this moment, but that <laughs> is missing. a critical vote for McCarthy. <laughs> He's gone missing, guys. I know one way or another. But no, he had a family emergency, I think. That's why he was out. Of happening moment by moment. So he is on the floor. Let's dip back in. Clyburn. All these men vying for speaker and none Clyburn. running to be listener makes you think. <laughs> That's a very good one. Okay. Damn, Chatter's got fucking jokes tonight, dude. Clyde. McCarthy. Cohen. Jeffries. Jeffries. Cole. McCarthy. Collins. McCarthy. Comer. McCarthy. Connolly. He's been circulating on Twitter for a minute, but it's funny. Jeffries. Fuck, it's a Twitter joke. Oh, God damn it, Correa. chat. Why are you snitching? Jeffries. For a second, I wanted Costa. to feel like I had really funny Jeffries. motherfuckers in the chat. You know what I mean? Courtney. Jeffries. Craig. Jeffries. Crane. Biggs. Crawford. McCarthy. Crenshaw. McCarthy. Crockett. Jeffries. Crow. Jeffries. Quayar. Jeffries, Curtis, McCarthy, Davids of Kansas, Jeffries, Davidson, McCarthy, Davis of Illinois, Jeffries, Davis of North Carolina, Jeffries, Dean of Pennsylvania, Jeffries. Yeah, Degat. I know. The CEO of Walgreens came out Jeffries. and apologized to me personally. Dela Cruz. And he said, Hassan, I'm sorry that I whipped up so much fucking frenzy against you on the internet because you said that uh, we were definitely lying about the severity of retail theft in our locations. Bro. Jeffries. Okay, again, just for some context here, that was a bit of a disappointment for Kevin McCarthy. He wanted that flip from Congressman Crane. Congressman Crane uh, did not give him the affirmation of voting for him. We have three other holdouts, Gates, Good, and Rosendale. So we'll wait to see where they end up. McCarthy. It's over. What do you mean? Why are they acting like Diaz it's not? Ballart. McCarthy. Dingle. Jeffries. Jeffries. Doggett. Jeffries. Jeffries. Donalds. McCarthy, Duarte, McCarthy, Dingle. Duncan, Dingle. <laughs> McCarthy, Dunn of Florida, the fuck? McCarthy, Edwards, McCarthy, Elsie, McCarthy, Emmer, McCarthy, Escobar, Jeffries. Jeffries. Eshoo. Jeffries. Jeffries. Espayat. Jeffries. Jeffries. Estes. McCarthy. McCarthy. Evans. Jeff Jeff Jeffries. Ezel. McCarthy. Fallon. Okay, Andy Biggs, this was big. He voted for Jordan. They had hoped that he might uh, flip from McCarthy. Finch. Boebert voted present. That was a plus uh, for Ferguson. McCarthy. And Congressman Crane McCarthy. voted for Biggs. So again, Finch. we need Gates, Good, and Rosendale. McCarthy. Those are the three question marks I that uh, will that have an effect on this outcome talking tonight. About Let's this. listen back in. Fitzgerald. Like it's a McCarthy. It's shocking. Fitzpatrick. <laughs> McCarthy. These never kevers, man. Hold the line. Fleischman. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Fletcher. 
Jeffries, Flood, McCarthy, Foster, Jeffries, Fushi, Jeffries. Fox, McCarthy, Lois Frankel, Jeffries. I can't wait for the investigations into the Franklin. FBI. It's going to be so McCarthy. awesome. They're going to do like new investigations every fucking Jeffries. week. Jeffries, Fry. They're going to do an investigation McCarthy. on the FBI for not Fulcher. killing enough like, you know, uh, black revolutionaries. Kate. They could be like, what are you guys doing? Like, you're, you're truly Gates. not doing a good enough job murdering, uh, Gallagher. <laughs> murdering leftist political McCarthy. opposition in this country. Gallego. Jeffries. Garamendi. Jeffries. Jeffries. Garbarino. McCarthy. Mike Garcia. Time for investigation. McCarthy. Into the Biden crime Robert family, Garcia. baby. Let's go. Oh, my God. Jeffries. I. Garcia of Illinois. Oh, Gates Jeffries. voted? Jeffries. Go. Oh. Garcia of Texas. Jeffries. Jeffries. Jimenez. McCarthy. McCarthy. Golden of Maine. Jeffries. Okay, the suspense building, Matt Gates. Um, he didn't. He didn't speak. He didn't say who he's voting for. We don't even know if he's actually on the floor. Okay. Jeffries. Tony Gonzalez. McCarthy. Vicente Gonzalez. Jeffries. Jeffries. Good of Virginia. Jordan. Gooden of Texas. Gooden of Texas. Okay, again, Matt Gates, when his name was called, Gosar. Did not vote. I mean, didn't say anything. Don't know if he's on the floor. We're trying to effort that also. Come on! Good. Congressman Good. Hold the line, Matt Gates! Against Kevin McCarthy. Uh, ended up voting for Jordan. We're going to continue to listen to him. McCarthy. There are murmurs around the room that Matt Gates is failing to respond when his name is called. Democrats seem to be pointing out that he is in the room. Missing Graves the vote has the same Louisiana. impact as voting present, but for the history books, it will look like he wasn't Graves there. Of Missouri. He is here. McCarthy. I don't think anybody gives a shit from the historical book Green perspective about this vote. McCarthy. Green of Texas. <clears throat> Jeffries, Green of Georgia, McCarthy. All right, well, Griffith. Matt Gates is back on the floor. Uh, we're going to go to Brett Baer, who's going to do some quick math for us as to where we are. The suspense building, Brett, on this speaker's vote. We're in the 14th vote now. What can you tell us? Well, it's like algebra, and Chad said it's about math, but it's alchemy, too, because you've got these numbers shifting, depending on how many people are on the floor. You had uh, Gates now back on the floor. There may be some suspense that he wants to be when they recall the people who didn't vote the first time, that he's the person that votes present and puts McCarthy over. But let's just do the math. Assuming that you have Ken Buck there and Hunt, that would be 434 total. Uh, the majority then, uh, if you have had present votes, uh, three present votes takes you to 431, so 216 wins. Hunt and Buck would be the two, as opposed to the last ballot. He was at 214. Now, that's all depending about the total number being that number, and it shifts. That's why you don't know until the very end of the vote. You lied. Uh, Lobo was there, goddammit. It doesn't matter. She voted present. Which literally is the same. Voting, and I thought she wasn't going to show up, but voting present is the exact same as, as, not, as, as not showing up. It's just lowering the number of, it's lowering the number you need for a majority. 
clear that they want to be, after all of this, to be the center of attention at the end, to say present, and that's the number that puts McCarthy over? I don't know. Uh, but they have that option until the vote closes uh, to either change a vote or to not vote. The interesting, uh, the interesting part about this, though, is that, like, if enough people vote present, Jeffries could win. You know what I mean? If enough people aren't there or vote present, you literally could have a situation where Hakeem Jeffries wins. Obviously, it's not going to happen, but like it's just well, you know every time, every ballot they missed it once when Trone from Maryland. It's had not going to happen. It's not. It's not. Everyone's there for the most part. Again. So, I mean, Brett, when it we're relying on airlines to get people back into town, like forty five minutes before they're supposed to. It vote. would have been I mean, funny though it if like get any closer than something this. happened and they all got struck with like diarrhea from the taco place or the pizza place. Not to eighteen. That they all ate. Yeah, hopefully Ken Buck. <laughs> so they couldn't Southwest. show up. Uh, who knows? It's uh, <laughs> it, it, we think he's back in town. We've been told that he's somewhere, but he, he did in. not vote, and he's not. Yeah. Yeah, he just walked in. All right, Brett. All right, Brett. We're going to uh, go dip Ivy. back in because it looks like a lot of people are Jeffries. back into the chamber. So we'll uh, dip Jackson back into it. Of Illinois. <laughs> Jeffries. Jackson of North Carolina. Jeffries. Jackson of Texas. McCarthy. Jackson Lee. Jeffries. Jacobs. Jeffries. James McCarthy. McCarthy, Jaya Paul, Jeffries, Jeffries, Jeffries. All right, joining us now is uh, North Carolina Congressman what? Dan Bishop. He changed his vote to support McCarthy on the 12th ballot. Congressman, it looks like the Democrats' pep rally is going to be coming to an end tonight. But uh, you met with McCarthy, I understand, right before this vote. Can you tell us something about what happened behind closed doors? Well, Laura, as you may be aware, oh, uh, oh, we've one been of the, oh, it's the over. 20 that were original holdouts were working to uh, change the way the House operates. And we've got an agreement to do that and what we've been working on is nailing down every piece of that agreement and we I love that you guys Lee literally McCarthy thought 100% seriously that like he wasn't he wasn't, he wasn't capturing this when there's the agreement. weekend is so upon us it is as one person who's in position to know told me today as i said in my heart i might be a forever never kever but policy priorities and legislative like i mentioned over and over again in my brain so that we can i know how congress works <laughs> Omnibus appropriations bills and start making this place work in the way it should. I love that while I'm doing yeah, political commentary, my moms are yelling at me not to sway the vote. Um, <laughs> right, right now we're here. Yeah, that's all right. What you know, a billion trillion. This is Washington, um, Congressman. What what I think we've seen over the last few days is the curtain pulled back on the process of Washington, and most people do not follow, and I'm glad they don't because they have real lives, they don't follow the nitty gritty of how bills get to the floor and why don't we know what's in these bills and why don't we have departments like Veterans Affairs have its own budget? Why is everything so fuzzy? You know what's crazy about this? I'm beginning to realize that because this community voted pretty much 50-50 on this when it was like 100% going a certain way. Now, all the fucking uh, believers in my Valo gameplay don't seem so in like at first I was like that's unexpected that so many people believe in my Valorant gameplay but now I'm beginning to recognize like of course they do because this community 50% of this community believes in anything <laughs> in the way this place operates that's 
dysfunction, doing the same thing the same way will not produce any results. What's happening here is exactly what should happen. Men and women of courage standing up to make changes. To oh, oh, oh my properly. God. Men and, and women of courage to the American standing up, to fighting tough. for what's because right. Oh, get the spending. fuck out of here, We've got dude. a provision that I'm most excited about to have a genuine Frank Church style committee. We had to, I personally have been to fighting over every detail of that to make sure that committee can get access to everything that it needs. And, uh, and it's, been, it's been a tough and bruising process. That's exactly what should be happening. And media ought to this be channel liberal it propaganda. Stop and watching this. Of not only the 20, but beg the question. You're right, brother. I should be watching Newsmax, not liberal propaganda like Fox News. Newsmax, the only real news. After all, it's in the name. Maximum news, brother. What's supposed to happen? <laughs> all of this is a mockery. Donald Trump is still the president, and he has arrested all the pedophiles. Like the rest of us, okay? So, you know, Congress, <laughs> congressmen are used to flying home on a Thursday, you know, and getting home for the weekend. No, now you're working just like everybody else. All right, Congressman, we appreciate it. I'm just teasing you. Thank you. Joining me now, Charlie Kirk, founder of Turning Point USA, Harmeet Dillon, ah! RNC chair candidate, and Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor. Wesley Hunt just voted, by the way, for McCarthy. He flew back tonight just for the vote. He missed earlier votes mm. today. Harmeet, I want to start with you because you want to be part of transformational change in Washington. A lot of people thought, well, how dare you challenge uh, an incumbent like Ronna McDaniel, you'll never win. You have no shot. Everything's already written in stone. These these 19 or 20 hold the holdouts actually did seem to get some pretty important concessions in the end. Your thoughts tonight? Well, absolutely, Laura. This is how our process is supposed to work. And for too many years in D.C., in multiple conservative institutions, there really has been no challenge to leadership. There hasn't been challenge uh, to leadership in the Senate for a decade and the RNC for 12 years. And here we're seeing some very healthy debate. So I have no problem with the House taking a couple of days to hash through all of these issues, get hopefully a package that actually does pass. So even if McCarthy wins this vote, he, we still have to see the vote, which will, which will happen in the early hours of the night, on the rules package, which was the impetus for a lot of these changes. But the debate mm -hmm. itself is very important, and I think it's going to be a big improvement in the House for, for the conservative wing of the party and for a constitutional approach to passing legislation. Raymond, this idea that power just keeps perpetuating itself in Washington with, with very little input from the public. Obviously, Mitch McConnell has been in Washington for decades, very, very powerful. He's very, very canny. One of the saddest parts about American politics is that, like, we had a brief blip of what politics looks like in a European country. But at the end of the day, we still don't have any of the benefits of living in, like, a, a, a social democracy with, like, adequate social safety nets or, like, any kind of social safety nets. You know what I mean? Like, this is, like, pretty basic stuff for Europe, you know? Congressional gridlock is a, a staple of parliamentary systems. However, we still don't have fucking public transport. We don't have a labor party in name even, you know what I mean? Like, we don't even have a Labour Party in name, right? Not saying that the current uh, Labour Party in the UK is, like, actually leftist or whatever, but we don't even have that. We don't have nationalized health care. We don't have high-speed rails. We don't even have fucking working, adequate public transportation. And all we got is, like, gridlock. But at least it was kind of fun. It, it was kind of fun while, we, while it lasted. We don't do, like, we don't have a, a, a collective bargaining agreement. that covers uh, a big chunk of the uh covers a big chunk of the the actual labor force or you literally a two party state law no we have a one party state motherfucker that's it 
That's not tactile enough. You can't run on it, and you can't be the indispensable man to move that mm. kind of agenda forward. It's too vague. And I think Kevin McCarthy is today paying that price. Uh, I, I am glad that they have finally agreed to a rule package that's responsive to the runaway spending. As Chatters pointed out, at least we have Applebee's and Jalapeno Poppers. And that's motherfucking freedom, baby. At least we live in a free nation. Not like those cucked communist nations where there's gun control. Ew. Where a six-year-old could go to a school in Virginia and shoot their teacher directly in the fucking face. I don't actually know the details, but I do know a six-year-old is was detained earlier today. You know, that's real freedom. That's actual freedom. You know what I mean? Unlike you fucking libtard countries, your goddamn libtard takes, where uh, you don't have the benefits of... Uh, living in a nation where there is a six-year-old that shoots their teacher in the face. That's all I'm saying. More Republicans didn't, in the end, join this 20. Why do you think they didn't? Well, I think there was a lot of pressure on them. Look, I think this was a missed opportunity for conservatives. We had a chance here. This is the only body that Republicans control in Washington, the House of Representatives. We need a bold conservative leader principled conservative leader who can draw a sharp contrast with President Biden and Democrats so we can start winning elections. We we keep underperforming in these elections and we keep electing the same people. And I, I, I hopefully the Republicans will will elect uh, Harmeet Dillon as the RNC chairman, but we need bold leadership. And if Kevin McCarthy gets the spe speakership well, tonight, he's going to be on a short leash. I want him to succeed because I want our country to succeed. And so I hope that he can draw sharp contrasts over the next two years, hold Biden accountable and, and care more about everyday Americans, real Americans in the real world, rather than corporate interest in America. I hope he pays more attention to real Americans rather than corporate PACs. All right, let's go to Hogan Gidley. Hogan, there was much made of the fact that President Trump came out early for Kevin McCarthy, very unequivocally for McCarthy. Sure. So the point that we're seeing raised tonight is, did the Freedom Caucus... Trump is still the GOAT. He called it. By getting these concessions from the leadership and he really called showing, it. in many ways, the country the rot that's in Washington. And, and President Trump had the chance to kind of throw in with him, and he said, no, let's just go with McCarthy. Is that, does that hurt Trump in the end with the populist message? I don't think it hurts Trump because I think Donald Trump really has his, his finger on the pulse of the American people. Look, I think there are folks out across this country tonight who do care ultimately about who becomes the Speaker of the House, but they don't really care about the drama that the media pundits and the, the consultant class are really kind of salivating over these last several days. What they care about is a Congress that stops the radical agenda that Joe Biden has pushed forward and Nancy Pelosi and, and the Senate have all joined together and tried to hoist on top of the American people. They want a secure southern border. Uh, they want low inflation. They want low prices for gas and for groceries. Um, these are the things that the American people really care about. And so that's why they put Republicans in charge of Congress. And thankfully, I think the pres President Trump and, quite frankly, the holdouts, the raucous caucuses, as Brett Baer called them last night, understand that uh, intimately. And so what they've done here, which is fascinating to me, is stood up and said, look, for so long, the conservatives in Congress are the ones that hold the line on all their principles, and the leadership are the ones who take them over Ignores the cliff them. or right up to the edge of the cliff all of the time and then make the conservatives right. Hogan, kind of hold bend on. and hold break on. Hold on, Hogan. We've second. got to dip back in. we got to dip huh, back shut in the fuck to up. find this last vote with Rosendale. Rogers of Kentucky. McCarthy. Rose. McCarthy, Rosendale, Biggs, Ross, Jeffries, wait, Rouser, okay, Rosendale, McCarthy, Rosendale just voted as you heard. It's for down Biggs. to McCarthy. Congressman Rosendale. Wait. It's down the gate. Hold out of the original 20. Hogan, thank you for joining us. Mike as well. Back with me now. Oh my God! Raymond Arroyo. 
Uh, Charlie, uh, this has been fascinating to watch. I think the drama is actually good. I don't think there's anything wrong with the drama. I think it draws people in to this conversation about oh! the nuts and bolts. What the of fuck? This That'll be crazy. Works and how, again, That'll be crazy if the Never Kemmers win. Year. And there's some pretty substantive changes which are on the table, which look like they'll actually be put into place. No, no shot, bro. He literally went on fucking Sean Hannity and straight up said, he went on Sean Hannity and straight up fucking said, I don't know. I'm running out of options. I'm running out of things to ask him at this point. Democrats, you saw some chatter tonight with Representative Gonzalez saying he's going to be a no on the rules package because it goes too far in favor of the Freedom Caucus. So that's always been an understandable fear. However, you got to give credit to these holdouts for negotiating for a better... <laughs> a pedophile undermines the state of the country. We just like the UK for real. <laughs> yes! But no health care or public transport or any of the other benefits that you get. No council housing. No social safety nets. Oh, God. Really, we... God, we are so bad. We, we have, like, all the worst qualities. We have all the worst qualities, dude. Garrett Graves is quite literally on his knees on the House floor pleading with Gates, who has yet to cast his vote for Speaker. What? What? Dude, what the fuck? There's no way he's going to vote. <laughs> Gates is like, no matter what you do, you cannot ever investigate. It's like a double jeopardy, but only for me. You cannot investigate me on sex trafficking charges, no matter what you do, okay? I need assurances. <laughs> They're like, what? That's weird that you're. that's your only specification. He's like, yes. I want... Omega immunity from any kind of sex trafficking and and uh, having sex with a minor charges. Just I just want to make sure. You know, I've never done it. But I just want to make sure. This That's could what hinge on saying. Matt Gates. If he votes, if he votes at all, if he votes for McCarthy, if he votes for somebody else by name. That's the key. Now, Ken Buck flew back in from Colorado Missed the vote. I'm told that he will make it up. They'll run through those who did not vote at the at the end there. They can cast their ballots. So don't Unban worry about Matt Buck Gates. This sense. is an emergency. But this Fuck will no. all hinge he might on control, what Matt Gates he might control, decides to uh, do. I'm told the, the that there's an intense for the next week. conversation with Matt Gates and allies of Kevin McCarthy in the back of the chamber right now. This is high drama tonight, Laura. High drama tonight. Well, Chad, at, at, at some point, I think the question will become... You got all these concessions. You've run out of things to ask for, as Gates said. It, you begin to look uh, unserious. I will VIP Matt problem. Gates. After I will mod Matt Gates if he votes never Kev. Okay. Kevin McCarthy. So you I will where mod this all ends his up official round round Twitch account. Well, and keep if in mind, if he turns also, around you know, you're and votes vote never, people, so that's Kevin. Uh, Lauren Boebert. You might still have some absences. Uh, we don't know if there's any absences on the Democratic side. That's a promise. Side. Uh, we don't know if there's going to be any absences on the Republican side. You can win with fewer than 218 votes. That Just like at the top of the down. hour, I promise to serve you a three-minute ad break. Banger. All and if you want to see the outcome in the next uh, three minutes, then you're going to have to subscribe. That's how you get an uninterrupted right, Chad, broadcast experience. That's all you need to do is subscribe, Perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Harmate, again, uh, for we, $5 uh, or for free with a Twitch named. Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. I just got banned but off the Fox News. Fighting them in the backside, given okay. everything that's been conceded. You can also get gifted a sub by the R Mallcrab, well, the kid them. kicking I mean, robot. The thank you for the five. Chicken Congress, wings full life. Thank you for the five. Thermocrab, thank you for the 10. Quay, 77. Milk carton kid, thank you for the five. Allowing so many people that are locked in the ads at the top of the hour. Here's the three minute break now. Woo! make deals and and that requires some goodwill so i'm not sure what the end game is for those because the people oh he's banned nominating, uh, and voting for rather, is he actually banned currently what the fuck why is he banned and so if this was a horse race between two candidates and this was a debate over that classic kg thank you for the five gifted obstructing 
uh, I think you're burning a lot of goodwill. And so Gates cam on C-SPAN. Uh, McCarthy speaker designate. Jeffrey. He's the motherfucking bell of the ball, but dude. Is a hint as to where he's going to go, and so mm. the ones who've made a deal are going to be in a much better position to make deals for their constituents over the next two years than those who simply refuse to deal. Great point. Good faith all the way around that way. Raymond, uh, I have to touch back on the issue we briefly mentioned earlier, which is the defense budget. You have all these uh, defense hawks who say you can't touch it, you can't touch it, you can't touch it. But is that really realistic? He's asking why he's banned on Twitch. Trillion dollars he's literally cash. telling him right and now, bro, I will vote never Kev. Costs of government continue what do you have to offer me? Is that realistic? What? What well, do you have to offer me? Not, Hassan, Hassan Abi Piker said he is going to give to me VIP and without, moderate. You know, the defense budget. It's all the uh, discretionary spending that they'll take a look at. He said he's so, going to give me my Laura, privileges. I'm still puzzled why this he said wasn't he's going to give me my privileges so I can <laughs> investigate all the underage uh, Hassan Abi watchers is what Matt Gates is saying. On. Newt Gingrich and Frank Luntz, who's very close to Kevin McCarthy, they coined this seven agenda seven that on that top of the hour Why bot. They by the way, use the same playbook this time. I don't understand, but that's who these holdouts. That's what they managed to get. All right, Raymond, we have to dip back in vision. to where we are on this vote. So let's let's hear it. So far, it looks McCarthy. like we got Kevin McCarthy as two hundred one, Jeffries two hundred three. Jeffries, let's listen up. Waters. 14. Jeffries. Watson Coleman. Jeffries. Weber of Texas. McCarthy. Webster of Florida. McCarthy. Winstrup. McCarthy. Westerman. This is it. McCarthy. It's coming down to fucking Matt Gates, like straight up. Wexton. Jeffries. Wild, Jeffries, Williams of Georgia, Jeffries, Williams of New York, Williams of New York, McCarthy, Williams of Texas, McCarthy, Wilson of Florida, Jeffries, Wilson of South Carolina, McCarthy, Whitman, McCarthy, Womack, McCarthy, Yakum, McCarthy, Zinke, McCarthy. The reading clerk will now call the names of the members elect who did not answer the first call of the roll. Wait. Oh, it's delayed. Fuck, it was the Gates. wrong audio. Did I miss it? Did Matt Gates vote yet? No. Present. It's over. It's over. It's Jover, folks. It's motherfucking Jover. Gosar. Paul Gosar sucking it the fuck up. Peasy. Mods, refund. Refund, please. He did it. Down to the fucking wire, baby. McCarthy. It's over! Harder of California. Jeffrey. Gates! You betrayed the revolution! <laughs> My house was collateral? Yes, it is. He voted present. That's not enough for McCarthy to get the speakership? Yes, it is. It's done. David Scott. You hit a Twitch record with half a billion points. There are 500 and 
There are 527 million points on the line right now. That is insane. Y'all are so dumb. And it's almost 50-50. I love this. I fucking love this, dude. It's 22% of chat in on it, too. One of the biggest we've ever had. God damn, y'all are a bunch of fucking perverts, dude. You're morally degenerate uh, gamba perverts, okay? I cannot believe. I'm tweeting this. Hold on. Show No, I'm I'm tweeting something. Hold on. I said Matt Gates betrayed the believers in my community. A historic bet with half a billion points as half the community voted never kever. Unacceptable. Unacceptable moves. Unaccept Oh shit, what the fuck? Wait, there's a fight. There's a fight. There's a fight. There's a fight. Let's go! What is happening? World star! Someone, he's going for, he's going for Gates! There's a fight breaking out! Come on, cameraman, what the fuck? So close, so close on this glorious day after a week, after a week of going back and forth as never kevers, almost Mike Rogers of Alabama just had to be pulled away from representative Matt Gates. Matthew Gates almost got his ass beat by the Alabama representative he said, that's not how we play around these parts, boy. And he came after him, giving him the chomo treatment in prison. Oh my God, what a time to be alive. He almost gave him the Alabama slamma. Ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck? You know, I should have opened up fucking prop betting on that here we're gonna run it back we're gonna run it back real quick uh it was really really brief as unfortunately the c-span cucked us the content that's where gates is i think look it's kevin mccarthy's walking back you briefly see for a uh, for a moment matt gates is talking shit Kevin McCarthy and Matt Gates communicating back and forth. Wait, did I kill? Did I? It's two fifteen versus two fifteen on a majority because Gates voted president now for McCarthy. Are you gonna admit you said it was over and it wasn't? Wait, what? No, it is. What do you mean? Wait, it's not? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, no, he doesn't need 217. Uh, he doesn't need 218 to win. Look. Wait, what the fuck?
17. It lowers right. the threshold. If one person votes present, the magic number becomes 217. If two people vote present, the magic number we were told comes down to 216. Now we're seeing that two people have voted present and that Kevin McCarthy has yeah, 216 over. votes and yet he is not the Speaker of the House. So, so clearly, a, a vote in favor of McCarthy outweighs a present vote. Yes, and, that's, and isn't that interesting? Because what you could conceivably do, and again, sometimes this is going to be some very interesting mathematical and oh, parliamentary gymnastics, but maybe you Wait, ask a certain what? number of people to go away and not vote or sit on their hands. That's possible. Uh, you know, you might have some Democrats who are absent. Uh, you, you know, I was given a hand signal not long before we came on the air that this might not go the way we thought it was what? going to go, that they might just be a little bit short. Wait. Uh, all the Democrats continue to show up. Uh, if they thought that a Democrat was going to be absent, uh, that would probably help them. Again, that lowers the bar. But also, mm -hmm. if you were to have uh, a couple of Republicans be absent. But mm -hmm. I would suspect I'm that wrong. was going to be a pressure campaign, and you can watch the visual on the oh House floor of people surrounding Lauren Boebert and uh, Wait, and Matt there's Gates a, there's as there's well a delay. This is fucked up. They can get them uh, loose. Uh, that's going to be a, a real issue here. Bro, and look at this. Look, sit in this, look this is a, this is a moment where yeah, C-SPAN kind of missed it here. I'll play it step by step here. Look. Kind of watching the he had to be held back by the people, face. Various yeah. lawmakers walking up to Matt Gates, and they're kind of, you know, you can see them giving giving him the cell, the last minute cell here, because we had thought a little earlier that 216 might in fact be the magic number, and now we're told no, it's 217. No! And so it could all come back around to whatever Matt Gates or Lauren Boebert might vote if there's a second chance. What? Yeah. You're looking at them, Dude. and uh, they are getting a pressure campaign. I'm, the reason I keep putting my glasses is because I've got people on the floor <laughs> texting me uh, some some information about what's happening, and basically it's short spurts of, of uh, phrases, but getting hot in here uh, is one of them. And um, there is a lot of pressure on the two presents, the four others. They need to either one of the others to vote present or one of the presents to vote for McCarthy. And they are one vote away mm. from making Kevin McCarthy the next Speaker of the House. Otherwise, we, I did the math wrong. Again I apologize. Again okay. Wait, did we do a payout yet or no? I bet you that that would happen uh, tonight. 432 now, votes were cast. 217 and, are needed. 216 is 50%. Oh my God. 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 Dude, this is so awesome. Yo. Dude, what the fuck? Yo. Oh my God. Let's go! Matt Gates was saying, listen, if you're going to drain the swamp, the last thing you want to do is put the biggest alligator back okay, in there. Okay, I'm not clicking on bitch better have my McCarthy. money. Wait, what, what do we, we, how do we, we do the gamba? On our show, I didn't pay it no. out because he I don't said, trust no, your no, ass no, with math. Shut McCarthy. up! He voted I, I did poli sci. I'm not a fucking math major, okay? Find out if we're any surprises. We had Ken Buck, who was a question mark. He voted for McCarthy. We had Matt Gates. They did the math wrong, decreasing the voting population by two decreases the minimum for majority by one. And voted for Jordan. Bob oh my Bill God! So Jordan. technically, the Eli Never Kevers won. For Andy Biggs and Matt Rosendale Dude, voted America for Andy is Biggs. so cool. I love this country. You thought going into I, listen, this, listen, that one listen, of those listen, people listen, might have voted I, I, dude, present dude, dude, or dude, dude. for Kevin McCarthy because they they stuck to their guns. Dude. They this did. Is... Uh, Crane was one that that I was told was possibly going to vote present. The other three were kind of never Kevin uh, in oh. the never Kevin crowd, and we're not going to vote for McCarthy one way or another. Uh, I, I'm and they wrong. Didn't, and I'm they didn't sorry. Think they needed I thought the prediction the was for Buck, the whole night, uh, just though. Just flew in. No. Uh, and he no, we got to do it again. The first time that he was named, uh, but he made it to the chamber and he voted when they called his name. Wes Hunt, uh, his child is in NICU, uh, just born, newborn child. Uh, he Okay, I'll be honest though, it's technically not my fault. Okay. It's technically not my fault. Like and, and my defense is literally everyone did it wrong. Aiden went all in on yes because I told him to trust you. How do I tell him that he has zero channel points now? <laughs> oh wait. 
So wait, why haven't they called it? What is happening? Yeah, the other thing, Trace, is that this is so delicate because what is happening? McCarthy and the I, I don't know either. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. This place is ruled and wrong. What is happening? Uh, Chad's talked about it very well throughout the night about the rules committee. The total number well, the of votes was 432. Yes, yes, McCarthy and two presidents. So we needed more than 216. The total number don't of votes was 432. You know, it, we have to make this place work for everybody. So you can see the circle of lawmakers around Gates and Boebert and so forth. Uh, there's no movement. We're waiting on the official. They have to word, change their. The they're, they're like, uh, don't do a payout yet. 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 Because earlier on, Sean Hannity, you had you had Matt Gates saying, "Listen, I couldn't think of anything else to." CNN reporting Gates wants to adjourn until Monday. Oh my God! Kevin McCarthy really did give up if the that, ranch to if, get those final votes. Yeah, and, and what we've heard so far, uh, the plan was, was that this was going to be smooth, that the plane was going to land, that they were going to get McCarthy. The Better by Twitter, Blue, to edit that tweet. I already deleted it. And then they were going it. to move on to the it's rules Fake package. news. That could have been I'm not going to fucking spread fake because news. Because from what we've heard, uh, it's not all in stone. Wait, as far as oh my God, I have to, they have I have to mod Matt Gates. That may be part, you know, oh, that may no! be voting on the rules package. Oh, no, have I have to moderate. First. Yeah, I have to give I'm mod sure to Matt Gates. He's on the Matt. He's still. on the mod team. I just want to kind of oh, I was just kidding. Him, come Chad. on, Give Matt. Come on, now. dude. Just fucking. Kind of some lobbying going you got on everything you wanted, you son of a bitch. Come on. There's a pressure campaign on both Lauren. Come on, dude. I was just kidding. Give me an idea I was just of how kidding, this guys. Goes I'm not modding that fucking creep. Can they do that before they move on to the 15th round? Chad, or do they? Oh do God, they I love American politics right so fucking yeah, this much. This vote is technically still open. They have gone through the entire roll, and much like any other roll call oh. vote, until they close the vote, you can change your vote. You can always change your vote uh, for you know voting for a bill, voting for an amendment, voting for a speaker. So until Cheryl Johnson, the clerk of the House, announces the total bangs the gavel and says, you know, a speaker has not been elected, meaning you haven't crossed that threshold. In this case, you need 217. Uh, this vote is still open. And I have seen them sit there on certain roll call votes. There was a legendary roll call vote. Uh, it was just before Thanksgiving back in 2003, went for almost three hours, started on a Saturday morning at three o'clock in the morning. And they were working. The Democrats were trying to uh, get a bill passed. The Republicans were working on a Medicare uh, related bill. And there was one member, David Wu at the time, a Democrat from Oregon, who would not vote. He just sat there. And there was a similar campaign. Of Did anyone get the fight? Him. Does anyone have better footage of fight? Floor. Yeah, oh, here. Uh, before. So well, I've never seen it play out for Speaker. Of course, we haven't been in this posture uh, since 1923, look, watch this, watch this, watch maybe this. more look, specifically look, 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 look 1859 when they went to 44 votes. Of course, the record was 133 dude, roll call dude, votes in 1855. Dude, look at him. He's like, you about to see the Alabama slammer. Before they elected Nathaniel Banks. We're not quite there, but if they don't get this worked out, this will go to a 15th vote. So we might look at this man. He's got in intensity in his heart for a while. But I do hear Cheryl Johnson. Let's the listen. Clerk, wrapping the gavel. <laughs> well, he's he's suspended, so I can't actually mod him. OK, what's happening? The tellers agree in their tallies that the total number of votes cast is 432. Yeah! Of which the Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the state of California has received 216. Yeah! Yo, what the fuck? The Never Kevers, they did it! They fucking did it! The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the state of New York has received 212. Dude, dude, American politics is so insane. American politics is so insane. I was wrong. Half of you motherfuckers voted the for Honorable chaos Jordan, and you were Ohio right. Has received two. The Honorable Andy Biggs of the state of Arizona has received two.
No member elect having received a majority of the votes it's cast. It's It's over. The Never Kevers won again. Gentlemen from North Carolina. Do now adjourn until noon on Monday. Noon on Monday. Will the gentleman repeat? Will, will the gentleman repeat his motion? I move the House do now adjourn until noon Monday. The question is on the, the, question is on the motion to adjourn. All those in favor, no. say. Wait, what? Oh, they said it's not Jover. Oh my God. The ayes have it. All those in favor say aye. Wait, the all those opposed say no. No's are higher. They have to call this to a vote. They have to call this to an official count. She literally said the eyes have it when the eyes did not In the have opinion it. Opinion of the chair, the no's have it. For the yeas and nays, Madam Clerk asks for the yeas and nays. The yeas and They're nays. They're putting it to a vote. Those favoring a vote by yeas and nays will rise. A sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Oh. Okay, they're waiting for the yeas and nays. Let's go back to Chad Pergram. Give us an idea of what's happening here. It appears they might they're still going adjourn. to continue, Chad. They might still well, adjourn, the problem is but they Kevin now McCarthy have to do another vote. Progress today. He doesn't have the votes. He is one vote short. So in this circumstance, you can do one of two things. You can go immediately to a 15th vote, or you have to then go to an adjournment. You can do one of two things. So right now what they're doing is they are moving to adjourn. This requires a simple majority to adjourn. Uh, Republicans so far have been able to adjourn when they've needed to do so. They did so earlier today. They did so a couple of days ago. Um, Patrick McHenry, the Republican from North Carolina, has asked them to uh, go out until noon on Monday. But then again, the first order of business at that point would either be to adjourn or to take that 15th ballot. But they are short right now, so what they probably want to do is take a timeout. Uh, you know, this was a pretty intense set of conversations on the floor. Uh, the problem is, does Kevin McCarthy lose anybody? Do you have people not show up? Each vote is going to be different. The math is going to be different. If so you have what ends up happening here, if they don't adjourn, for those of you who are asking, if, a bit, if, I mean, I, I assume they're going to vote to adjourn. But I don't know. I, I don't fucking know at this point. I don't know anything. I mean, I'm in a state of disbelief. I was like, there's no way. I thought it was over. Everything I know about Congress, they love, they love going on vacation, okay? They're big-time vacation fans, okay? I thought this was wrapped up. I thought this was, there was no fucking way. Matt Gates, Matt Gates, literally on Sean Hannity earlier in the night, said, that he was going to, you know, he got everything he wanted. So for him to hit president, did they fuck up the math? Did, like, every Republican actually unironically fuck up the math? Because including Fox News, including CNN, like, it seems... It seems like every fucking person involved in this, including myself, thought that it was, it was wrapped up. Like, I, I, I'm now thinking maybe Matt Gates also thought the same shit that everybody else thought, where they were, like, literally, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't understand it. Did they think Matt Gates was not supposed to fucking vote president? Did they think that he was supposed to vote... Did they think that Matt Gates was supposed to actually vote uh, for McCarthy? I guess that's the only way to do the math there, but like it seems like everybody got, thought that that was not the. Is they were? I mean, everyone was celebrating it. They were literally celebrating it. Did not understand what was going on with these hardliners, and unlike all the other votes that we have seen, where over and over again he has said stubbornly, "We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. We're going to go to the but next." But to be thing. fair, he could have changed it, and he didn't change it, and he wanted to go for an adjournment. So it doesn't seem like he wanted to do it. What the fuck is going on, dude? Professor Soup, thank you for the five gifted subs. Coffee Dave, thank you for the ten gifted subs. ML Genius, thank you for the ten gifted subs. Betrayal Fender, thank you for the five gifted subs. I, the worst part about this is that it fucked up my Valorant stream plans completely. Like I've been in the fucking Discord talking to talking to foolish 
uh, Carl, Nessua, Tina, and everyone else, like, hey, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready soon. Like, just wait a little bit longer. This is going to get wrapped up. Like, I was supposed to fucking play Valorant. I was supposed to fucking, <laughs> I was supposed to play Valorant because I, much like Congress, thought that this shit was wrapped up. Okay, well, guess what? I was fucking wrong. All right? I was wrong. Change of plans for me and a change of motherfucking plans for Congress. You know what I'm saying? Shit is... Matt Gates hates Valorant. That's what it is. Happy January 6th this is what you get. The last, straight I mean, up. we know that, that there is almost no respect for Kevin McCarthy among that group. But it has been taken to such a level that it, it's even hard to fathom right now. And it's not just about Kevin McCarthy now. It is about <laughs> the institution. McHenry's They're the best vote counter in the House. He wouldn't be up there nominating well, McCarthy not, if he didn't know the votes were there. Nope. He, he, I was just getting texts from some people who are in McCarthy's camp who still believe that even after what we just saw, he will eventually become speaker. Maybe Matt Gage just wants him to twist in the wind for two more days. So four months. No, he just I don't know. One of these guys but the to, fact that this, I don't that think this so. is, they're making him walk over hot, hot poles, uh, swim with sharks, um, do everything you possibly can in the most painful, torturous way to get to this point. Can I just, I mean, I, I don't know if you Kevin guys Kevin McCarthy knows he's going to be speaker soon because after 16, Matt Gates will start to lose interest. But this is what, I don't know if you can, if you can, if you can get the cameraman back at the thing. This is an image uh, put out by the McCarthy team. You want to, okay, there we go. This is an image put out by the no. McCarthy team. It says game time. This is put out at right before 10 p.m. tonight. It is Kevin McCarthy walking to the chamber. Game no. time, 9.59 p.m. This is put out by McCarthy's team. Yeah. Can I ask he's 0 for 14. We, Dog, you're such a boomer. You guys couldn't send that to the fucking producer to pull up? That's crazy. But can I just say also, Something I mean, if you're, you're being outsmarted by Matt Rosendale and Matt Gates. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, but you want to be speaker of the house. Outsmart okay, is outsmarted the same as just lied to? What's well, the it's difference? Just, here's Washington. the thing. When you have, yes. a, when you have a narrow majority. Yeah, he's right. What's the difference? This is Washington. Yes. A handful of people no, he's getting can screw up your best laid plans, and that's what he's living through. Right? We're it, missing it, something. We are missing something. Bro, we went from that appearance. He's getting owned by a dude who sent an underage girl money on Venmo, okay? A girl that he may or may not have sex trafficked across state lines. It's not like this guy is fucking brilliant. He literally is the type of dude to be like, we're doing crimes, and then tag it as such on fucking Venmo when you're making public Venmo statements. That's crazy. So one of the Matt other Rosendale. four should be the focus here because one of the other four clearly had indicated yeah. but to, to be McCarthy fair team that they were willing i, I truly to present, which i had no i'm sorry all right, i Aaron, failed game some of, of you here. i was so i was like there's no way i mean this is like a done deal there's no fucking way not because like i believe kevin mccarthy is like a really adequate whip or anything like he could whip the votes or anything like that he's like a good leader of the party or anything i literally just thought these motherfuckers want to go home But it is mind-boggling. We believed in you and you failed us? Man, shut up. Half the community got it right. So clearly I, I fucking taught them well somehow. They got the wrong lessons, but they still got something out of it. That's fucking all oh, the fight. The fight well, first of all, I'd like out. to thank so good. all of our viewers for watching. Literally CNN's lazy analysis. Screening of snakes on a plane. Wait, what? Part two. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, anyone that tells you, and I've been telling you this since day one, anyone that tells you that they know what's about to happen with the speaker of the house situation, like with a certainty is lying to you, including myself. It's not even lazy analysis. It's just, there's nothing else to address. There is no like tangible thing that you can point to and go, well, here are the ideological differences between these people who are fucking shit up versus the people who want to be speaker. You know what I mean? It's just like, there's nothing there. Right when it happened, people were telling me it was Rosendale, Rosendale who committed the first act of treachery, but now- Because he was supposed like, to vote president. It looks like maybe they were all in it together. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, no, no. I mean we hey, it's awesome. I love this. We want, and we will. No. This is despicable. <laughs> 
This is a despicable display of a failure of leadership <laughs> of exactly what the American people believe they voted against and not as John King has oh, mentioned, you meant it's lazy analysis isn't like the they're day. lazy. Yeah, In I mean, some of the same when there's hours, nothing, else, frankly, when there's nothing else to grab onto, you just got to go, you know, what do they want to do? They're lazy. I should have accounted for the fact that Matt Gates is younger than the average congressperson. And like, if it's a war of attrition, he can win that. You know what I mean? On his fucking terms. Like that, that's, I guess that's part of it. I can't mod Matt Gates, by the way, all jokes aside, he is banned from the platform so unfortunately i will not be able to uh moderate uh make him a mod. this time and denounce the president of the united states for provoking an insurrection at the capitol weeks later he went down and uh bended his knee uh to donald trump and that was a reflection of weakness and what we've seen all this week is is weakness and be and if uh, the reason people feel they can be treacherous is because they don't believe he is a strong mm -hmm. leader. This would not have happened to Nancy Pelosi uh, or any and, any respected and can I just legislator. Say, Marjorie, something we would never see. Well, we actually are seeing this. It, that's the thing. I mean, it's crazy that we're we're seeing it. Dude, play out people in front made of so much money tonight on the Gamba. Like I can't even like unimaginable. Just piles, mountains of fucking moolah. Okay, God damn. This is January sixth, but like lame. You know bureaucratic edition this conference because two years ago he knew that 147 of his members did not vote to certify the election and he had an opportunity in those two years to go out and do like what he did he took a victory a, lap around the loss of Madison half a Coughlin, billion Carolina, points are going to be distributed among guys remember 4823 users the never ever won the uh, prediction reasonable what an incredible night Chuck Edwards, ladies and gentlemen who what an incredible Madison night to the primary, uninitiated and now Chuck Edwards, it does not matter from McCarthy ultimately not an election denier ultimately it does not matter whether or not you are a firm believer in democracy whether you are a democrat or a conservative because we're all in for the ride here, ladies and gentlemen. And what a night for gamblers. What a night for believers that held strong and said to themselves and others, we are never kevers. Big L for Bakersfield. Big L for Fresno. Big L for the state of California. Imagining for all of us out there who imagined a, a future where Kevin McCarthy, a, a California man, would be able to become the Speaker of the House and the leader of the Republican Party. Well, guess what? You were wrong, and I was wrong too. In my heart, I was never Kev, so I'm actually celebrating this moment, but in my mind, I thought there's no way. I was fucking wrong. Holy shit. But like I said, in my heart, I will forever be never Kever. I think some of these folks like Rosendale, if you give somebody your word, you just stand behind it. And, and that's what <laughs> Kevin McCarthy expected tonight. And, well, and somebody, well, but, and, well, listen, but, but, we'll find out who it was. And it's not just, it's just not an attack on Kevin McCarthy at this point. The house is, is, is in chaos. Of course it is. And this so was, what happens, what, what happens at this very moment? We're, we're well, waiting look, on this motion. Yeah. To, let's, this thing is losing right now. Mm -hmm. The motion to adjourn. Okay. Yeah, Four gonna, Republicans voted with, no. Yeah. And 11 votes. There's 11 people tend to cast. It's down by six. There's three minutes left in this vote. Four Republicans have voted no here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. By the way, okay. wait, wait. human dignity for a minute. <laughs> let, let, me, okay. let me just say a word you for the people. You call this crazy? I mean, dude, back. it is crazy. Wesley Hunt yeah. Yeah. came his, back. His baby is in the NICU. His baby. Got a new baby. What's happening? Why are liberals... I mean, that guy's not a liberal. He's a conservative. But, like, why is, like, a panel of fucking CNN commentators, like, upset about Kevin McCarthy instead of fucking busting out the pop, uh, popcorn and just having fun with it? What the fuck? What is this? I'm collecting these long head streamer reactions like Pokemon cards. It's going to be really funny when Moist Critical's... Uh, fan channel that also is the same network steals this video <laughs> and uploads it dude this is hilarious i'm told about oh my god this makes it so much funnier oh my god kevin mccarthy tells cnn's uh, manu raju he believes he will have the votes to be elected house speaker tonight asked how he knows 
Asked how he knows that. McCarthy responds, because I count. So uh, I'm told about Rosendale. Uh, Mr. McCarthy, Mr. McCarthy, do you think you have the votes to be elected speaker tonight? Yes. You do? Yes. Do you, and you'll be able to flip Rosendale and Crane? I'll have the votes. What are, you, what are their concerns? Because I count. Night's not over? Dude, I don't know. I don't know if my heart can withstand another one of these, dude. I don't, I don't even fucking know. Oh, my God. Stop showing me this. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Republican from Georgia, holds her smartphone with former U.S. President Donald Trump on the line as Representative Matt Rosendale, a Republican from Montana, waves it off during a meeting. <laughs> dude. Dude, this is so good. This is so fucking good, dude. You wanted a PVP in the house. It kind of happened tonight. Where's the bingo card? Um, I thought Matt Gates is walking through the room. Representative Matt Gates falls one short. Or McCarthy falls one sh vote short of 15th speaker vote needed. Right now, they're still voting on the motion to adjourn. 218 yays. Yays have it. Uh, and, and 215 nays. Uh, the, the, once again... Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? What just, what is going on? What is going on? What just happened? Why is C-SPAN doing that? What? I'm done. I'm fucking done. What? What the fuck? Wait! 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 The motion is not agreed to! Yeah, but where, why did C-SPAN say the, uh, the motion was agreed to, though, originally? Marjorie Taylor Greene called Donald John Trump to pressure Rosendale's comedy. Yeah, I saw. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kevin may have the votes. There's a rush to the floor. It seems McCarthy may finally have the votes. Republicans are changing votes. I get, I bet Gates is flipping. I'm not kidding. I'm almost certain that they, they got the math wrong, and just the like we did. Of the Armed Services Committee had to be restrained uh, from going after Matt Gates. That moment, and you know, all the finger pointing, I don't know if you noticed it in the video, but a staff member actually sort of went at Matt Gates. That's on heard of on the floor of the House of Representatives, a lot of glass got broken. And so I think what happened was um, they thought, let's adjourn. And then they realized if we adjourn under these conditions, you know, two more days of terrible press, come back on Monday, it, you know, who knows what happens. Instead, let's keep one working more. on those. Uh, Does those Matt Gates have levels. one more in him? Does Matt Gates have that dog in him? Does he have one more in him? There is no fucking way, dude. I think knocked down a lot of what they managed to build up today because tempers were so high, you could see- Chat, you, you were not robbed. Even if they have the votes now, it doesn't matter. In the prior process, they literally did not have the votes. That's what matters. You cannot fucking- He said, I got one more in me, dude. Oh my God, Foolish Gamers is flipping me off right now. Okay, listen. All right, I-, I Do I have time to fucking throw one Valo game- out there is that even possible they've been waiting for me for so fucking long dude i feel terrible hold on guys okay, guys you guys i can explain i can explain i can explain okay listen okay. in the house uh -huh. of representatives there's a speaker of the house is basically going to be the leader of the republican party they have a narrow majority and unfortunately because of the narrow majority and a bunch of holdouts that did not want to vote for kevin mccarthy right now over the course of the past week 
Congress has been in a gridlock position. They can't push for any motions. They can't like they can't start operating. Okay, it's one of the main. It's one of the main. You know, it's one of the two house uh, houses that is in Congress. Okay, so who are you rooting for? Who are you rooting for? I'm not rooting for anything. It's just chaos. I don't give a shit. Whoever wins, it doesn't really matter. We all lose. Okay, so. <laughs> What's oh, what's, what's happening? What's happening right wins? now is like Kevin McCarthy, who is a bad guy uh, from you know really Bakersfield. Depressed. Is, who's a worse guy? He's just a. Everyone's really bad. It's just every every single person I'm about to tell you is bad. They're all politicians, so they're all bad. But like they're really, really, really bad. Okay, so, so Kevin McCarthy is supposed to be the the leader of the Republican Party functionally. Okay. okay, but he needs to be able to whip the votes. He can't get the votes. He thought he got the votes. And everybody basically assumed, including the Republican Party, including everyone in Congress, thought after an entire week of back and forth that he was going to be Speaker of the House in a uh, in a in this final fourteenth ballot that was put forward. Okay, this is like historic. It's very boring, but it's kind of historic at the same time. Why is um, it historic? It's historic because, like, usually this is like uh, the the negotiations are done before uh, the the ballot is cast so everybody knows who's gonna vote for what but this time it didn't happen so people are lying well they did they either a they there's two options either a they don't know how to do math including myself because i also thought that it was going to be over uh or b they or they just lied someone in the holdouts basically lied so now are they coming clean or now are they, just they were keep going lying? to uh, now what they were going to do is uh, vote to adjourn. And originally they had enough votes to adjourn until Monday. So they were going to do the vote again on Monday. They changed their votes last second and basically it's over. They can't even adjourn now. So now they're going to put it up to a vote again. And it seems like Kevin McCarthy finally has the majority votes necessary to win speaker of the house. So this is basically what you're saying is you're not playing Valorant. I, I'm Didn't trying to you hear him. Yeah. History is being made. Somebody is lying. I, I'm okay, trying to. Just so Jesse McCartney is about to be a 30. Congress leader. We also had a historic uh, gamble prediction in the chat where it was a 50 50 split with uh, half a billion points on the line. And it was almost like a done deal. So I was even making fun of the people who like thought that, you know, uh, McCarthy wasn't going to get voted in. And until the last second, I thought like, oh, for sure, McCarthy's not going to get voted in. Turns out I was wrong. Everyone was pretty much wrong, except for the people who believed that, uh, you know, Kevin McCarthy was not going to become speaker. And half a billion points were distributed to 4,812 chatters. <laughs> okay, but I'm hitting my shots right now. Also, I promised that I would mod Matt Gates if he if he stopped this vote from happening. So I might need to, Is he on I might have to oh, moderate so, him. So you didn't hear no. Here in a mod. Oh, he is a didn't Twitch you say streamer. that to me also? Didn't you say that yeah, to me? Yeah, what's up, guys? I'm here to be your fifth. Oh, he is sweet. A... Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, you, yeah, Hassan. Um, leave right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, have fun, guys. <laughs> You've done enough. <laughs> You've destroyed this foundation. Hey, thanks for explaining it to me, though, Hassan. No problem. Have, have Bro, a good never time. Never Kevers are in. Never Kevers. Hold the fucking line, by the way. Have a, have fun. Have fun, guys. <laughs> I, you I'm have gonna, fun, I'm too. Gonna... Yeah. Just All know right. you stabbed us in the back. Well, I did. What do you mean? There's yeah, a Phil. No, you have a no, better. Okay. You have a better player than me. Will is better. Dude, than who me. is Phil? Will, I know saying. Phil. Will, oh, good one. Okay, bye oh, guys. Phil. Haas news. Breaking news. Putin is bad. Throw up the fucking cube. Yeah, I saw the fight. They grabbed him in the fucking face, dude. Shit is out There's of control. Crenshaw. Uh, L looking, uh, looking at Gates and the Congressman uh, Brian Mast, a fellow Florida Republican, uh, talking to him uh, briefly. Uh, it, it is interesting. And, and another thing, uh, Congressman Himes, that I have to ask, the, the near fisticuffs that we saw and the cursing uh, that some of your colleagues have told me uh, was vociferously being made in Matt Gates' direction by his fellow Republicans... Uh, uh, and F you, uh, Matt Gates uh, was the basic, basic idea. Uh, how often do you hear that kind of thing or see that kind of near, uh, near coming to blows? Uh, you never see that. Um, uh, you know, I haven't seen that kind of anger and rage on the floor since exactly two years ago when people, when we came back at about this hour, actually to certify the presidential election, tempers were brutally hot there. I saw a couple of near fistfights. I've never seen 
what I saw uh, tonight. And again, it's going to take some time to rebuild that. I, I don't know if you noticed, but at one point it got so hot that a lot of Matt Gaetz's and Lauren Bobart's uh, compatriots, uh, uh, Harris and Big, sort of went over uh, to, to sort of provide a shield uh, to them. So it got, it got very hot there tonight. Yeah, Congressman, thanks so much. I'm going to go to Melanie Zanona right now, who has some reporting on Matt Gates. Melanie, what do you got? Yeah, Jake, just into CNN, sources tell me and my colleague Annie Gurr that Matt Gates has agreed to flip his vote to yes. That is why you see another stunning turn of events on the floor. House Republicans were planning to adjourn. Then they somehow got a deal with Gates and got an agreement for him. And that is why you saw House Republicans flip their votes. And now they're voting against the motion adjourned so that they can move to another ballot for speaker. Because Twitch, some deal was worked out with Gates. That Twitch is the buzz on, on the House okay. floor right now of course it all came down okay, to him in the chill. last speaker's vote he voted present you saw that angry dust up remarkable dust up on the he floor in the M &M gates. Out of my but it appears mouth. that in the moment since maybe <laughs> prevailed maybe something else worked out we don't know the details of why he agreed to flip but we are hearing that that is the case jake Yo. all right melanie zanona and uh and who was who was her colleague Dude, will he do it again and did those two will uh, do it again will he do it again uh, what, what we do also again? thought was going to happen during the 14th ballot that Matt Gates was going to flip his vote to get some attention. We just underestimated the gentleman's Be love of showmanship. Well, I, I don't know. The Alabama guy went after Gates because Gates wants the chair's committee. It looks like Gates and McCarthy just used to be on the same vote. On C-SPAN, it looked like McCarthy said thank you, and Gates appeared to the word the mouth committee. He currently sits on armed services as the chairman of that committee. Mike Rogers just lunged at him. and getters. Uh, had was that Matt Rosendale right. of Montana was going to be the one going to vote present, though. Who voted present. Right. He was the one who uh, surprised everybody. Dude. What we just saw, the reporting that Melanie and Annie just gave us, we dude, saw. Dude, he's going to make sure the armed services are so fucking straight, dude. They are not, they're not going to be even a little gay. You know what I mean? Hassan Piker. <laughs> okay, chill. That's, yes, that's what we're doing. which means that he didn't have to adjourn, and he ran down to the well with the red Abolish card. The VA, saying, Abolish the VA. Abolish the VA, and service means you, you have to be straight, okay? Lower the age of enlistment to 16. Fuck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. now that Matt Gates, who you're seeing there, talked to, talking to Sheila Jackson Lee, which very much across the aisle. <laughs> is voted. In and of itself is an interesting conversation. Does any member we'll give wish him what to he change wants. They're the gaveling back and let's, uh, they're, they're ending the vote to adjourn, which uh, failed. That's great. Even that failed. Everything is failing tonight. And, uh, Mr. Gates, Mali Otakas, Bobert, Roy, Style, McCarthy, Birch, And what we Atlanta, expect to happen Stalbert, right now Stalbert, after Stalbert, this Crane, is Gates, we expect a McCarthy Isaiah, supporter Rosendale, to rise be asked Jersey, for what Turner, purpose does Ibert, the individual Ibert, from wherever Duncan, stand. Andrew, Klein, and he will, he or she will nominate Kevin Minutes, McCarthy on the 15th Carl, ballot. Davidson, and we'll see what happens. I'm not going to predict Rackus, anything. We'll see what happens on the 15th <laughs> yep, ballot. Nope. But certainly Kevin McCarthy appears None of that, to baby. We're not doing any of that. will be the charm. 15 will be the charm. Anyone who says you can predict American politics is wrong. I wouldn't say that. I mean, the... The wild thing Gamba, that though? has been happening over the last however There's many no minutes. Way. There's in no way. There's no way he chaos, fucks it again. Trump has been There's around. no fucking way. And he way. called, and in that photo that Casey was talking about, trying to reach Matt Rosendale, who seemed to not want to talk to him, yep. Rosendale didn't flip. No. And Gates went back and changed his vote to a yes on McCarthy. So, I mean, we will probably see. Let's, who knows what will happen. But if it's McCarthy, Trump will try to take credit for it all. He, he was in there in the last few moments, but it's not entirely clear that yeah, he I made mean, anything really move on the floor. We talk about we talked about so Gates, I you know, being a showman and and wanting to grab the attention and the spotlight. I don't think um, there's anyone who is more interested in that than the former president of the United States. Yeah. So as the motion to adjourn is gaveled to a close, we are oh, waiting now. The yeas are 155. The gamba is upon us. The nays are 279. It's starting again. The motion is not adopted. We did not learn from our lessons. We will be gambling once again. For what purpose does the gentleman from Arkansas rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate Kevin McCarthy as the Speaker of the House. <laughs> Whoa, we're still firmly never kevers. Once again, in my heart, I am forever 
a never kever. The eyes of the world, the eyes of America are on this body right now. What America needs, what this body needs, Boo, is a lot shut less the fuck talk up, loser. and a lot more Boring. action. And at the direction of the Republican conference, I advance the name of Kevin McCarthy as the next Speaker of the House of the 118th Congress. Boo, don't make speeches. Come on, skip the process. For what purpose does the gentleman from Minnesota rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to say, wow. <laughs> and Madam Clerk, I, I rise to place into nomination for election to the position of Speaker of the House of Representatives, the esteemed and wonderful leader of House Democrats, Mr. Hakeem Jeffries of New York. I can't put it on. It's on CNN. I can't put it on 2x speed. Dude, what difference does it make if you get to see it literally live from C-SPAN? Like, what? Do you need Friends. to know it, it, what's going on every fucking moment? They're going to vote for, like, the next 10 minutes. Okay, here. I'll find the C-SPAN link, you fucking goobers. Jesus Christ. Everyone's like, dude, I need, like, cutting edge round the clock. Like, I need to see exactly what's happening. Spoiler alert! Yes, or it can't come? Okay, give me the fucking C-SPAN link. No, it's not a joke because it's live. It's actually delayed because the C-SPAN link is like up to date. every single one of our offices for services and support. Not to mention the unhappy GOP and Democratic ranking members and chairs of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, our Armed Services Committee, Dude, and the Intel there's, committees there is never a better that indication that I have a community of perverts grows with each within the ranks so of the politics frogs this than this. However, however, the 212 unified members of the House Democratic Caucus have a very effective solution for this problem. They're literally like, come on, dog, I need this shit. I need the latest. I need the latest. I need to be up to date. Second by second. Like, you guys are fucking freaks, and okay? And Shame on you. We extend a warm invitation I mean, to I am too. It's fucking Friday night! Across the aisle. And 53,000 of you sick fucks are sitting here watching the U.S. House of Representatives trying to fucking see the latest update. A man who is with everyone in this Congress and throughout our country to place people over politics and solve You're our sick. country's problems. A man of competence. You're sick in the head. And integrity. But also, I get it. Courage, it's fucking awesome. Honor and resolve. A man who listens better than anyone I have ever known in my life. A man of innovation and cooperation, and yes, indeed, Boring! We don't care! Shut the fuck up! 14,421 Americans have served in the United States Congress since George Washington's inaugural address 234 years ago. One of the very finest of those Americans is Hakeem Jeffries of the great state of New York. And it is the honor of a lifetime to place his name into nomination for Speaker of the House. You're saying 3x more people would rather watch Congress do stuff than watch you uh, game? I'm a political commentator. Of course, 3x more people would rather watch me watch Congress as like, you know, life-changing shit's happening in fucking Congress, dog. What do you mean? The reading clerk will call the roll. This part is boring. What's... Priyat Latch, thank you for the 20 gifted subs.
Adams. Jeffries. I can't lose this dog. Tell me what the vote. Bitch, you think I'm going to make a prediction again? McCarthy. Are you out of your Aguilar. fucking mind, dude? Jeffries. What is the gamble All pool at currently? Oh, my God. McCarthy. Oh, my God. The Yeppers are at 431 million. The Nopers are at... McCarthy. The Never Kevers are at 227 million. The Never Kevers are no longer believing. McCarthy. Armstrong. McCarthy. Arrington. McCarthy. Auchincloss. Jeffries. Jeffries. Babin. McCarthy. Bacon. Bacon. McCarthy. McCarthy. Baird. Waiting for a couple of names day. to come up. As you know them, we're waiting for the B's, which is Lauren Boebert, Mandy Biggs. We move on to the C's, which is Armstrong. Eli Crane. And then, of course, McCarthy. really a lot of focus on the G's, Arrington. which is Bob Good and Matt McCarthy. Gates. And so Open you're going boss. through this, Chad Pergram, Jeffries. and we're picking out those key names Bevin. because if when we get to the G's, McCarthy. Matt Gates says Bacon. Kevin McCarthy, it looks like they will finally have the votes. Bacon. Three things to watch for. What's the McCarthy. attendance now? Did anybody leave? Bear. Okay. See if there are any changes in the people who were the McCarthy defectors. See Bear. how Gates votes, Boebert votes, okay? And McCarthy. then also see, in particular, if any Democrats Alderson. left, because that could change the overall total, just not the total universe of the House of Representatives, 434 McCarthy. members as it is right now. But if uh, there are fewer Democrats Jeffrey. here all of a sudden, that changes the math as well. And that could pool? potentially help Kevin McCarthy. The gamble pool the is breaking another record Again, so soon after. After the previous the record same. was you shattered, two seventeen last time, you might have. We're a about to hit a billion points, dude. That's why, as I used the Look term on this. earlier today, this is alchemy at this stage. <laughs> but it's interesting because it appears that when Brett's reporting that somebody Barrett. named um, Matt Gates will change his vote in Being favor in uh, of Kevin McCarthy, and McCarthy. we are kind of waiting for that. Things are out Let's of control, in folks. For, for a few more seconds here, Jeffries. Spence, McCarthy, Barra, Jeffrey, Bergman. I guess it's delayed on Fox. McCarthy, Byer, Jeffries, Bice. But I guess Bobert probably voted. McCarthy. Bo Did Bobert vote? Bobert voted present, I assume. I'm trying to figure out. Biggs. Oh, present. Biggs voted present. <laughs> Bill Arrakis, McCarthy, Bishop of Georgia. Jeffries, Bishop of North Carolina, McCarthy, Blumenauer, Jeffries. President is the same as like, president is voting, Jeffries. but you're there, but you're not voting. It lowers Bobert. the number of uh, total votes that you need to win the, President. it lowers the number for the majority win. Bonamici. Wait, Kernaki's on MSNBC. Bost. McCarthy. Bowman. Jeffries. Boyle of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. And Rakeem. McCarthy. McCarthy. Buck. MB NBC's just Brown. showing the live house. Like, there's no commentary on Jeffries. YouTube. Jeffries. Brownlee. Jeffries, Buchanan, McCarthy. McCarthy, Buck, McCarthy, Bouchon, McCarthy, Bazinski, Jeffries, Burchett, McCarthy, Burgess, McCarthy, Burleson, McCarthy.
Bush, Jeffries, Calvert, McCarthy, Kamek, McCarthy, Caraveo, Jeffries, Carbajal, Jeffries, Cardenas, Jeffries, Carey, McCarthy, Carl, McCarthy, Carson, Jeffries, Carter of Georgia, McCarthy, Carter of Louisiana, Jeffries, Carter of Texas, McCarthy. There are Cartwright. no close-ups on C-SPAN. I'm watching it. Jeffries. Kassar. Jeffries. Case. Jeffries. Caston. Jeffries. Castor of Florida. Jeffries. Castro of Texas. Jeffries. Chavez de Reamer, McCarthy, Sherfalis McCormick, Jeffries, Chu, Jeffries, Cicilline, Jeffries, Siscomani, McCarthy, Clark of Massachusetts, Jeffries, Clark of New York. Listen. I'm not I'm not Jeffries. saying anything until the final Cleaver. vote is cast. Jeffries. I'm not Klein. making any fucking predictions. McCarthy. As you've seen. Cloud. Okay? As you've seen over and over McCarthy. again. That yeah, this is a Cleaver. little bit delayed, okay? Chat, this is delayed. The Fox News uh Klein. stream is delayed. I'm not McCarthy. making any predictions whatsoever until the last fucking Cohen. vote. The last fucking vote is cast and we know exactly what's Jeffries. going to happen. Because Cole. here's the reality. McCarthy. Is Jeffries decent by political standards? Collins. No. Crawford. McCarthy. McCarthy. It does not matter. It is live. This is live. This is caught up. This is caught up. Crenshaw. <laughs> Crenshaw, McCarthy, Crockett. Because if they vote Jeffers. for someone else, Crow. If someone Jeffers. decides, it, yeah. If three presidents meet 2016's fine design, it doesn't matter. Curtis. It doesn't McCarthy. matter. You never know, man. Davidson, you never Kansas. know. Like for example, what was the fucking Jeffers. the Alabama dude? Or I mean, I guess they, he voted Davidson. already. I think. McCarthy. Davis of Illinois, Jeffries. Davis of North Carolina, Jeffries. Oh no, he's, he hasn't Dean voted of yet. Dean Pennsylvania. What if Jeffries. what if the Alabama dude votes for someone else? What if he votes Jeffries. for Jeffries? It's like you Della gave Cruz. my fucking committee position to Matt Gates, you piece McCarthy. of shit, on the night. Delora. You think he's gonna fucking? You think he's gonna be the Jeffries. chair? Fuck you. Del Bene. Now no one gets it. Jeffries, Deluzio, Jeffries. Jeffries. You literally, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I literally, I'm telling you, I don't know. I'm, I'm being very careful, I'm saying nothing, McCarthy. okay? Diaz Pizzito, McCarthy, McCarthy. Diaz Ballart, McCarthy, Dingle, Jeffries. I've seen Dog enough. It. Jeffries. Jeffries. GOP leader Kevin McCarthy wins the speaker's Donalds. gavel on the 15th ballot. McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah, see, this is foolish. Duarte. This is foolish. I, I think so too, but it doesn't McCarthy. matter. After Duncan. last, after the last uh, sequence of events, I'm not saying anything. Dunn of Florida. McCarthy. Edwards. The only thing McCarthy. I know is that it is a chaos will ensue. McCarthy. And that at the top of the hour, there is a three-minute ad break, which will show the final vote tally in the next three minutes. So 
you want to have an uninterrupted broadcast experience, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime, or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky. Okay? That's the only thing I know, motherfucker. In times of uncertainty, you need to you need to hold on to what you believe is certain. McCarthy. And that is that the top Evans. of the hour ad break will come for you. Unless Jeffries. you subscribe, and then you will avoid it. Giselle. Okay, Abigail Sun, thank you for the five gifted. Ewig, thank you for the five gifted. Andrew Filer, Fallon. thank you for the ten gifted, allowing 20 people to no longer see the ads total. God of Fizz, thank you for the five gifted. Here's the three minute ad break now. McCarthy. Finstra. McCarthy. Ferguson. McCarthy. The subs Finstra. are ahead of the fucking uh, video. McCarthy. Fishbach. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Fitzgerald, McCarthy, Fitzpatrick, Life Pack Char, thank you for the 50 gifted subs, 50 big ones, what the fuck? Fleischman, McCarthy, Fletcher, Jeffries, Flood, McCarthy, Foster, Jeffries, Fushi, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my God. Oh my God. McCarthy. Lois Frankel. Oh my God. Jeffries. Oh my God. C. Scott Franklin. Oh my God. Chat. Frost. Chat. Hold. Hold. McCarthy. Fulcher. McCarthy. O. Gates. Present. Who's more excited, McCarthy Gallagher. right now, or you when you fought the Nameless King? McCarthy. Uh, the last time, for the last time? No, no, this is huge. Gallego. Jeffries. Jeffries. Garamindi. Jeffries. Jeffries. Garbarino. He voted present. If all McCarthy. of the fucking voters vote present and Mike everyone Garcia. votes for McCarthy, McCarthy. yes, he said present. Robert Garcia. But the Garcia. point is, if the abstainers Jeffries. vote, if the Jeffries. rebels vote present, Garcia of Illinois. Jeffries. Jeffries. Garcia of Texas. Jeffries. Jimenez. McCarthy. Golden of Maine. Jeffries. Jeffries. Goldman of New York. Wait. Jeffries. No, if he... Uh Gomez. Yeah, it, four president is still Jeffries. 216. Five makes it 215. Tony Gonzalez. Kevin McCarthy. What does McCarthy. that mean? So the guy Vicente that fought, Gonzalez. the guy that fought Matt Gates, Representative Mike Rogers, Vicente is Gonzalez. the man of the hour right now. Okay, it's Good. no longer the abstainers. I, I don't know enough about him. Maybe he's a cuck, but he was the one who fought Matt Gates. Why did he fight Matt Gates? It seems that Matt Gates. Uh, is vying for his uh, committee chair position. And uh, from what I understand, Matt Gates literally mouthed at uh, Kevin McCarthy and said, committee. Okay, five presidents. And now they have it. We are at five, the Never Kevers hold. Wait. McCarthy. Graves of Louisiana. McCarthy. McCarthy. It's lowering the vote Graves threshold. That's it. That's all McCarthy. it does. McCarthy. Green of Tennessee. McCarthy. McCarthy. Green of Texas. Anyway, the point I was trying to make is that that guy, Mike Rogers, is the one who almost fought. He's the one who almost fought Matt Gates. Okay. So Jeffries. Green of Georgia. McCarthy. Griffith. McCarthy. Grijalva. So if he was pissed off, let's say. Jeffries. Grothman. Let's say he's pissed McCarthy. off. Guess. And he decides not to vote. McCarthy. Or votes even Guthrie. present or even votes for Jeffries. McCarthy. 
Hageman. <laughs> McCarthy. Harder, then you have a California. very unique predicament. Jeffries. The Harris. math with five presidents of 216 McCarthy. is majority. 20, 215 Harder. and a half is 50 percent. McCarthy. Hayes. Jeffries. Hearn. McCarthy. Higgins of Louisiana. McCarthy. Higgins of New York. Jeffries. Hill. McCarthy. Himes. Jeffries. Henson. McCarthy. Horsford. Jeffries. Houchin. McCarthy. The most chaotic outcome would be as as uh, as Kale Hulahan. Fishy pointed out. The most chaotic Jeffries. outcome here would be if a bunch of McCarthy voters Hoyer. voted present Jeffries. out of frustration, Hoyle which will of probably not happen. But let's say you want more drama. Hope that McCarthy Jeffries. voters vote present because they're frustrated at, the, at Kevin McCarthy's inability to govern. McCarthy. And then they turn around, okay, Huffman. and accidentally Jeffries. allow Jeffries, Hakeem Jeffries, Isinga. to win majority. Or they fall asleep. McCarthy. Could happen. Hunt. Could happen. <coughs> the falling asleep thing, I mean. Isa. Could happen. McCarthy. McCarthy. They're all old, man. Remember. Ivy. They're old Jeffries. as fuck. Jackson of Illinois. Jeffries. Jeffries. Jackson of North Carolina. Jeffries. Jackson of Texas. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Jackson Lee. For the Americans that are desperate and need leadership, I'm proud to vote for 18. What the fuck? Jeffries. Jacobs. I can't James. believe this happened in an incredibly James. unpredictable Carter. fashion. McCarthy. Jayapal. Jeffries. 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 Whatever, bro. Come on. Johnson of Georgia, Jeffries. Johnson of Louisiana, McCarthy. Johnson of Ohio, McCarthy. Johnson of South Dakota, Johnson of South Dakota, McCarthy. Jordan McCarthy, Joyce of Ohio McCarthy, Joyce of Pennsylvania McCarthy, Kim Logger Dove Jeffries, Captor Jeffries, Kane of New Jersey. McCarthy. Keating. Jeffries. Jeffries. Kelly of Illinois. Jeffries. Jeffries. Kelly of Mississippi. McCarthy. McCarthy. Kelly of Pennsylvania. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Connor. Jeffries. Jeffries. Higgins of Virginia. <laughs> McCarthy. Kildee, Jeffries, Kylie, McCarthy, Kilmer, Jeffries, Kim of California, McCarthy, Kim of New Jersey, Jeffries, Krishnamurthy, Jeffries, Custer, Jeffries, Kustoff, McCarthy, LaHood, McCarthy.
Valorda. Oh shit. McCarthy. McCarthy. The fifteenth time is the charm. Lamalfa. McCarthy. Lamborn. McCarthy. McCarthy. Landsman. <laughs> Jeffries. Langworthy. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Larson of Washington. <laughs> Jeffries. Larson of Connecticut. Jeffries. Latta. McCarthy. McCarthy. Imagine they Turner. switched their votes. McCarthy. McCarthy. Imagine Baller. the rebels <laughs> switched their fucking votes. It'd be so sick. I would lose my. I would die probably. Okay, stop with the fucking fanfare, dog. You guys have taken L's all night. Like, you're literally not allowed to celebrate this. I'm sorry. Are you fucking joking? They're acting like this is not real. Oh, shit. Logan called me. Quick update. He said he's deleting the two responses and is dropping the lawsuit threats. I believe he's making a third response, which I'll be delaying my video to include. Hopefully this time he takes accountability and refunds the victims of CryptoZoo. That's what matters. What the fuck? Oh, my God. He beat him. He beat his ass. That's it. He beat his ass in the QRTs. Beat his ass out harder than Jeffries. Kevin McCarthy. Lou. <laughs> Jeffries. Lofgren. <laughs> Jeffries. Louder milk. <laughs> McCarthy. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> McCarthy. Luke Meyer. <laughs> McCarthy. Luna. McCarthy. <laughs> McCarthy. Latrell. McCarthy. McCarthy. Lynch. Jeffries. Mace. McCarthy. Coomer cameraman. Jeffries. Maliotakis. McCarthy. Mann. McCarthy. Manning. Jeffries. Massey. McCarthy. McCarthy. Mast. McCarthy. Matsui. Jeffries. McBath. Jeffries. McCarthy. McCarthy. Never Kevers. McCall. McCarthy. McCarthy. McLean. Mccarthy. McCarthy. McClintock. McCarthy. Listen, McCarthy. the Never Kevers always McCullum. have. They Jeffries. always have an opportunity. Okay, when there is a motherfucking will, McCormick. there's a motherfucking way. I don't want to hear it. McCarthy. Everybody's saying like Never Kevers is not going to happen. Keep Jeffries. believing. Okay. Jeffries. Keep believing. Don't McGovern. doubt. You believed this long. Jeffries. And guess what? It helped you. McHenry. Okay? It helped you in the goddamn long run. So why would you stop McHenry. believing in this very moment? Crazier things have happened. McCarthy. Meeks. Jeffries. Menendez. Paul, oh, my beautiful Jeffries. boy right there. Clay Higgins, Me. that boy right there. He looking. He looking so thumb-like. Let me tell you something. The greatest sheriff of all time. Jeffrey. Gracing the presence of Congress. Yes, the halls of Congress. That man, that boy right there, Clay Higgins. McCarthy. He reading and the Fine. Bible. Jeffries. Miller of Illinois. McCarthy. Miller of Ohio. McCarthy. McCarthy. Miller of West Virginia. McCarthy. 
Miller Meeks. McCarthy. Mills. Let's get to work. McCarthy. McCarthy. Molinaro. McCarthy. Molinar. McCarthy. Mooney. McCarthy. Moore of Alabama. McCarthy. Moore of Utah. McCarthy. Moore of Wisconsin. Jeffries. Moran. McCarthy. Morelli. Jeffries. Moskowitz. Jeffries. Moulton. Jeffries. Mervan. Jeffries. Mullen. Jeffries. Murphy. Murphy. McCarthy. Nadler. Jeffries. Napolitano. This is also true. Neil. Jeffries. The Goose. Jeffries. Nels. McCarthy. Newhouse. McCarthy. Nickel. Jeffries. Norcross. Jeffries. Norman. Now that the fun is over, the dark reality of how bad she crazy McCarthy. these fuckers are is going to sink in. I mean, Iowa. I personally don't believe that they'll actually fucking... I mean, McCarthy. even the, the default... Uh, the default conversation is still centered around like you're only allowed to <laughs> increase McCarthy. the debt ceiling like that as long as you do like what tax cuts or something what the fuck was it, it like Bubbles. they they didn't have they don't have like an auto default uh, option McCarthy Omar Jeffries Owens McCarthy Palone Jeffries Palmer McCarthy, Panetta, Jeffries, Pappas, Jeffries, Pasquale, Jeffries, Payne, Jeffries, Pelosi, Jeffries, Paltola, Jeffries. The only reason this is even a thing is because Democratic administrations haven't simply said the 14th Amendment plus the budget invalidates the ceiling. They haven't done Jeffries. that because they like being forced by Republicans into austerity. Perry. McCarthy. Peters. Jeffries. Pedersen. Jeffries. Fluger. I think the real story is that the McCarthy. norms that were respected are now gone. No guardrails with maniacs at the wheel. Jeffries. Then fucking abolish Pingree. it. What do you mean? Then eliminate Jeffries. it. Eradicate it. Pocan. Jeffries. It's so Porter. stupid. Jeffries. Jeffries. I mean, I don't know if that's Posey. the real reason. McCarthy. It just. Presley. It, it's one of those things where it's like, it's such a silly argument to have over and over again. Like, it, it's like. Jeffries. It's like economic meltdown. Quickly. It's literally like having the, the nuclear football Ramirez. given to the Republican Jeffries. Party whenever they Jeffries. have it. Raskin. It's stupid. Jeffries. Reschenthaler. McCarthy. Rogers of Washington. <laughs> McCarthy. Rogers of Alabama. McCarthy. McCarthy. Rogers of Kentucky. Yeah. McCarthy. Rose. A person close to Trump says he placed a call to Gates and other members at a key time McCarthy. right after they had voted to adjourn. Rose a number of Dell. votes, those members switched their votes after Trump began reaching out, the person says. Rosendale. I mean, dude. Maggie Ross. Haberman is still trying to give Trump the juice, you know what I mean? Jeffries. For a fucking week, Rouser. Donald Trump has very clearly McCarthy. not gotten the juice, you know what I mean? Roy. McCarthy. Ruiz. Jeffries. Jeffries. 
Ruppersberger. Jeffries. Jeffries. Rutherford. Rutherford. McCarthy. Ryan. Jeffries. Salazar. McCarthy. Salinas. Jeffries. Sanchez. Jeffries. Santos. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Sarbanes. Jeffries. Scalise. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Scanlon. Jeffries. Schakowsky. Jeffries. Schiff. Jeffries. Snyder. Jeffries. Jeffries. Skolton. Jeffries. Schreier. Jeffries. Swikert. McCarthy. McCarthy. Austin Scott. McCarthy. McCarthy. David Scott. Jeffries. Jeffries. Scott of Virginia. Jeffries. Self. McCarthy. McCarthy. Sessions. McCarthy. McCarthy. Sewell. Jeffries. Sherman. Jeffries. Cheryl. Jeffries. Simpson. McCarthy. Slotkin. Jeffries. Smith of Missouri. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Smith of Nebraska. McCarthy. McCarthy. Smith of New Jersey. McCarthy. Smith of Washington. Jeffries. Smucker. McCarthy. Sorensen. Jeffries. Soto. Jeffries. Spanberger. Jeffries. Sparts. Present. Sparts. McCarthy. Stansbury. Jeffries. Stanton. Wake up. Jeffries. Stalbert. McCarthy. Steele. McCarthy. Stephon. Trump doesn't have the juice, man. McCarthy. Anybody that says Trump has the juice Style. still is lying. Okay. McCarthy. Maggie Haberman. Stoopy. I mean, he might have the juice eventually when he's back McCarthy. in, in like, McCarthy. back on the timeline. Stevens. Jeffries. But as it stands Stewart. currently, he ain't got it. McCarthy. Strickland. <laughs> Jeffries. Strong. McCarthy. Swalwell. Jeffries. Sykes. Jeffries. I, brought, I, I had to Ticano. get my dinner in here. Jeffries. Tenney. McCarthy. Tanadar. Jeffries. Thompson of California. Jeffries. Thompson of Mississippi. Jeffries. Thompson of Pennsylvania. McCarthy. Tiffany. McCarthy. Timmons. Victoria McCarthy. Sparks voted president. Anna Paulina Titus. Luna said she voted McCarthy. Sparks then Jeffries. said McCarthy. And apparently this is how we're Tlaib. doing this at 12.24 a.m. Jeffries. Takuda. Jeffries. 
Tonko. Jeffries. Torres of California. Jeffries. Torres of New York. Torres of New York. Jeffries. Trahan. Jeffries. Trone. Jeffries. Turner. McCarthy. Underwood. Jeffries. Valadeo. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Van Drew. McCarthy. Van Dyne. McCarthy. Van Orden. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Vargas. It is wild. Jeffries. What kind of a state Vasquez. of disarray the Republican Party is in, though? Hakeem Jeffries. Jeffries. VC. Yeah. It is kind of crazy. Jeffries. Velasquez. Jeffries. Jeffries. Wagner. McCarthy. McCarthy. Wahlberg. Mr. McCarthy. McCarthy. Waltz. Entirely their fault, too. McCarthy. Wasserman Schultz. Jeffries. Waters. <laughs> Jeffries. Watson Coleman. Jeffries. Weber of Texas. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Webster of Florida. McCarthy. Winstrup. McCarthy. McCarthy. Westerman. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Wexton. <laughs> Jeffries. Wild. Jeffries. Jeffries. Williams of Georgia. Jeffries. Williams of New York. Mr. McCarthy. McCarthy. Williams of Texas. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Coming down the wire, Wilson baby. Wilson of Florida. Jeffries. Wilson of South Carolina. <coughs> McCarthy. Whitman. McCarthy. Womack. I don't know why McCarthy. this process isn't electronic. Yakum. McCarthy. McCarthy. Zinke. But my answer is. The next speaker of the United States House of Representatives. And there you have it, folks. After 14 tries in a week of chaos, Kevin McCarthy is now the speaker of the 118th House of Representatives. The Never Kevins have lost. The Never Kevers, my heart is always with you. It's Jover. So you need to say, you need to say now, and then we need to go back. This, of course, does not end the chaos at all. This just means it's the beginning of chaos. As the chatter correctly also said, Kevin McCarthy won, but at what cost? What does a week-long process like this that otherwise normally and under normal circumstances would have been concluded well before this event unfolded, what does that say about the state of 
the modern Republican Party. What does that say about the future of the Republican Party? What does that say about the future of America? Well, some might say they're going to go Joker mode. And to them, I say, we're already McCarthy. here. McCarthy. Go to the CNN cover, see what the fuck they're talking about. In the process, uh, it was at times chaotic and angry and once almost downright violent. But the key word the in this sent sentence is the word one. Kevin McCarthy won. He is now the Speaker of the House. It is history. It is maybe history for the wrong reasons for some folks, but it is history, Dana Beth. It is. And, uh, you know, one of his allies was texting me as it was going back and forth and back and forth, and we saw the drama. And this person just said, keep your eye on the ball for him, and the ball is winning. And the ball is this moment. And the ball is becoming Speaker of the House. And what? the roller coaster obviously was um, quite tumultuous tonight. But think about the journey that he took and that he put himself on, particularly through the Trump years, in order to get to this moment. The ball is uh, Indeed. And, you know, I think the other thing I mean, I'm flashing back it's to is what them. Kevin it's McCarthy has been saying to they reporters, which saying. is it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Frankly, uh, the night is finishing the way that they expected, but it did not go the way that they expected when they walked on That's his family. to the House floor tonight. Can I just say once more, this McCarthy. is two years since January 6th and what was going on in the House that day and how many of these members were election deniers or voted to stop the peaceful transfer of power. In, including, including the Speaker of the, the House, the new Speaker of the House. The names right. of the members elect who did not answer the first call of the roll. <clears throat> I think they're waiting for, I think there was one Democrat that was out. What a bummer. I thought Vicente it was be Gonzalez. Chaos. Jeffries. That's 212 for Jeffries. And we're still waiting for Rosendale. Rosendale. I thought there would be more chaos. Rosendale. Present. present. There it is, present. So six present votes. All six of the rebels, the final holdouts, voted present which lowered the threshold necessary for McCarthy. He didn't have to win. 218, 216 was just fine. From a tactical perspective, this night is a huge victory for Kevin McCarthy. He had a strategy of grind it out, a strategy of divide and conquer, and ultimately no. that worked. No, I think didn't. now, even at this hour, I, it is important to look what? at the long term. The, the bigger picture here. No. What? He got so fucking cucked. He got, he was weak. He was pathetic. He got owned by a bunch of fucking brain dead losers who don't know their ass from their elbow. What kind of analysis is this? It took him 14 fucking times. A process that is otherwise like usually symbolic. Hasn't happened in hundreds of years, okay? What is this speakership going to look like? What is this majority going to look like? And what is the country going to be going through over the next few months as they have to govern? And, and what did he promise them? We still don't know what the concessions were. What was Matt Gates promised in the end? And for, for his vote as well. Don't We're going to be finding this out, not just in weeks, but down the road what he promised them. We were told at the beginning of the night FBI uh, that the vote on the rules package would proceed after the vote on the speakership. This was 
at a time that we thought it was only going to go to 14 ballots. It was promised and it's to conclude, lower the age of consent uh, laws for Congress. Uh, an hour or so ago, and, and without anybody almost punching Matt Gates in the face. But we are here now, and I think we're being told that the rules package will be voted on Monday and, and, and not today. Is that right, Dana? We, we believe so. I don't think it's definitely decided yet. Uh, but before that happens, we haven't seen Kevin McCarthy actually get the gavel. Right. We haven't seen the members of Congress actually sworn in. Right. Um, you know, we've been here and we've been watching these series of 15 votes, including by members elect, but they are still members elect even at this moment. They have there not it is. been the payout is here. officially become members of the House of Representatives. The Gamba payout is yeah. here, boys. So there is still the official vote to be counted, to be called by the readers and by the clerk. And then, of course, uh, the official I'm not going to lie, I respect the Never Congress, Kevers that uh, held on till the end. We anticipate, although <laughs> the good money's yeah. on not you know, making any bets these bet. days. We anticipate <laughs> and you uh, that. that there will be a, a motion to adjourn. Show that it was a good um, bet. John? We may Oz first hear, though, from you. Speaker McCarthy and the Democratic leader, Hakeem Jeffries. Yes, I anticipate that as well. We did see uh, Speaker McCarthy mouth the word finally just a few minutes ago. Um, but America is about to hear a lot more from this man uh, who is now third in line to the presidency. Uh, oh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, my. I mean, he was gosh. one of those members that was <laughs> kicked off committees, well, kicked off her committees not long ago because of such a fucking violent nose. rhetoric that she had used against members of Congress, including Nancy Pelosi and all sorts of things she had said that were anti-Semitic and racist and on and on. She is going to be a star now in, the, a in, in the McCarthy reign, having stood by his side uh, during the entire time, even while her fellow um, MAGA, mega, mega caucus members um, caused lots of problems for him. Well, she's a prime example of what we've seen happen this week. He has offered concessions and people have given them their votes. He offered her a place on the oversight committee. She supported him through and through this. But she was, I was going to say, she was also one of the li liaisons helping facilitate the calls between former President Trump and members as that chaos was breaking out on the floor about half an hour ago. Well, and the relationship, too, between them is also, you know, the, it's a mega, the side mega. effect, one of the side effects of that picture that McCarthy went down and took with Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. I mean, we were talking about in which order <laughs> or, or who was helped the most uh, by what unfolded uh, that day. Was but obviously, in their tallies that in. the total number of votes cast is 428, of which the Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the state of California has received 216. He's not my speaker. Matt Gaetz is my speaker, boo. The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the state of New York has received 212. <laughs> California is still defeating. California is a two for two for speakers, by the way. with six recorded as present. Therefore, the Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the state of California, having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. <laughs> Clerk appoints the following committee to escort the speaker-elect to the chair. 
The gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Scalise. The gentleman from New York, Mr. Jeffries. The gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Emmer. The gentlewoman from Massachusetts, Ms. Clark. The gentlewoman from New York, Ms. Stefani. The gentleman from California, Mr. Aguilar. The gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Johnson. The gentleman from California, Mr. Liu. The gentlewoman from Michigan, Mrs. McLean. The gentlewoman from Washington, Ms. Delbini. The gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Hudson. The gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Clyburn. The gentleman from Alabama, Mr. Palmer. The gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Neguse. The gentlewoman from Oklahoma, Mrs. Weiss. The gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Escobar. The gentlewoman from Indiana, Mrs. Houching. The gentlewoman from Illinois, Ms. So Underwood. Weird, the gentleman from Oklahoma, She's such a Mr. Weird Cole. Fucking... The gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Phillips. The gentleman it's from all North of the Carolina, weird shit that they have to do. Mr. McHenry. The gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Kildee. The gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry. The gentlewoman from California, Ms. Barbara Lee. The gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Graves. No chatters, I will not the be The gentlewoman from around. Florida, it's Ms. Wasserman Schultz. The gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Hill. The gentleman from Rhode Island, Mr. Cicilline. On a Friday night. The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Roy. I want to watch anime and go to sleep. The gentlewoman from Virginia, Ms. Spanberger. The gentleman from Florida, Mr. Donald. Oh, I will play Valorant tomorrow. The gentlewoman from California, Ms. Jacobs. The gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Bishop. The gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Crockett. I will play tomorrow. And the members of the California delegation. Who lost points Ms. on Pelosi, Gamma today. Ms. Waters. We'll have the opportunity to make it back. Mr. Calvert. In the Valorant games. Ms. Eshu. Ms. Lofgren. Mr. Sherman. Fear not. Mrs. Napoleano. Mr. Thompson. Those of you Mr. who lost Schiff, it all, well, you can always Sanchez, win it back. Mr. Issa. 99% of Costa, gamblers. Ms. Matsui. Before Mr. they McClintock, make it big. Ms. Chu, Mr. Garamendi, Mr. Barra, Ms. Bronley, Mr. Cardenas, Mr. Hoffman, Mr. Lamal. Get it twisted. Lamal. Keep gambling. Mr. Never Peters, stop gambling. Mr. You Ruiz, will win. You will Mr. not Swawa, lose the house. Mr. You will Ticano, make your life better. Mr. Vargas, Mr. Desanye. Mr. Torres, Mrs. Torres, Mr. Valadeo, Ms. Barragan, Mr. Carbajo, Mr. Correa, Mr. Cana, Mr. Panetta, you will always Mr. Win. Gomez, Mr. Harder. Do you understand me? Mr. Levin, Ms. Porter, Mr. Mike Garcia. Mrs. Kim, Mr. Obanolti, Mrs. Steele, Mr. Dewar, Mr. Robert Garcia. I love when we're watching this and motherfuckers in the chat are still Mr. like, Keeley. okay, well. Mr. Mullen. Okay, well, what about the Logan and Coffeezilla? Bro, come on, yo, come on, man. The speaker elect to the chair. Like, I love you guys, but it's 9.45 on a Friday. It's like literally an hour out from my bedtime. Like, that's crazy, dog. I'm a human being. Like, <laughs> you guys are crazy. Like, I, I've, been, I've been making content since 11 a.m., you know what I mean? That's when I started. Like, I know that I actually... I know that I, I started... I went live only, you know, eight hours ago, but I started at 11. And I worked out before that too. And honestly, 
I as much as I'd love to play a little bit of a cheeky Valo right now with like 47,000 motherfuckers watching. Especially because I love the opportunity of you guys potentially getting back some of your points that you lost. Uh, betting against the Never Kevers. <laughs> okay. A bit of cheeky valo in it. But listen, tomorrow... Tomorrow is another day. We will talk about what happened tonight. And we will do more fun stuff. We will do more... I don't know. I'm so tired. We'll do more Valorant. We'll do Valorant actually tomorrow. Little cheeky, breaky Valo. Um, but for the time being, I love you all. I cannot believe you asked me 20 years ago. Or what? 20 years ago? What the fuck? Dude, see, this is what I'm saying. My brain is so broken. If you asked me five years ago, six years ago, ten years ago, not 20, what would happen? Like, if, if there would be a political guy on, on the internet that on a Friday night would have 55,000 sick politics perverts watching... him on a Friday night I would have said you're out of your fucking mind you know what I mean it is wild it is really wild we have a bunch of perverts in here but American politics is crazy so I mean there's 109,000 watching C-SPAN like I fell off plus L plus ratio you know what I'm saying Bunch of fucking sickos, dude. But you got to get Twitch to confirm that the gamble was the biggest ever. That was so crazy. I doubt it. It's the biggest in our community, though. We almost hit a million points in Gamba. That shit was wild. That shit was scary. There he is, the man of the fucking hour. Okay. Anyway. But I digress. I appreciate you. I love you all. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to stream. However, as I said already, I will not be streaming on Sunday. I've been getting a little burned now. I've been holding it together well. Overall. But I want to make sure. And plus like... I just I'll feel better when I come back on Monday. Um, but I will be live tomorrow as always. So I will see you then. For the time being, for the duration though, I I wish you all a good night. Stay safe. Love one another. Happy Friday night. And American politics is chaos, and we will continue to cover it. Continue to have fun, continue to dance and navigate through some complicated stories, issues. But more importantly than all, we will always try to have fun. Good night.
reach the crowded faith the young Turks online show. Three or four fucking years of this, plenty more to go. Ninety day fiance taught some champagne, bourgeois. Trump rally live reaction on mass riot at DC. There is again the sun is streaming. The sun is streaming. Stop. 